lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? Did we all have a lovely weekend? What did you get up to? Text in, come and say hi. Tell us what you're up to and what you're doing for the foreseeable. Uh, my name's Elle, if we're meeting for the very first time, and I'm joined by the uber talent and the also, also, all round wonderful package that is our lovely Debs. <laughs> and the package, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a nice weekend. Oh, it's lovely to see you. And you. It seems like three days I since I just sleep. describe you as a package. <laughs> That's OK. I meant it in, you know, from the heart. I know you did. I meant it from the thank heart. You. Did you have a nice weekend? Yeah, really nice. Um, it, rained a lot <laughs> it did, yeah it did rain you know it's like oh on mother's day we'll go for a drive and look at the lambs and the spring flowers no uh -uh. no uh -uh. it was it, just gray it, it didn't even just like spit it was <sighs> yeah yeah same same um on the way to because we went out for dinner yesterday and on the way of course you have the obligatory let's play i spy yeah but it's not with a three-year-old it's not uh, um of course beginning with it's the colour of yeah and I'm looking out going good luck with this because it's all grey it's grey <laughs> you probably I reckon particularly would have found it easier beginning with rather well, than the colour of mine used to go like oh and I'd go can we see it yeah half an hour later are you sure we can see it yeah definitely see it okay I give up what is it rhinoceros <laughs> I can't see a rhinoceros anywhere. <laughs> to be like that. Come on, Mum. <laughs> sort it out. There's a rhinoceros who's in the field back there. Goodness sake. I know, yeah, they do keep you on your toes, don't they? They do, they certainly do. Oh, as, as I was just telling Debs this morning, I had a lovely box of chocolates given to me yesterday morning. I was like, oh, thank you, girls. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, <laughs> can, I, can I have one? Yes, yes, you can have one. Um, just another one and another one and in the end I don't think I think I've got about two left it doesn't change no I got um, my favorite chocolates from every single one of my children in different flavors and the minute I opened them I was what's your favorite chocolate Lindor. oh uh, you mine had Lindor so in. I had salty caramel the normal ones and then some kind of strawberryish ones nice. but you see I'm always just open and go who wants but you know I've got quite a few kids and yeah and they, they were like oh and off oh, yeah yeah before you know it, it's gone. No, I do like, you know, a nice chocolate and a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've yeah. got a few bottles of Prosecco in the fridge as oh, well. Oh, there you go. All <laughs> is <Mother's> good. Day. <laughs> All is good. Well, it is the beginning of the week, and this Monday we have an unmissable Monday show. I simply had to just, you know, wear a bit of the jewellery that is coming up on today's show because you know that here at Jewellery Maker we are blessed in the folds of what we call jade fever now this jade fever we know is coming to an imminent end it is we know that because unfortunately the mine is closed um, it has reached extortionate prices these days and again much like pearls China is not willing to actually export their jade because it is their ultimate treasure however we're about to bring you today in my eyes or my opinion I don't think we've had anything like this before a brand new cut but not only a brand new cut, double drill holes. Oh, I'm not sure we've done that before with Jade. I don't think I've seen it. It is the first time we've had it with Jade. Oh, there we go, Sir Ross is confirming. I'm wearing a color I especially did not expect to see in Jade. Red Jade, type a not type b and type c and i don't mind admitting that i have sat in this very chair and said countless times we cannot get any more type a red jadeite we've been told that very adamantly from our suppliers now we're always happy to prove them wrong of course mm -hmm. um somehow and i genuinely do not know how we have an opportunity in type a red jadeite in the look at the size of them they're lovely i went straight to those this morning didn't i you say that again? I went straight to those this morning yeah. and I went, oh, what are those? <laughs> I know. Aha, okay, sorry, this is the new, that's how then. Um, Ross is just confirming, he's saying, L, that's the, it's gold silk jade. That's how oh. we've got it. Right. Ah, oh, those beautiful golden orangey red tones. Gold silk. Gold silk jade. And we have it in the yellow and we also do have it in the Burmese, uh, Burmese Taipei jadeite 
green we've also got the most amazing pearls on today's show we've got your Jiling peridot um we've got if you can see on the tea bars there that amazing parcel that liam did something extra naughty on um he's done the damage says ross so let's just get rid of the evidence effectively i think there's 93 of them left so we've got the parcel of Gilin peridot the finest location of source for peridot in the entire world um so also your early bird i'm absolutely loving because you know we've brought you the the paper clip chain necklaces bracelets mm -hmm. i don't I, again i don't remember doing earrings um i'm loving these with a little right, white topaz in the stud oh. so a nice round brilliant cut topaz to go in the earlobe and then you've got this beautiful um elongated paper link chain with a hammer detail in there they're your early birds so you can shop ahead on those jewelry makers all the w's at jewelrymaker.com if you click watch live in the top right hand side of your screen and then scroll down um, you'll see all the items on the website no some of them will be very limited in their quantity so definitely recommend shopping ahead um, on those earrings by the way your early bird you can't get the silver yet we're gonna sort of tiptoe that over into the nine o'clock hour so then it's available for the rest of the day not that I actually think it will be I think it'll sell out um, <clears throat> so the silver's coming up in the next hour but take a little look I mean you've got South Sea and Tahitian pearls you've got Olmec Jade Eye you've got Chrome Diopside those three that I've just mentioned are in pot you know, very difficult to get hold of these days uh, amazing Amazonite, night lovely sterling silver you've got turquoise in there we've got stands we've got collections of cut gemstones safety chains more kunzite wow when do we see kunzite um there's a lovely selection of items on the website so and and look if you check out it doesn't mean that you have to pay that set price if we crash the price then everybody will pay the final low and also you can add to that you can add to that order as well um so you can combine your order without paying an additional postage and packaging Debs, let's talk about your amazing amazing projects today because i am loving one piece in particular I came in this morning and I went to L. Look what I've made like a five year old that comes home from school. <laughs> and I was like, I've made a family mala. So it's actually this um, oh, I love necklace it. up here because you know me and my stories and my jewellery. That has got mine, it's got my oldest son, my middle son, my younger son, my daughter. It's got my granddaughter, me and my husband. And then it says blessed oh. in Morse code all the way around that and it's actually a long line necklace uh, with the Morse code kits that are coming up oh um, I've I had such fun I was like oh what else can I do what else can I write um, and I'll go through the other ones I did yes no earrings so you've got yes in one ear no in the other oh do you turn your head yeah like so when someone asks you a question mm -hmm. so yes can no I earrings. have a snack no no <laughs> side uh, and just such fun and I you know the gemstones as well that are in these kits I would choose yeah. to be you know like they're beautiful and combinations labradorite and you know um, lapis yeah just absolutely beautiful so we'll be talking about that and in the instructions I have put the Morse code alphabet for oh, you oh that's very handy as well because it saves kind of looking it up so that that's my um, masterclass that one says breathe that you're looking at now breathe and obviously Adam's I wondering which one says um, I love Adam Oh, that would be. Um, oh, of course you're in the family Marla, Adam. Oh, in the family Marla. Of course you, go, you are. I mean, yeah, it goes without saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then in the nine a.m. My oh, love, my pearls. Gorgeous. And goodness me, they're lovely. I mean, in there's two two kits. So there's one where you get um, a strand, and then look, that clasp is so clever. You kind of squeeze it. I, I, I'll show you later. You squeeze it, and then it, a little peg comes out, and then. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I thought, well, that can't be at the back. Yeah, you want to keep that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be showing. Yeah. Um, and then you've got this lovely selection of um, sort of teardrop pearls that you add your bail into, and you can make beautiful earrings. They are and stunning pearls. So lustrous. Really lovely. So very spoiled. Oh, well, nine o'clock, <laughs> 12 o'clock, so you know not to go anywhere. If you've got anything planned, try and squeeze it in later. Later. Do it later. Do it later on. Um, let's say hello to our fabulous crew. We've got Goddess Lauren's back. Hi, Lauren. Yay, Lauren. Hello. Still bless her waiting on the completion date for her house. She is there. Poke your head up, Lauren. Oh, and a bit more. And the... <laughs> just saw a little, just saw a little there she is. <laughs> we just saw your little head peek over then um we've got handsome Ad, uh, uh, sorry handsome adam 
I mixed you two up then. Handsome Adam director. We've got gorgeous Dan. Gorgeous Dan, say it Yay, right. Yes, and we it. have got the stud that is Roscoe. <laughs> there you go, Roscoe. You always feel put out that you haven't got that lead. So I, he says, I don't need a prefix. I don't need one. He's like, I am the best. There you go. That is that. <laughs> Did you all have nice weekends as well? Nice weekend, nicely rested, everybody. Yeah, good. good. Right then, shall we get cracking, jewellery makers? Don't forget your early birds. So you can get the rose gold and the yellow gold um, in this hour. The uh, silver is in the nine o'clock hour. But again, have a little look at the lovely menu of beautiful goodies that we are bringing you today. Now, I am going to start with a gorgeous sterling silver elephant connector. Right, this is good, isn't it? Got it. I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> Normally I'm not, I don't say it, I don't say it anywhere. It's not here, it's not here. Let's just see. But I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see. Am I holding the elephant the right way up? Yeah? Is he the right way up? Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is. Oh, hello. How amazing. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Solid 925 sterling silver. So they're reaching up for the for the yes. leaves, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, look at those. That's that was just a little bit of macrame, I think. I was thinking that too. And I think that that's like part of your stack then, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got the one elephant reaching up for the leaves. Yep. And the other one just chilling there with his curly trunk. Can you see it? Now, um, oh, really? Sorry, it's just dawned on me. It's just dawned on me. It's the first auction of the day, isn't it? Nice. Burned. Burned. <laughs> Who did start that? Was it you, Russ? There you go. It's a burned. Oh my goodness me. Items are already selling out on the website, jewellery makers. In fact, so is that one. Well done. Well done. Shall we do some cinnamon zircon next? Ooh. Two beautiful cut stones. Um, I reckon you'd probably be able to sandcast with these. I might be wrong. I'm not the expert. Yes, because they're very strong, aren't they? Because zircon, zircon is, yeah. yeah. Not zirconia, not the same thing, of no. course. This is a rare colour. The oldest gemstone on our planet, and you have these wonderful champagne or cinnamon-like tones. Um, you're looking at two six by four millimetres, and you've got the certificate of authenticity to go alongside that as well. Um, well over half a carat in each year. So if you do things like your gem setting, if you do sand casting, yeah. um, if you do... Uh, um, bezeling or anything like that. Oh, you are a collector of your calibrated stones. This is perfect for you. Because guess what? Guess what? It's also a burn. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing myself an that injury how, one day. That's amazing. Uh, it, there's no reason other than okay. it's just a thing a now. Thing. Oh, I like it's it. It's just a thing that, that Ross has got into. He likes his signature, one pound deals first thing in the morning. And he has said it there for the second time today. I am the best. Um, <laughs> yes, you are, Roscoe. Yes, you are. Um, what next, sorry? Olive green. Oh, it's beautiful. At an agate. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, speaking of olives, you'll have to back me up on this one. See, I love olive trees. Oh, yeah. They're so beautiful, yeah, aren't they? they? Are, yeah. How would I keep an olive tree? Because I'm assuming they need to be warm. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so would I need to put them in something? Would I need a conservatory or something like that? No, you could put them in your kitchen with your big window and the sun <sighs> coming in. See, that's what I said to my husband, but he wasn't sold. I found in um, B and Bargains, <laughs> one in there for, you know, nothing really in particular, come out with a whole trolley full, yeah. as you do. There was an olive tree and it was massive. And it was really? 100 pounds. That's good. I thought that was good. Trying to sell this to my husband though, he was like, it was it was massive. 100 pounds. Yeah, that is incredibly See, good. See, I'm tree. gonna go buy an olive tree. Oh, bless the tree. Go and get the tree. Go get the Save tree. Save them. Save the tree. And yeah, you can go in my kitchen, can't yeah, it? Definitely. It'd be all right in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, especially with the um, in the summer with all the light coming. You've got loads of light coming in, yeah, it'd be fine. I'd think. be all right. There I you go. So. Olive tree, sold. I'm um, not sure how I'm going to get it home though, because I've only got I've got like one of the world's smallest cars, so I uh, might have to figure that one out later today. Uh, one pound, <coughs> it's a pound. Who knew this gemstone would start that whole conversation? Is there anything I need to know about keeping olive trees though? And is are they poisonous to dogs? 
Oh, I don't Olives. know. Olives. That's what Tom said. Are they poisonous to dogs? Text in. Let me know. Olives. I can't. It's I not said, on my list of things in my head, but that doesn't mean that they're not. And plus, Bruce is only little. He's not going to reach up, is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's only little he's also like a barrel so he's not gonna be able to jump up either um okay yeah little jadeite donut oh look at this a beautiful little high goo four carrots oh this is exquisite i like the color of this one me too just set a little gemstone in there i would ring nice shall we do a close out deal debs yes you up for it i am yeah me too now there are only 12 available opportunities oh if i roll him over a little bit that has got a drill hole too Hang on, sorry. Oh, handy. There is also a little drill hole there, so you could just use a pinch bail if you wanted. A little pinch bail or a jump ring. That would work too. Close out deal. Uh, Ross fancies being ridiculous, he says. <laughs> uh, <coughs> he says, I can promise you've not seen Jedi at this next price. Okay. Very, very, very rare that we bring prices like this for Jedi. Because we all know it is one of the world's rarest gemstones. Um, in fact, it's so low for Burmese Taipei genuine jadeite, they were only going to give you a minute at the price. Mm. Oh, you're making me nervous now. You're making me nervous. Paula says, I'll have three. Thank you very much. I agree, Ross. A tenner. I had a glass of wine yesterday that cost more than that. Me too. Yeah, seriously. Isn't it? Isn't it? The price of a glass is the price of a bottle, how much they've paid on the bottle. That's the rule, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, because that would make sense, because quite often I think, oh, you could get a bottle for that. Yeah. I think a glass is the price of the price of the bottle. <sighs> I know. 9.99. Oh, they've gone. They've sold out. Well done. Well done. You beat the clock. I tell you what, because that sold out so quickly. Should we do another closeout deal on Jadeite? Oh my goodness, I knew you were going to say that because it's the only jadeite that's left on that tea, on this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, look at that for a little stack. Oh, that goes beautifully with that doesn't other one, it? doesn't it? Hi, Amanda. Hello, morning, gorgeous people. I grow my tree outside in a sunspot against the house. I get olives growing too, uh, just enough for, a, not just, not enough for a jar yet. See, I love olives. I absolutely love well, olives. You can put it outside then if you get the sun in the garden all the time. I do, but it does get colder, that's the thing. Do I need to wrap him up? Hello, David, my olive tree lives outside and survives in North Yorkshire winter. Right, oh. I'm getting that olive tree now. If it survives in North Yorkshire winter, you'll be fine. Okay. Um, hi, Helen, morning, lovely Jewelry Maker team. I have an olive tree in a large pot in the garden. We've had two olives, uh, we've had two olives from it in 10 years. Doesn't matter though, does it? It looks good. It look, they're so pretty, aren't they? Do you know, I'm trying to think if mine's an olive tree in the pot that oh. was my mum's and it's in a pot in the garden. Yeah. They I think like... it might be. Yeah. I took it from my mum's garden. Did you? Yeah. And I, I put it in a pot. They've got like kind of olive, olive shaped leaves. I think it is, you know. Really pretty. And that's just in the garden, in the shelter. Is £100 is a bargain, right? It, oh, I'm yeah. fairly sure I've seen them at, at, at like garden centres for much more oh, money than that. Definitely. And yeah. I've always wanted one. Yeah. Always wanted one. You Sorry. can always bring it in if, into the kitchen, can't bring... you, if it gets really cold? I'd need Tom to. I don't think I could lift it. He can do it. <laughs> Now, let's do a big closeout deal, shall we, on beautiful jade eye. Oh, that's lovely. If you've lovely. missed out on the previous one, oh, look, that's gorgeous. So you've got your gourd, which is the, uh, a good luck, or a vase, basically, in Chinese. Uh, a Chinese vase that brings you good luck and prosperity. Taipei Burmese jade eye. We have previously closed this very bracelet at this next price. It's a stretchy. You could deconstruct it if you want. I like the little elastic bail. That's so cool, isn't it? Do you know, that's good for 49.99, isn't Very it? Very good. It's got definite blue colours, blue tones. Pop on to Mason and Kay. How much would this be there? It is genuine jadeite, type A grade. It's green, but with a, an undertone of blue. Mm -hmm. So previously closed at 49.99, Jewelry Makers. That's amazing. One minute at this next price tag, though. Oh, Ross. Could I even make it for that 49.99? I definitely don't think I could make it for 
I mean, that's a no-brainer, isn't that it? That's a very, very, very good price. I think you could add a zero to the end of that if it was on Mason and Kay. Do you know, I went out and had a little look around the shops for picking my daughter up, and things are going up. How yeah. comes we're going down? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. It is true. I saw a dress and it was £65. I'm not paying that. Yeah, it's true. And, and you know, it, things have gone up so much. And, it, you know, and you can get deals like this. It's very good. I bought, I bought the girls a couple of trainers. Not expensive trainers, mm -hmm. I need to point out. They're mm -hmm. a brand, but they're not an expensive brand. And they are more than what's on your screens. They'll mm. be in them six months. I know. Six months. This is type A jade out that will last an eternity. So wearable as well. Yeah. Love it. And I love the little charms on there. So do I. £29.99 for either of those, I think it's absolutely amazing. Make sure you check it out your baskets. You've got 60 seconds at this price. How many do we have, Roscoe? 11. Okay, so it was limited in its quantity. Cumbrius, uh, Sandra, Elaine, Karen, Julie, Fiona, Helen, Janet, Lanarkshire, you're there as well. Make sure you're checking out those baskets, everyone. Um, and remember, don't forget your early bird that's coming up. So you can get the yellow gold and the rose gold. Um, they're available right now. The silver is in the next hour. Um, so do shop ahead on those. I also need tips on olive tree growing then, because that's yeah, something I'm going to do then on my day off. Uh, One pound deals loads of one pound deals on also look at that lovely kimby home travel jewelry storage i like that that's lovely isn't it um yeah one pound deals on there you've got more beautiful gemstone slider bracelets amethyst slider bracelet you've got a lovely clasp oh keep an eye on the website lots of one pound deals you'd like those those pressed light plum flower doobies <laughs> i like a doobie <laughs> is it a doobie when you can't find a word for something yeah a doobie or a What's it? What's it? What's it? Um, it's like it's like you know the remote control for your TV. What's that called? Is it called a remote control? We call it a doofter. Uh, we call it control. Where's uh, the control? Okay. Yeah, it was a doofter in our house. I like. I prefer that. Doofter. Where's the doofter? Who's got the doofter? Um, <laughs> keep an eye on the website, jewelry makers. Let's do the very last five opportunities of the white have you seen no, you were with me no. weren't you have i were you with me Missy, Missy, Missy. of the white orchid bangle it's totally oh, yes. natural yes, yes, yes. look at that Dex. i can't cope with the colors in there look at that it's stunning <gasps> isn't it natural no enhancement not dyed not treated not polymer impregnated there are literally five of these left so this is your white orchid look how beautiful Every single one will be unique. That's the joy of natural gemstones. Mm. Um, and you have like a circular, circular carved gem. Easier to put on, a circular shape. Yeah. Um, I've, I was wearing this when we actually launched it as well. There are literally five available. If you tuned into the launch, it was Dave that actually brought them to you. It's a very, very, very rare acquisition to get an agate with that natural color mm. that intensity of color exquisitely hand carved oh, and carved gorgeous. in the same way that you would do your jade it takes literally about 10 hours to actually uh, uh, create a bangle and of course you've got to think about this when you're looking at one of the world's it is a very rare gemstone to get natural agate that occurs in those color saturations you know the central part you know what's removed effectively will all be gem quality um and that's cut away so that's why bangles are so expensive if you like in the in the gem world so even here at 499 pounds it was only launched jewelry makers um what, last week i think it was yes. last week wasn't it um wasn't long ago and here it is on the wrist oh my goodness me it's stunning so you get these lovely lavender tones And then we go into those beautiful sunshine yellows. Yes, uh, Dave brought this to you, the, the best prize I think any of us have ever seen on a bangle. I don't, I'm not sure we've ever actually been to this price tag for a bangle previously before. It wasn't 149, do you remember? I oh, know, I've slept since then. I've got a dreadful memory. So as I, the older I get, the worse I my memory is. I thought it was 199. I must be thinking of a different one. It's natural agate. It's not even 99.99. Really? There are five available. I want to give you a heads up. 
out of the 69 that we originally brought to you, I've got five left. You will adore this. There's 12 of you with it in your basket. It doesn't even close here. You've got your 0% interest split payments. This is not dyed. This is totally natural Brazilian agate uber rare this is one of the most durable gemstones one of the oldest gemstones of course that forms in layers but agates really have color saturation like this naturally that's why most of the agate you know remember dave was saying look i can bring you an agate for a pound but we can also bring you an agate for tens of thousands of pounds um it's the level of rarity i love it i love the fact you've so got some I. really wonderful strong lavender colors here and then you've got the beautiful blend of like lemon yellows there are five left or rather i should say were um we don't even stop here i can't remember i mean that's unbelievable that it was in double figure price but ross is saying l it was the best price of any bangle that i recall you do get the box oh i thought it was 149.99 that's, that's why i thought 140 wow you missed a digit that's crazy for natural agate not dyed not dyed there is a big difference between dyed agate i agree i totally agree sorry ross has just said to me oh that's one of the nicest bangles i think we've ever done it is. i totally agree it's beautiful and do you know what it's also really wearable mm. because it's that much more dainty mm. it's really really wearable and comfortable on the wrist I, I can barely feel me wearing yeah. it i have one of these left rachel helen karen and john kerry you've done it but i have got gloria jenny maker gloucestershire Angus and Swansea all with it in their bar. Has it gone? Well done. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You got an amazing deal. Was it Helen? I think you got the last one. Well done. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, okay, let's do. Don't forget your early bird, those beautiful earrings. They're in items number one and two. Ah, oh, I love it. One of our absolute favourite gemstones. This is Peruvian Ice Amazonite. And out of the Peruvian uh, ice amazonite that we've brought to air, we believe that this is the most affordable. Because it, cause amazonite is normally very opaque and it's mm. also usually very pastel, isn't it, in its color. However, I wouldn't personally describe this as a pastel blue. Not personally, I would describe this as, you know, almost neon. It glows, doesn't it? Yeah, that's natural. There's no enhancement to that whatsoever, which is absolutely, it's such a rarity when we're talking about Amazonite. Um, <clears throat> so these are in your six millimeter rounds, which is always a go-to size for us, isn't it, jewelry maker? Definitely. Like imagine these with some of Deb's pearls that are coming up. How amazing oh, that would and be. And with that bracelet that you're wearing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Imagine stacking those together. I mean, that's a real, those two colors together are just. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean. Uh, and then I'd put like a dark amethyst or something on a stretchy on the other mm, side. Oh, amazing. Yes. Loving that. Or you could even go with something like a jet black gemstone, yes. couldn't you? Like a spinel or black jade eye. Oh, it's going to look amazing with all pastel tones. It would look lovely. Rose quartz, I think, and pearls. Um, so this is Peruvian ice amazonite. You can see the translucency, which is very rare when we're talking about amazonite. We know uh, David Yerman, which is a high-end jewelry house, um, is also working with your ice amazonite. And of course, commanding the three or even four figure price tags that should go alongside this gemstone. Um, it's making the fact that David Yerman, and he's got a very big budget, let's just put it that way. Um, <laughs> The fact that David Yeoman is included in his jewellery designs means our accessibility is that much more uh, more restricted. Can I just say, Amazonite, the colour of our graphics behind. Yeah. You know, it is that perfect blue in a natural gemstone. How many have we got then, Roscoe? 11, okay. Uh, you, the colour is that intense that you could literally use one, couldn't you? Oh, yes. I mean, one of those amongst a pearl stretchy or a pearl necklace and just or a couple dotted around you know it would just Oops. draw your eye straight to the color wouldn't yeah it? it does 100 percent. well on that deb's i am just going to reach for three strands of pearls because they're here on my on my Ooh. desk i'm going to reach for these strands of beautiful pearls i mean imagine that three strands of pearls and, and that strand that would be a super kit wouldn't it oh it'd be amazing oh i see what i mean oh. look how beautiful they are together that is a posh kit isn't it it's very posh Loving that. Now, £349, it's not a bad price, is it? <laughs> it 
it is perfect for color contrasting amazing to compliment with your pearls <laughs> with that uh, um, incredible translucency we've got 11 of these available i i agree well we spoke about didn't we was it harry winston yeah harry winston does that blue and orange yeah then they were the specitite um and turquoise i know it's a different gemstone but yeah it really does work and i think i'm loving the fact do you agree that it was really pre post covid mm. where we start seeing lots of color yeah. lots more color in jewelry i think so and it, it just i don't know it's it's joyous and i've done a lot of color therapy because i like to do art in my spare time i've done a lot of um color wheels and just things that go together and just make the other color pop and orange yeah. and this shade of blue oh, if you put works. it in in art it just yeah it, just it does comes alive yeah and i just think that those two together are stunning amazing maybe that's why it works so well with yellow gold yeah. maybe yeah um here you go david german one single little uh, little almost like a pencil it's very small you can tell that by the way by the link of the chain that's not a chunky chain that's a fine chain 500 pounds for that it's a beautiful piece of jewelry i can show you another a Ooh. tusk i like it i do I like do. it but again you can see I, that photo is quite deceptive i think not i'm not saying they're intentionally being deceptive um obviously you can see the design but it you you think it's bigger than it is you know you think you know just look at the chain itself those little links and you can see them you know in detail one that yeah it's showcasing all the detail of the craftsmanship of the quality of the gemstone it's a thousand pounds for that necklace it's the exact same gemstone it's exact same location yours is totally and utterly natural and we are at 99 pounds and 99 pence um we're absolutely certain that this closes at the lowest price of any of our um ice amazonite varieties and this is it we can't get any more probably because the likes of david german not throwing blame here but you know the fact that he's a big jewelry brand yeah. so um if he's working with it it does make our accessibility that much more um difficult now believe it or not jewelry makers that's not even where we close we do go even lower um that knotted and can i just give you a little bit of a heads up <gasps> by the way this is actually coming up on tomorrow's show i'll tell you more about it tomorrow it is also totally and utterly natural it's a different location but you can see the quality can't you so 10 o'clock tomorrow um, as your deal of the day we're launching that which is going to be absolutely amazing but if you wanted to create that beautiful graduation then you definitely could right now for sorry beg your pardon the seven mil not six 39.90 sorry i shouted then 39.99 <laughs> I agree. Ross has been saying in our ear, Debs, it's the lowest price of any of our ice hammers night. Lowest oh, price. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, just beautiful. I still don't own a strand of this. Oh. Every time I go to get it sold out because and then Wayne was here the other day saying he can't get any more. Yeah, it wasn't he. Um, we can get Amazonite. Yeah, but we that's not, not this color. It's different. Mm. You know Amazonite, which we're more used to. You know they're like like no disrespect, like what you see in Monica Veneda. Yes, the the, the opaque variety, mm -hmm. the more pastel variety. But if you want that sort of vivid, mm. vibrant, translucent quality, then it's very scarce. Yes. It is without doubt the best that we've ever seen, and and that is like you said ross the lowest price i've ever seen 39.99 um we had 11 gloucestershire you've got yours swansea you've got yours barbara um make sure you check out your baskets barbara in sussex and i've got manchester there i've got people on the phone lines i've only got 11 opportunities so we are actually launching a variety tomorrow however this has got to be a mistake isn't it at 39.99 oh that's really i didn't even look at that. I was too busy staring at the strand I know, glowing <laughs> swooning <sighs> like the emoji with love hearts in your eyes i do just really love it i mean it, it does blow my mind that that's natural it's yeah. just mother nature is incredible she's awesome isn't she mm -hmm. absolutely awesome and imagine that just for you seeing that within the ground um heads up you've got what 26 minutes on this hour um so make sure you're checking out i've only got five of them left within the vault you can still do it don't let that put you off dialing through it'll be allocated on a first come first serve basis um and keep your olive tips coming in everyone i need to i haven't even bought the tree yet but i was very tempted um text in one final minute on this price tag jewelry makers it's the translucency 
and it's the fact that the color literally glows it's rare we, i mean think we've been broadcasting for almost 14 years come may um and only really over the past couple of months have we actually brought you amazonite yeah. like this it's incredibly incredibly rare and it is down to that translucency and that incredible color you would be forgiven for thinking that this had undergone some kind of treat hmm. treatment wouldn't you yeah because I probably would have made that assumption as well. However, it's not. This is how Mother Nature created it herself. A real rarity. It's the finest grade Amber's Night that we've ever brought to you. Um, but there's, there was only 11 when we brought this auction to air. Elaine, you've got yours. Cornwall, you're there as well. Congratulations. Um, if you check out your baskets, if you, if, in fact, if everybody checks out your baskets, I think it's sold out. So first come, first serve. Um, I can give you just five seconds uh, more time on this one. Just because I move on doesn't mean that you've missed out on that opportunity. It's still there on the website, but speak to our call centre team. Renata, you can do it. I can see you've just jumped in on the um, on the web. There's three of those left. So And Anne in Manchester. Amazing. Shall we do... Oh, my goodness me. Um, lovely Lauren, can you pass us one of the larger cream busts? Thank you. Uh, on your right, there, there, there. Perfect, thank you. Um, because I can't just casually throw this gemstone over the back of my hand. Thank you, lovely. Um, it doesn't seem right. We are about to talk about arguably the most expensive gemstone in the world, or certainly one of the top five. Um, and historically, also one of the... Well, it has, in terms of gemstones, this has one of the greatest legacies. Now, there's three of these available. But to say that we've got one is, is amazing. Now, when we talk about jade, jade has a history of over thousands of years. Burmese jade is actually the infant of the two. It's actually 800 years. Whereas Khotan jade, we're talking 10,000 years history. That's mind blowing, isn't that it? That is mind blowing. 10,000 years, literally still mined in the same way. It's a secondary deposit. They don't, they've never actually found in all those years the main location of source. All your Khotan jade is literally sifted, ex, uh, uh, extracted from the Khotan River. And historically, they used to do it under moonlight because the jade glowed. Now, this piece that I'm about to show you would have taken years to acquire the perfect color matching, color gradation, but also translucency. Cotan jade is also on the verge of being mined out. They estimate maximum two years remaining. The, to say that this is a legacy, to say that this is an heirloom is an understatement. I can only give you my personal opinion and you know, do with that what you will. For me, this is the gemstone that I am buying for my family because I will always be able to buy diamonds. Mm. Well, I say always, budget permitting. You know, I will always be able to ac access the likes of your rubies and your sapphires of some location, some variety. I will always be able to access many of your gemstones. However, Kotan, two years remain. And even if it wasn't the case, even if this had another 10 years, uh, 10,000 years ahead of us, it still is one of the most expensive gemstones in the world price per carat. Now with Cotan Jade, what you're looking, in fact all jades, you're looking for translucency and you're looking for color secondary. This, like I said, would have taken years to acquire, acquire the perfect quality color matching, but also that color gradient. Um, a bit of advice that we, and again, you don't have to take this uh, knowledge if you don't want to, but I wouldn't personally sell my Cotan Jade. Not right now. If you are looking for profit, which let's be honest, you know, you were just talking about the price, everything's going up. Cotan Jade has gone up in price, yeah. price per carat, significantly so, and it was staggeringly expensive previously. Whereas now, um, I would wait, if you're looking for profit to sell it, wait until the Cotan mine is, is exhausted completely. Even here, that's an amazing deal. We have the final three opportunities. Um, with Jade, keep it simple. If you look at you know many of the pieces on First Dibs, Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonhams, they are quite literally just stranded yeah. on some cord. Now, Ross, the reality is even here at 1,799 price, that's uh, uh, 99 pounds, that's an amazing price, isn't it? 
let's bring you the final three. Still not your price, but it is also ridiculous. A 60 centimeter strand of natural certified Cotan Jade. Get your, get your certificate of authenticity. That I think that's invaluable. Oh my goodness, really? Because that certificate, by the way, which costs you pennies, will say ombre cotan jade round it'll give you the measurement it'll give you the carrot weight and it will say not enhanced so this is not type b this is not type c this is that heirloom quality it raises the price significantly in fact really mo most people would uh, would agree that type a grade is the only uh, sort of investment yeah. quality we're not even stopping their jewelry makers. Can you believe that for Cotan Jade? We have jewelers who purchase Cotan directly from us. In fact, there's two jewelers on the phone lines right now. We know you're there. And beware, they might take them all. They might say, I'll have all three, thank you very much. If you're going lower than two ta uh, 299 for Cotan Jade. Kent, I can see you there as well. Sussex, you're there. West Midlands, you're there. Hertfordshire, you're there. Nobody is paying 290. You're going to need to be quick checking out on this one. There's a lot of interest. Wow. Oof. Is that not the lowest price that we've ever done on Cotan Jade? It's a beautiful strand, a very, very unusual <sighs> strand. I mean, look at all of the different colours that you get in one strand. That's yeah. what I love about it. It's absolutely stunning. You've got your mutton fat at the top, which yeah. is the pure whites. In fact, if I turn it around towards Lauren, so you have your lovely mutton fats at the top, the pure natural type white, then it goes into the lovely honey tones. That section alone should be more than what's on your screens. Um, you know, the icy Amazonite was 18 centimeter yeah, strand. Yeah. You've got Cotan Jade, which is one of the world's most valuable. We could have cut these into shorter strands, couldn't we? 18 centimetre strand and sold them at the same price that's on your screens. That's not what we're about though, jewellery makers. We get a great deal, you get a great deal. It's sold out, well done. Amazing, massive congratulations to those of you that got hold of it. Again, this is the gem that I'm buying for my, few, for, for, for my family because the reality is, think of it this way, when my girls are old enough and, may, and hopefully have the same enthusiasm for gemstones that I do, are they going to be able to access Cotan Jade? Are they going to be able to afford it? Mm. This is the thing. That's, That's the, the reality thing. of yeah. it. Unbelievable. Don't forget your early birds as well, jewellery makers. The silver's coming up in the nine o'clock hour. You can get hold of the yellow gold with a round, brilliant topaz in the set at the top there. And then you can get the rose gold as well. Finished earrings, but you can, as jewellery makers, could very easily customise these as well. Um, I like them as is. I like them as is, but I also would like to have a little pearl on the bottom. Oh, very nice. Well, you've got the perfect pearls, haven't you, in the yeah. nine o'clock hour. Um, so perfect. They'll lead us beautifully into Deb's kits as well. Next up, a gem I'm completely obsessed with. If you love the Amazonite and if you love your strong colours, I'm guessing that you'll absolutely adore this next gem. Another one that we foresee moving forward will... Well, it already is, to be honest, but we think this is, we might get priced out of this gemstone. Because two years ago, when I did go to Tucson, we took some photographs actually of Chrysoprase. Mm. Um, and because the likes of Dior, the likes of Tiffany's and Co, um, to name a few, are working with this very gemstone to get strands of this gem astonishingly expensive. So here you go, I can show you the photographs that we took. So this is um, at a Chrysoprase uh, stand. Dior, you can see one cabochon. Look at that photograph just there with the strand. And the, and the book that's open, by the way, that's Tiffany's book. So remember that quality. Dior, Piaget, with a, what looks like a rubellite in the center. Tiffany's and Co. It makes sense for them to be actually working with this, doesn't it? And inside the book, you can see the Chrysoprase necklace. And then the price to... There we go. And I can't remember if that was for both or if that was just for one. Either way, you're still talking $3,020. Now, look at that colour. Look at the length of the strand. What would you say? 38 centimetres? And then... Oh, that's one strand. This is one strand, yeah. 
look at the cries of praise, the natural cries of praise that you are able to get hold of today. Yeah. Could we do a showcase, Ross, on cries of praise? It would be about 10 individual opportunities, says Ross. 10 lines. Um, so very difficult to mm. get hold of. But what a stunning colour. And again, it's natural. It, I thought that was three strands you had on there. And it's uh, one big, long, beautiful strand. Yeah. You know your lovely necklace, mm. your long line necklace. And you could do a version of that, couldn't you? Like a lovely long line Definitely. design. Definitely. That's what I'd do. Yeah, me too. Really elegant. Put a tassel at the bottom. Incorporate some pearls. It looks stunning yes. with pearls. But again, like Piaget did, you can completely contrast it as well with your colours. Now, uh, Chrysoprase, again, a very rare gemstone. Um, if it's coming from the Australian location, it's what they refer to, actually, as Australian jade. Um, one of the most exciting discoveries in Australia was this very gemstone um, they found a big vast boulder of solid gem quality there it is um, gem quality chrysoprase and immediately they had interest from uh, um, the Chinese gem world wanting to obviously import it so they could carve it they could uh, uh, create bangles with it in the same way of course that they would do their jadeites um, and their nephrites however logistically it just wasn't possible and also in the end the uh, um, the miners actually said actually i'm going to we're going to keep it here we're going to keep it for um for our market now we did manage to get hold of some of that you can see it here so australian jade on the surface this 16.4 ton freak of nature they describe it as isn't much to look at um, but veteran sapphire miners Jenny and uh, Jim Elliott say this semi-precious don't use that term anymore semi-precious um, all gemstones are precious uh, gemstone is one of if not the world's biggest boulder of Australian jade aka it is this gem chrysoprase gorgeous. and it's totally and utterly natural so again you know like we were talking to uh, talking about the Amazonite and um, appetite's another one those really intense color saturations we believe that 2024 2025 are going to be all about these color saturations mm. i think another one is going to be your chrysoprase it's already incredibly expensive now you are looking at a full meter long length strand we have 15 available it's not dyed and I un again understand why people would think that chrysoprase is um, a, a dyed gemstone. We've had chrysoprase for quite for you know we've we've had access to chrysoprase because you've got to remember um, the founders, um, our founder Steve Bennett, his sister lives in Australia. Oh, right. so again, and we go to we go to Cooper PD. So this is a lot. It is a, a location that we travel to quite a lot. Anyway, uh, um, so we've had chrysoprase, but. What we used to see back in the day was chrysoprase usually cut within the host rock, so mm -hmm. it actually had the kind of like the chocolate line yeah. contrast, which is beautiful too. However, the finest quality is that solid, delicious, natural green. We have 233 carats, sorry, 230 carats of chrysoprase. Lovely graduation from your four to seven millimeters in a meter long length strand. We're looking at 100 centimeters here, which is absolutely unbelievable. I'm just looking at the graphics. It is the strand. It's not. Every Everything else that you're seeing on there what you get these too is me correcting our graphics go no <laughs> you don't get that apparently you do oh they're not the teeny weeny itty bitty ones either five millimeter sterling silver spacers I stand corrected. <laughs> you get a meter of chrysoprase. You have 20 sterling silver spacers. We're at 679. Tell you what we'll do. We'll match what we did on which ombre. Match the Cotan price. And we're not even stopping there. It's a full meter long length strand. Can you imagine this with like a like a long black dress? Oh, just stunning. What a statement piece that would yeah. be. Yeah. Or if you wanted to break it up, you'd get like two, three suites of jewelry out. Yeah, of masses. When you look at places set that bring you one individual Christ brace, not as good a quality as well, 
655 pounds on a fine gold chain. I don't know if that is gold, solid gold, if it's silver, gold plated silver, I'm not sure. But 655 pounds for the Chrysler price. And, but again, in reality, that's not me discrediting them. Are they wrong or is it us? I think it's us, to be honest. <laughs> I do. You know, this is a rare gemstone, one individual stone. Already we've got collectors getting involved. You can see how delicious the quality is. There's no black inclusions. There's no host rock present. that sometimes looks a bit like a matrix um, forming within the gemstone. It is that solid. Do you notice there's a little black mark at the top of that pendant? Yeah, ideally you want your chrysoprase to be solid green with uh, um, uh, no inclusions. We're at £99.99. That's pens. very good. That is a long strand. It is. Yeah. It's a full metre. Wouldn't this look lovely as well with the gold silk that's coming up, the gold silk jades or pearls that are coming up? Yes. Or again, contrasting it with your dark gemstones, your black gemstones. I think that would be amazing too. You get your sterling silver spaces, your five mil. I beg your pardon. That's my mistake. I didn't realise you did and you've got 0% interest split payment we could bring you a cry surprise showcase but it would be about 10 lines and they'd all be limited all be limited extremely limited the reason why we show you the you know okay look look in Piaget they're working with this gemstone look in Dior they're working with this gemstone look in Tiffany's and Co they're working with this gemstone is not only to you know not only to to showcase really how beautiful the gems are and the fact these you know big luxurious maisons are working with the gems but also to really highlight how challenging it is for us to actually to source gemstones like this and and even more so do it at an affordable price tag look there you go um, can you see on his on his lanyard there the GJX exhibitor mm. again? That's that's one of the it's one of the posh ones that is. Was that at Tucson? <laughs> that's at Tucson. Bless you. That's at Tucson. I can't remember what the book that you can see behind as well with the chrysoprase looks like. It's actually lay on some kind of shell or something like that. Can you see? Mm. I'm, I can't remember. But again, this is a gem that is massively massively being incorporated into your high-end jewelers um hello gloria say morning beautiful girls um i've been buying up as much as i can of chrysoprase just so attracted to its color um those look gorgeous on screen they are gorgeous they're gorgeous in real life as well aren't they they are really beautiful gloria they're absolutely stunning yeah you'll I love just, them yeah I, I couldn't believe it was just one strand a meter i know that's... from four to seven Oof, lovely um i can also show you this uh, again, lovely, don't get me wrong, £3,105, interchangeable stud earrings, okay, so I guess you change the gemstone, but again, that Christ appraise isn't great, is it? No. It's not great, it's quite mottled, it, it doesn't have like a solid, creamy um, and translucent quality. You know, if you look at ours next to um, next to the Dior one, that's much more yes. much more uh, um, valid. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. Much more um, at ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Well done, Margaret, Manchester, Elizabeth, Maker, Nottinghamshire, London, New Customers, Maker. There's still five of those left, so I'll leave that with you, everybody. Congratulations! But it is time for us to bring you a lovely early bird. Loving these earrings, absolutely loving them. We've put the silver into the nine o'clock hour that will lead us perfectly into Deb's nine o'clock projects because Deb's was saying I'd like a little pearl at the end of there. Well, um, perfect that we've got amazing pearls coming up in the next hour too obsessed with these your early bird is next I uh, you know I had to I had to put one on yeah you, it's nice to see them in the ears though I think you can visualize it then can't Ooh, you look at those oh, you could wear those every day couldn't you I love those they're so lovely are they sort of obviously I'm a bit of a way over here but they kind of like look diamond cut are they, they like are yeah they're yeah, hammered they're quite sparkly aren't they you've got the one link just here can you see in the oh, center yes I see it on the monitor that That's has lovely. that hammered effect oh they're gorgeous so first off you have the beautiful round brilliant cuts topaz framed in a halo of yellow gold or, or rose gold or silver depending on your preference 
and then you have these beautiful kind of marquise like shaped I guess this would come under the paperclip description mm -hmm. I suppose but they are also very elegant in the shape that you have I love these, and honestly, you can barely feel like you're wearing them. Oh, really? Yeah, they're so, so, so comfortable. They look incredibly expensive. They do, don't they? Yeah, because it looks like you've got a diamond there in your earlobe, and yeah. then this lovely, delicate chain with this beautiful sort of shine on the middle link. They are a bit special, I think. They are. I, these are, you know, because I popped out for, we went out for dinner, as I'm sure many mm. of us did, yesterday, um, and... Earrings is something that I always mix, you know, I mix up my earrings quite a lot. Yeah. I wore some pearl earrings, again, jewellery maker earrings. Um, but if I'd have had these, I'd have probably gone towards these as well. They're so beautiful and really comfortable to wear. Now, these are genuine gemstone encrusted. So that is a round, brilliant cut, dazzling, pristine, eye clean topaz. Um, these have never been on air previously before. Um, you have, with, the, with you know, the, one of the biggest trends, the hottest trends um, over, so 2024, but also I'm gonna say 2023 has been the paperclip yes, chain. Definitely. You know, all the big designers are working with the paperclip chain. Um, that kind of elongated, extended link. Look at Tiffany's and Co. They have one which is kind of, it's hard to describe, but um, they look like stirrups, basically, kind of interlocking yeah. stirrups. Um, but I, I, and I saw them when I was actually in London a few month, uh, a few weeks back. Thousands of pounds oh, really? to actually buy those. I know they're in gold. I know they are. They're solid gold. But thousands upon thousands of pounds. You know. Whereas we're starting at ninety nine ninety nine, but we're not even stopping there. So beautifully wearable jewelry makers. I'm so certain that these will be an on screen sellout. You know because they're giftable as well. Very. I mean, what's not to love? We have 80 available opportunities. For the Topaz alone, I think this is gonna be the most amazing price, but you have got that ad investment of, uh, of precious sterling silver. Now, first price crash, I think is gonna shock you, says Ross. Okay. We have 80 available within the vault. I think these are gonna be on screen sellout and I definitely shall be joining you during the break. So that's the first price crash. First. So, you know, Debs, if we were to go into, I don't know, Zara, top shop marks and spencers you know they were prop they might be that let's say it might be 1999 but they're going to be a base metal aren't they oh, for and sure. cubic zirconia i was in there yesterday and i looked at a pair of earrings um in one of those shops that was 24.99 lovely um just base metal yeah um i'm shocked by that, that that's the first crash and, that's and you, amazing yeah and you know what i think Costume jewellery has its place. Yeah, definitely. Has its place. However, I don't want to pay more for costume jewellery than what I would do no. a genuine gemstone and, and precious metal. We are starting here. Has it shocked you? But we're not stopping there, everybody. I, I know it's only March. I know. I'm putting these away for Christmas. Or birthdays or occasions. Yes. Perfect gifts. I'd be getting a few. And they'll be thinking, right, I know, my best friend would love these, my auntie would love these, mm. my cousins would love these, you know, I've got fam, uh, my mother-in-law would love these. 14 Put them in one of our gorgeous boxes, you know, Which like all the lovely awesome. ones we've bought recently. What an amazing gift for someone. I'd be chuffed to bits if I opened and that. And me. Wouldn't you? Yeah, solid 925 with a genuine topaz. Yeah, Not that's CZs. an amazing price. Not a crystal, but still not your price. Okay, 60 seconds, we have only got 80. And you might think 80 is a big quantity, it's not. A third of the stock is already confirmed. You're not restricted, you can get as many of these as you wish. I'm probably thinking about maybe a couple of each color because how giftable are these? And you can customize them so you can keep one plain yeah. and then another one I'd put a pearl on the bottom. Nice. Or, you know, whatever, whatever your favorite gemstone is. Love that. Um, just to customize them at that price, I would definitely, because I can see myself wearing this style a lot. So even if you've got a favorite metal, you know, you can make them different. Can't yeah, they? you can. What did you say, Adam? Our that's true jewelry makers could wire into the middle definitely you're thinking of pearl debs i'm yeah i like the idea of a pearl in there as well you could maybe sort of i don't know 
squash it in this direction, put a round pearl in there and kind of frame it. Yeah, you could. Around that way, not just suspending. We're at $14.99, jewelry makers. That's already an unbelievable deal for beautiful, genuine gemstones and solid, precious, buttery yellow gold with that wonderful sterling silver luster. Crazy. Actually crazy. Again, I, I, I've been into that accessory shop. You know the one. Oh. You know the one. Kids love it, absolutely love it. And seen plastic for more money than that. That is an incredible deal. It is. I mean, that really, really is. And I've seen some deals. Yeah, absolutely. I'm getting these in the break. Yeah, me I'm too. definitely, if there's any left. Yeah, like you said, we've had some lovely boxes and gifts. We had the little uh, velvet pouches the other yes, day. Yes, anything Just pop like them that. in there. Yeah. Unbelievable. And how much would these be if they were at Monica Veneda? You just, you just pounds? sucked the thought out of my brain then. Did I? I was just thinking, bet they'd be like 100 pound at Monica for now. 100 percent well you and i are on that same wavelength that's why <laughs> we're on that same wavelength it's a good wavelength there's a happy wavelength it is a happy wavelength it is yeah they know uh, us on our wavelength don't they <laughs> <laughs> they would be though i agree they would be three figures all day long how much would they be at ashley clark yes same how much would they be mm. at beaver brooks yes or at gucci how much would they be at tiffany's and go ouch you know, you'd be talking fortunes, even with them being the sterling silver. Let's bring you the rose gold now, jewellery makers, shall we? Which equally I'm loving as well. Um, rose gold is rapidly becoming one of our fastest sellers, you know. Is it? Yeah, it's, um, I think, you know, because certainly over recent years, the warmer tones are becoming yeah. more and more popular. And really, millennials had always loved the white metals. Um, however, maybe it's because rose quartz isn't quite so rich. True. Maybe it's because it's that kind of, you know, gentle, gentle warmth. Yeah. Um, but again, lovely, absolutely beautiful blush tones, which comes from um, the copper presence within your, your gold plating. Again, these are solid, precious metal. You've got a beautiful uh, uh, topaz, round, brilliant cut topaz. Let's see them in the ear. Um, oh my goodness me. I can't decide now. That's why I need to maybe get different colors. 10 pounds only. Now, jewelry makers, we're gonna have a minute to close this early bird. The silver is on the other side uh, of um, this hour, so get yourself ready to secure those. Again, look at that beautiful amount of luster. So in 53 seconds, we will be diving straight into the break, uh, diving into some amazing pearl projects with our lovely Debs, which come with your written instructions as well. How many have you got of these, Roscoe? Only 30? Okay, so this is far more limited. Nancy, Teresa, Dawn, Gloucestershire, David, Dorothy, Antoinette, uh, Jennifer, Jill, and Maker, Teresa. In 32 seconds, we're going to be diving straight into your break jewelry makers, so make sure you're checking them out. They will disappear. None of the items in the 8 o'clock hour will still be visible on our website. So if you've got anything in your basket, make sure you're checking it out to guarantee your success. You can still combine your order, you can still add to your order without an additional delivery charge. Um, 10 seconds, jewellery makers. Don't go anywhere. We've got the silver version of these earrings coming up momentarily with Deb's beautiful kits. We'll see you in two. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewellery Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewellery Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm
I'm back with you on Monday the 11th of March. We've got such amazing projects. So I've got some beautiful pearls and you know how much I love pearls. But what I'm really excited about are the Morse code projects that we've got in the 12 o'clock hour. I've never done Morse code jewelry before, so I've been looking into it and I love the story behind it. So do you think you're gonna watch the show? Yes? Or no? <laughs> These are my yes or no earrings. And I've also made a bracelet here that just reminds me to breathe. So I'm going to be doing lots more pieces between now and Monday. I hope you can join me, gorgeous Earl, lovely Ross and the team, on Monday the 11th of March at JM. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I've been with Jewelry Maker since almost the beginning actually. Um, I've been making jewellery now for over 15 years. I get most of my inspiration from nature if I'm honest. Um, I'm a bit of a hippie so I like a floral design. I get a lot of inspiration from the colours of nature, from the textures of nature and that's where I find most of my inspiration for my designs. My favourite medium is like trying to ask me how to pick my favourite child. <laughs> um, Depends. I absolutely love metal work, but equally I love seed beading. So it depends on what day you catch me, what my favourite technique is. It changes all the time. I think Jewelry Maker has evolved in an incredible way. I mean, just through the sheer volume of products and our diversity of products that we get to bring to the audience now, it's amazing. I mean, we're doing metal work. We never used to do that. Just incredible gemstones and incredible techniques. It's almost like every technique out there has been shown on Jewelry Maker because, you know, it's dedicated channel to making jewelry, which is amazing. Yeah. Oh, lovely Deb. Back in the day. Back in we're the day. We're just reminiscing. That was this studio. It was. You probably stood in the same spot, oh, to be honest. weird, isn't it? Yeah. But doesn't it seem like so long ago, but not at the same time? Yes. And we used to have the lovely people doing the courses there, yeah, didn't we? I miss we that. used to love that. Um, and then they used to come in and we'd get to meet them. You could wave at everybody. You, I used to wave. And then you'd, if you're on the way to the you'd pop in and go, hello. hello. <laughs> and we had the shop as well. We had the shop, which was always nice. I liked nice. the shop. Dangerous, but nice. I liked the shop. Yeah, shop was good. Mm. I know. Oh, but you know what? Still good times now. Definitely. I mean, you know, I suppose when you think now of all the things that we're bringing. Yeah. Ten years down the line, everything that, that we've got. We've I mean, massively grown. Did we even do precious metal back in the day, did we? Oh, not initially. No, we didn't, it did was, we? It, it, it took a while for us to actually start bringing the precious metal. And, and the gemstone selection that yeah. we bring you now is so much more extensive. That's why I always kind of like disagree when someone someone says, oh, jewellery maker has got, got more expensive. I personally think it's the polar opposite. I think no. we're less expensive, but we give you a broader range yeah. of gemstones. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, on that, we're about to bring you a gemstone, which, yeah, from day one, we've always brought you. We've always brought you pearls. However, today's market is very different to 14 years ago. Yes. Crumbs, yes. Massively so. Freshwater pearls are not being exported. Saltwater pearls are extortionally expensive. But first, before we get into Deb's amazing project, which I cannot wait to show you, I know you're all waiting for these earrings. You might also notice, let, let just literally, the luster from, from distances away. Oh, they're so beautiful. They are, aren't they? I can't decide which is my favorite color because normally I will go, oh, that one, or that one, or that one. I usually go for silver. Do you know I was really liking the yellow gold? The yellow gold's amazing. Really loving that. I know. See, I normally go for yellow gold, but I'm loving the silver. That's funny. But at that, at that price, though, you could get two pairs, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Because really, 
I mean, that would be good for one pair, I think. Yeah. That's how I would justify it. I, you know, we don't sometimes do make our own jobs quite hard here at Jewelry Maker because the prices, and I get it, I have my friends, my friends were, said to me quite recently actually, was like, well, they can't be genuine at those kind of prices. They are, and I'm like, what? Come on now, you know jewellery maker, you know that we are not the same as your average jewellery shop, we don't have the overheads, we buy very differently, we won't just buy 10 of one pair of earrings, we'll buy hundreds where possible. In fact, which leads me to this next question, Roscoe, how many have we got? 150, okay. there you go. And we work off minuscule margins. So um, you gotta remember that our early bird, we will sell most likely all 150 in this one auction, this couple of minutes auction. So we can afford to bring them to you at smaller margins. You know, how much, ask yourself this question, for a genuine topaz, not CZ, for um, how much would they be if you were looking in somewhere like Monica Veneda, if yes. you were looking in somewhere like Beaver Brooks, Ernest Jones, or yeah. uh, um, Pandora, you know, uh, and I'm assuming Pandora do topaz, I don't know, but they're not going to be the price tag that you're about to see here at Jewelry Maker. Now, the first price crash, first, there's 150. The bigger the quantity, the lower the price. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the clock. It's I like that sound, sound, isn't it? This is why I said, jewellery makers, I'm not just buying for right now, month, month of March. I'm purchasing for the rest of the year. I was a bit late to the party this year, actually. Do you know, I only just bought my first per, uh, Christmas present. I, I think it makes it easier if you get them, you know, year round. It just, it's not such a shock, is it? Yeah, uh, well, this is why I was saying to my husband, he was like, really, why, why, Al? I was like, because I can't afford to do it all in December. No. I can't afford it. So I spread it out over the cost of the year. These would be put away and will be put away um, for, for Christmas presents. Look at how beautiful they are. And instead of being the three figures that they would most likely be in other jewelers, this, these aren't base metal. They're not an alloy. They're not even, which I found really surprising. Was it like some misoma that had an, a, a silver plated alloy, but it didn't mention the alloy. It just said silver plated. Yeah. See, that's that's naughty. Naughty, <laughs> misleading. Yeah, absolutely. Yours are solid nine two five sterling silver with a genuine gemstone at seven pounds and ninety nine pence. Are this, they? Yes. It's the, it is a perfect just because gift at that price, you know? I bought recently for my best friend, she's a, um, a funny candle, I showed you, didn't I? Yeah. I showed, a funny candle, just because she needs a bit of a cheer yeah. up at the moment. It costs more than what's on your screens. Yes. That's a candle. And I went in to get a bit of lunch, my other half went to the Golden Arches, oh, and I don't want anything from there. Went into um, somewhere that does nice food and yeah. got a sandwich, no, a little salad and a drink, and it was more than this. Yeah. And it wasn't a big salad, you know, those little like snack salads. Yeah. It was lovely, but you know. We we went <laughs> it's for, gone. We went for we went for dinner yesterday. Paid for the for the for the car parking, more than that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. These are precious 925 sterling silver, beautiful gem encrusted earrings, so designer inspired in the fact that you've got the, the late, the biggest trend at the moment in your linked jewelry is all about the paperclip. Now I know this is more of a Marquise paperclip, yes. but um, but it, again, I've brought you deal of the days where we've discussed like your oversized statement jewelry. I think these would be described as your over, uh, your statement earrings. Um, the round brilliant cup that you can see in my earlobe there is, um, is a topaz, not CZ, not crystal, not plastic. It's a genuine gemstone and a birthstone as well. Yeah, that makes all the difference for me. Yeah. I'm not a massive CZ fan, I have to be honest. Sometimes no. I see things, I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. Um, but if I can have a genuine gemstone, I'd rather that. It would be your preference. Yes. Yeah, me too. Me too. And again, you could very easily customise these as jewellery makers. Now, it's not a surprise to me when I look at the call screens and I see the majority of you actually choosing to multi-buy. That doesn't surprise me at that price tag, I would too. Um, June's got two, Nicolette's got three, Fiona's got two, Mantra's got two, Fife's got two, Susan's got two, Angela's got two, Amanda's multi-bought, uh, Antoinette's multi-bought, uh, Jacqueline, Stella, Yorkshire, Janet, I can't keep up with you, Doreen, Suzanne, Ali, Brenda, Teresa and Stephen, Claire. Keep on dialing through, we had 150 of these, but they're absolutely flying. now. Um, just before 
we get into Deb's projects, but hang on. Um, perfect for Deb's project. Bear with. We have spools. A spool. Hang on a oh, minute. that's a very nice chain. Isn't that's it? Spool. Yes. Spools of chain. This is a paper clip. And then, hang on a minute. These are the studio samples, so don't worry if it's a little bit tangled. Yours won't be. Oh, I love that paperclip one. That's really lovely. It's lovely, mm. isn't it? Beautiful. Then I've got a curb chain. These are perfect to go with your um, your pearls, your drop pearls, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. That's why we wanted to squeeze it in before yeah. we bring your projects, because it would be perfect, like you said, to customise your pearls. And then we have your classic trace chain or meter long length so um see these little little black tags by the way keep them because mm. they're your anti-tarnish strips so do keep hold of those i always put them in my jewelry box anyway so if you're looking to recreate i don't know deb say maybe this lovely necklace here that you've done with yes. our statement class but you're thinking i'm more of a silver wearer then this will be perfect because you can Absolutely. you can recreate that you don't have to be a solder or a silversmith to work with chains like this you could very 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 easily work them with things like your featherweight head pins yes definitely um, you just, uh, I used, I think it was 0.3 wire on that particular chain, but mm. that is a smaller link than any of these, I think. Oh no, it's the middle one. Yeah. Um, so yes, you can definitely get something through all of them. Obviously the paper link chain, you can get a jump ring through, um, po yes, possibly the next size up, depending on what size jump rings you've got, or make them out of wire. I like the chain earrings where you have a little bit of chain and then a gemstone. Yeah, ring. gorgeous. So I've got loads of those gorgeous so so wearable oh like the pearl ones that you've done just yes. there so you've got like two inches if you like of your chain and then a pearl at the bottom now i don't know what ross has taken these two however you've got three meters three meters of solid 925 sterling silver in three different links this is how your jewelry uh, um, workshops buy their chain Yes. You know, as opposed to sort of purchasing their, you know, oh, here's my 16, here's my 18, here's my 20. You're restricted then, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Um, you can actually customise each each necklace because we're not all the same size. We're not all the same shape. No. Um, so you can actually make it personal. Um, and plus, it's not just a necklace, is it? It can be a bracelet. It can be an anklet. It yeah. can be a pair of earrings. It can be whatever you wish. So how many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 53 available opportunities. Oh, uh, you're having a, a few problems loading it. Right, okay, well don't worry. I'll leave that with you. We might have to come back to them, jewelry makers. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's just in the nick of time. Gremlins. Gremlins, <laughs> just going here. -he. In the system. Yeah, just being naughty, making it, being a menace. Being a menace. Um, you can crimp these as well. We've got 50 available opportunities. So again, you have your spool bundle what do you take it to roscoe out of curiosity no you don't for t okay so you get one meter of each of those yes yeah. oh you get all of them yeah which is what one meter to put into perspective is two 18 inch chains and a bracelet isn't yes. it yes at least at least at least so that is fabulous for your stash i mean you know i'd probably get two yeah just because of how often I run out of silver chain. <laughs> and you've also just heard what the price is. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, I've heard what the price is. Yeah, it is affordable, isn't it? Yeah. Now, again, I agree 100% with what Debs was just saying. It's an affordable price tag. And the reason why I asked the question is because, Ross, uh, the bigger, and I've said this before, the biggest quantity auction I've ever done here at Jewelry Maker was 2,000. And 2,000 of oh. them sold out. Um, what were they? Silver chains by the meter. It was one silver, uh, one meter length mm -hmm. of a particular design, very similar to this one, the paperclip one. Yes. Um, and I can't, I'll tell you, it sold out at a higher price than this is going to work out per meter. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, 2,000 of them sold out. The price of our 925 seems to be coming down. And I know. It's the opposite uh, yeah. of what's going on in the industry. Yeah. Now, we are. At twenty pounds per sterling silver meter chain, mm -hmm. which I don't know about you, but you could buy a bracelet seven inches for more than that. I was just going to say I'd struggle to find one for twenty pounds in sterling silver. I've not seen any, you know, not certainly not on the high street. No, no. 
you can go online but then you've got a question is the quality going to be am i going to be uh, you know happy with the quality when it turns up because i think we've all ordered taken that chance taking yep. that punt thinking oh that's a good price it's turned up and it's utter rubbish yeah you know um i've had that with lots of different things lots of walks of life you know here at jewelry maker we are a tr trusted supplier we bring you a premium quality genuine solid 925 sterling silver and even here 20 pounds a meter now the biggest quantity auction i've done was on a meter long length of chain and it was a higher price than what you're about to see across this bundle you get all three of the designs that's not 59.99 for one where you choose you get all three of them there so again one meter length makes you two 18 inch uh, necklaces and a bracelet um probably a bit more than that and you can get that times three today Okay, sorry, I thought you said $39.99. No. Oh, that, okay. 10 pounds. Oh, right. That's 10 wow. pounds per spool. <coughs> it's, I, that's unbelievable. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that really is. And you're somebody, Deb, that, you know, you speak from experience. You have bought sterling silver chains before. Oh, it, it's a nightmare. You know, if you look on the, I've said this before, but on the high street, I was shocked because I thought, you know, you used to go to the silver cabinet in the jewellers, didn't mm. you? You think, oh, I'll be able to get so and so something from here. Not anymore. Like, silver's so expensive. Yeah, it is. Um, and I remember when I used to go to my local beading shop and they used to have a base metal chain by the roll. Yeah. And then you'd cut, you know, you'd cut it off. But, I would say that I would get a couple of metres of base metal chain, it would have cost me a ton. Absolutely. You know that hobby shop? Mm -hmm. Not the one that's just there, the other one. When you go and buy ribbon. Oh, yes. Buy yeah, the yeah. metre. Yeah. You know, that's expensive. We're talking about a precious rare extracted from the ground material. You know, let's not forget. Let's not forget this is something. You know, we always talk about the rarity of gemstones. Silver, gold, platinums, they are all, they're expensive because they're rare. And you're getting this wonderful designer uh, link. But versatile for us all as jewellery makers, you have got an open link. Even the finest in the centre there, you can put a featherweight head pin through. Most so if you definitely. don't silversmith or sold, which I don't, you can still wrap loop a, a clasp onto those. Yeah, you definitely can do that. Um, I did that exactly that with uh, was it that necklace? Yes, because that that this gold one, yeah, yeah, yeah that gold chain is the same. Um, I just used some wire, but you know what really went absolutely crazy last year and has come into being this year as well is the shape of the drop pearl that we're going to be bringing in a moment. But there's a bracelet at the front there, Dan. Um, the, you know the chain bracelet, the pearl that's actually in front of the. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Now something these went crazy last year these in earrings these in bracelets especially on paperclip chains yeah lovely um these in necklaces and i didn't see one that was under a hundred pounds no and then they brought them back they all sold out they brought them back and then they all sold out again mm -hmm. and these are like your monica venadas your misomas you know those sorts of lovely they do lovely jewelry but you can make it so much less than that but but, but again it was an eye-opener deb's when I did a statement bracelet deal of the day a couple of weeks ago, yeah, lovely, and it in my prep, you know, when you get so caught up in the preparation for something that literally I'm like, oh, you know, mm. I, I probably spent far too long than I needed to, but I was genuinely intrigued. It's quite interesting because though. so many of those designer brands, I just assumed that they were pre all precious metal, oh, no, 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 but no. they're not. Mm. It was like, they'll just put silver plated. And it wasn't until sort of I went, yeah, but silver plated what? Brass sometimes. And it was. Silver that plated You're still brass. paying three figures. Yeah. It, it did, do you know, it made me a bit cross, Adam. It made me a bit cross, because I was like, you can't just, I had to do, you know, like you get the, the little uh, um, digital, how can I help, you know, pop up. Yes. And I actually asked one of those. No, what's the what's the? You have to go looking for it. It's in the small print in like the fourth drop down or whatever. Yeah. In some of them, um, you know. Okay, there's nothing wrong with silver plated brass. You know that's but good. But say it. But say it and don't charge. No, the, the three figure prices yeah. because people will assume. I'm in the industry and I assumed you, that it was all because solid. of the price. You assume, you see. Absolutely, but no, actually they were alloys or your base metals or your brasses yeah. and things like that. So yeah, whereas you know that with us this is solid nine two five. Sorry, I'm ranting now, aren't I? <laughs> so I just have a little rant. <laughs> um, 
No, I agree with you. And it, it is annoying as well when they, they, they'll say, oh, um, a certain gemstone. And when you go into the description, it says certain gemstone colour. Or, yeah, or it's synthetic. Dyed. It's synthetic turquoise. Yeah. Or, but you have to really look for it. And it's only because you look at it and think, no, that doesn't look real to me. And yeah. I know. I've yeah. you know, probably got a better chance of, of spotting it. So I think it is that I always know from here and always have done, even when I was a customer, that I know what I'm getting. I've got a friend who bought... Um, a ruby ring. Uh oh. I, I haven't had the heart to say anything, but you just it's know. Not obviously not. It's not, though. No. You can just tell it's not, and it's so wrong. Mm. It's so wrong, isn't it? Anyway, right, going down that rabbit, rabbit hole, aren't we, really? <laughs> um, Debs, your <sighs> projects today are absolutely stunning. Just, I'm obsessed with these. I've gone really what I see in shops, what I see online, what I think people wear all the time um, for over three figures. And I've made those designs. I mean, I've added some rubies wow. that I had in my stash and made a ruby wow. choker and ruby earrings with these beautiful drop pearls. And a lot of them, you get sort of two very similar and then a bigger one, so you could get yeah three suites of jewelry out of, of some of these and they're just the shape and the luster on these pearls i mean i've actually got no idea what these are going to i've done so many shows recently because i've been covering and things that I, it's kind of all you know so i have no idea what these are going to but this is the sort of what i call bread and butter gemstone that i use and wear every day yeah absolutely you know you could do a susie tassel and have these on the end you could you know there's so many design possibilities you can go simple you can go bold simply beautiful kits i've just heard the mm. quantity have you got of your yes you know your earrings which are i'm desperate for half drill pearls and do you know you get loads of these i didn't realize they were all in one i yeah. thought oh, maybe they've just put them in the same bag for me no these are all half drill pearls and like deb's just said if i just get a white piece of paper bear with me so Oh, hang on, that's not a white piece of paper. Um, Lauren, can you pass me a white piece of paper, lovely? Look at the luster on those. They're positively champagne. And they're different sizes. And when I went to look, I managed to find, you know, I had to look and found equal ones for earrings and then slightly yeah. larger ones for pendants or, you know, you get such a great variety of sizes in there. Thank um, you, darling. Just everyone was beautiful. Well, let's put them on a white piece of paper so then you can actually see. Oh, my goodness, these lovely? are gorgeous. <laughs> wow, these the have, luster. Oh, these have definitely been sung too well. Definitely. Haven't they? Yeah, these are Mariah Carey pearls. <laughs> <laughs> well, bless, bless you. you. Um, how unbelievable are they? I but like the variety. And they're not all... Sorry to interrupt. No, you are. They're, they're not all... Um, you're not getting like all of these pearls and thinking, well, I can't even find two that match for earrings. You know, they've been very carefully put together. And there's two kind of s slightly different colours as well, isn't there? There's more yeah. of a, there's like a... A pink and a champagne, a, I yeah. would describe them. Yeah, that's better than mine. Just go in. <laughs> you have got some like this one here is very pink. <coughs> Excuse me. Very pinky. Just oh, lovely. Oh, my goodness. Now, they're all half drilled again, pearls. Um, you've got drops. You've got more rice bead like shapes. Now, Debs, we've got 250 of this project. Oh, that's Two, really And you get the written instructions, don't forget. Do you know what? Do you know the cherry on the proverbial cake for me is the fact that you get all your little mini peg bales too. And do you know, they've been drilled so well that I mean, I don't mind trimming my, my peg bales when I have to, but everyone just went in just really simply. Oh, really? Yeah. Just a little bit of your uh, jewelry making glue. Yep. Now, 250, you get your shepherd hooks, you get your peg bales, you get uh, your butterfly backs, you get um, your jump rings there as well. A pack of 10 beautiful quality pearls. We're gonna do a massive, believe it or not, close out deal, even though we've got that big quantity. I was very surprised by the luster on these. I yeah. just thought how amazingly lustrous every single one of them was. Okay. Just beautiful. So, Debs, I don't know, whichever pair of earrings, I mean, can you imagine if you were... Just the one nearest to you, the most simplest, yeah. those. Okay. How much would you sell those for, do you reckon? It's sterling silver, and in this present climate, if I was at a proper artisan craft fair, I'd sell those for about £70. Amazing. And I bet they would fly at that price, uh, and that's, too. Yeah. 
because again educate your customers as well tell yeah. them what's going on yeah. with your uh, with pearls the pearl industry the fact that we literally cannot access them um, now we went to Hong Kong for the first time in probably best part of 20 years and never bought pearls no. you know so it's the accessibility as well the replacement value look at the quality of the pearl as well amazing luster well let me just say jewelry makers um, massive close out deal on these if Debs is saying those pair of earrings 70 pounds and I bet they would absolutely fly because they're a staple to every person's wardrobe now 10 pearls half drilled you get your peg bales that again for me is that cherry on the cake because I'm going to buy those separately all the sterling silver Let's forget about the silver for a second. Focus on the 10 varieties of pearls that you're getting. 49 pounds and 99 pence. And the earring wires, or is that separate? Uh, what comes together? You get all of this. No, you don't. You get everything. You get your peg bales. Are you sure? Wow, I thought the all of the silver was an upsell. No. For 49.99? Yeah. Okay, just buy it. Just don't even think about it. We <laughs> that have is incredible. 250. Oh, okay. We're at £10 per pair. Is that right? We're at £5 a pearl, Roscoe. So £10 for a pair of earrings? Yeah, um, for genuine culture pearl earrings. Okay. £10 per pair. That's amazing. But they're fine quality. These aren't pearls that lack luster, that lack like size. No, no. Um, we are not even stopping there. Now, I'm going to ask you, jewelry makers, who's a pearl lover? Slightly. Massively. Mm. I, I, I go as far as saying they're probably my favourite gemstone at the moment. Me too, I'm just obsessed. I just, they make me happy and that's all there is to yeah. it. I'm not apologising. No, I won't <laughs> apologise for it either. I generally think they're actually one of my favourite gemstones, if not my number one at the moment. If you're a pearl lover, join us on the phone lines. Add them to your basket. You don't even have to check out. We all know that £10 for a pair of pearl earrings is unbelievable. You can get synthetic, plastic. You know, Coco Chanel works with fake pearls. I don't Faux think pearls. that I could go into um, somewhere like Zara, Marks and & Spencers and buy a pair of plastic pearl earrings mm -hmm. for £9.99. No, I don't think plastic so either. Plastic on yep. base metal. I this agree. is sterling silver and beautiful high luster gorgeous pearls yeah absolutely i totally agree with you i totally Would agree you? because i just they're gonna be they're gonna be what 20 20 pounds at the very least <laughs> for synthetic nothing. pearls and base metal these are solid 925 sterling silver we have 250 available opportunities <laughs> oh that how much how much is that for I can't even. Five pound per pair. So that pair of earrings that you said that if you were an artisanal market, they're sterling silver, you could educate your customers, say, look, this is the situation within pearls. Um, you're immediately 65 pound in profit. You haven't got to buy the peg bales. You don't have to the, put on an, a um, head pin. No. You don't have to, those pair of earrings that you're looking at there, you don't have to do anything. You get everything in the kit. And yeah, and, and and I'm not great at wrap loops. My wrap loops are not consistent. Oh uh, yeah. One will be off. A lot of people say that. Yeah, yeah. one's off to a, you yeah. know one direction, one's off to the other. Um, so that's why I love these peg bales. They're neat, professional. They are neat. That, so I'm loving this project. I'm kicking myself for not bringing my phone into the studio right now because this is definitely the kind of pe uh, the kind of project that I would get involved. Literally have a, a little little production line make yeah. high quality pearl earrings and pendants yeah and pendants is oh. this not your price Ra? is this your price yeah i just i was gonna say that that's two pound fifty a pearl if you have a look at those earrings there like i'm just looking to my side it's like you see in jewelers yeah and you know you can then use the larger ones and there are larger ones as pendants yeah absolutely no, let's not forget the drop shape is a very expensive shape of pearl very expensive because it's rare to form you know during the culturing process they're usually turning the uh the actual oysters or mollusks 
to create the shape yes. that they want. Now that's not always a guarantee. It's not even a guarantee that they've got a pearl within there. But can we also point out the fact, re I'm duty bound to say this, it's irreplaceable. You've had our pearl buyer who's in the building, by the way. I saw her walk past the glass window, but she said she came on air a couple of weeks ago and said, Look, I can't buy freshwater pearls. Moving forward, you are going to see Edison's. Edison, 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 Edison. And, and that's amazing. Edison pearls are beautiful, but they're expensive. They are very, very, very expensive. Freshwater pearls are not being, not because they're not being harvested, they're being harvested, but the Chinese market has an insatiable appetite mm. for pearls at the moment mm. and they will they'll spend the money they will pay more than 24 pounds 99 let's put it that way well i think you know if you're making to sell you know i mean it's gone crazy because i think not only making to sell but making your own earrings and you know what struck me i i had some pearls on my um, beading mat and I was just you know like when you put things together to see if you're going to put it with it and what struck me was how lustrous these were in comparison to the other pearls that I had on my bead mat and they could have been from years ago because I've mm. got a lot of pearls um, and that's when I started to look at how lustrous they were because I was like compared to some of these other little pearls that I was going to put with them they're incredibly but lustrous. doesn't it make a difference it really does that's what I, it was Charlie Barron who said to me he was kind of talking about the, the five virtues and he was saying <laughs> the most important of your five virtues is not size it's not shape it's not color it's not and to a certain degree it's nacre but the most important is luster Agreed. because you can have the biggest pearl the most perfectly shaped the most amazing natural color um, but if it lacks na nacre and ultimately your luster it's just a meh pearl and sometimes you don't realize that until you get one with this luster yeah, compare it to another one in your stash and you're like oh oh, oh yeah <laughs> 107 of these not have so gone. Bad. We've not got so jewelers getting involved as well. We did not bring the 250 quantity to air to only sell 107 though, which by the way is a big quantity. Oh, we my lord. have another price crash for oh. you, jewelry makers. We always did, but to justify it you've got to remember these are irreplaceable not irreplaceable in a sense that they are no longer being cultured of course they are irreplaceable at these prices and even at i don't know three four five times that price manchester's got six uh and oh um, no do you know what manchester's got seven you've just upped your quantity we are going even lower there are two, or were 250 available opportunities and it will be an on-screen sellout. I agree, <coughs> I agree. What a agree. cracking deal. What an absolutely cracking deal. Well, and, I mean, you get my project in as well. It's not a difficult project, but if this is your yeah, first you time instructions. to shop with us, you know, if, you, if you've been watching and you've been thinking, you know, I want to make jewellery, get this, get the project, tell you everything you need to do and you're off and away. Yeah, yeah, and you've got everything you need to make those earrings. I haven't got to add head pins. I haven't got to add any other component, have I really? No, that's why I said go to those because that's everything that's in, in yeah. your project. So y yes, you can add rubies and things like I have. Because <laughs> why not? Why not? You know, um, amazing pearls. Yeah, or in the chain, on the end of the chain, they're beautiful. beautiful. We're going lower, Debs. I'm excited. There was 250 of these available. Another oh. minute clock. No, 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 no. We are going lower for genuine cultured pearls. Look, the te the pearls on their own. Uh, imagine that as 10 components. And then you've got the silver. Let's count those as really as one. Because you've got the peg bales and this two. I think you've got jump rings in there as well. Yeah. You've got the instructions. And the instructions. So let's say one, two, three, four components then in this project. Okay, okay. That's but the high-end components, yeah. high-end components, they are obviously more than four because you've got, I mean, 10, ten of the pearls. most beautiful pearls. Okay, just work it out that way. What's that then, six pounds? Four, yeah. About six pound per... What, so six pounds for 10 pearls? Yes. You mean? Yes, which is just ridiculous, but not just. Yeah, we're £2.50. No, but we're working out for four components. Let's do this. So £24.99 divided by four, £6.25. Now let's do this. £6.25 divided by 10. Well, I think we can do that in our heads, can't we? 60. 
62. Yeah. 62p a pearl. Another clock. There's 250 of these available. We're not stopping there. We're not stopping there. For the silver alone, I think this is an amazing deal. Whoa, great. What's that great? Great price. Yeah, absolutely. A unbelievable, Gloria. And it's going even lower. Hence why we've had the 60 second clock repeatedly. It's going lower. I don't want you to miss out on opportunities like this. Irreplaceable. And I'm not talking about the fact, look, we know gem certain gemstones get mined out, whatever yeah. reason. Culture pearls are still being cultured. They absolutely are. However, they're not being exported. They're not being exported because of the price tag of literally on home turf. You know, the Chinese market, which makes up a third of the world's population, absolutely will pay high prices for their cultured pearls. Understandably so. I have to say they're, they're easily one of our favorite gemstones. Oh, yeah. In 10 seconds though, it's happening jewelry makers from 250 quantity and 24 pounds, 99 pence for potentially what five pairs of beautiful precious rare lustrous cultural pearl culture pearl earrings or pendants go 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 <laughs> i'd pay that for the peg bales i i would pay that for the peg bales on their own it's a pack of ten and the stuff you know it's two pound so per peg bale and everything else for free I'd pay that for the peg bales. I'd pay that for the sterling silver components. I most definitely 100% would pay that for the pearls, separately. I totally agree, Ross is saying in our ear that for what you are getting, this has to be one of the best deals we've ever brought to air. Totally, I'd totally agree. agree. That. I totally That's agree. why we had 250. Old jewelry maker history, love it absolutely love it who doesn't love pearls and these are beautiful like when you get them home honestly and you open them they're just absolutely stunning yeah you'll see the luster you'll see the difference you'll see what Debs and I are actually raving about the phone lines have gone completely crazy so much so the what you're rocking the system I'm not surprised because forget like even if you you know if you don't make to sell or you don't make to gift even you just make for yourself that i mean it's that how i know i bang on about it but the whole making things you can't afford to buy and you know it, these are earrings that you could pay over 100 pound for elsewhere because there's nothing different about the pearl i mean i haven't seen those pearls i've only seen them online and they're obviously going to be enhanced a bit are photoshopped aren't they oh yeah definitely you know, that's I'm the best they're going to look because they're going to make them look really yeah. nice and you know, some of them, as you said, aren't precious metal, they're plated. Yeah. I mean, this is just a no-brainer. Deb's four pounds to make those. Four pounds for culture pearl That's earrings. That's disrespectful to that, who's pairs It is, I apologize, culture Sorry, pearls. Earrings. Yeah, I apologize. But our audience know, what? Yeah. Oh yeah. Four pounds for the pearl, not the silver. Is that right? Am I saying that right? I'm so confused. Either way, it's a mega, mega, mega deal, isn't it? Look at the quality that you're getting here. And we go back to what we were saying, Zara, Marks and Spencers, Dorothy Perkins, I don't know, any of your high street shops. If you were to go in there and look at synthetic pearls, faux pearls, effectively. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, I'm going to be at the Creative Craft Show on the 17th. Of the, we all are. Jen Poirier is going to be there for that weekend. And last time I was there, I had a good look around. And, you know, the jewellery stores are, are there. Wouldn't you be able to buy a freshwater cultured pearl, half drilled, lovely luster, for a pound or one pound ninety like if you look at it if you just think about the pearls let's forget everything else you've got 10 pearls for 99 will you no. no 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 i can say no you'd be lucky if you got a, a strand of plastic pearls for one pound ninety yeah exactly uh, and you know we used to do pearl stud earrings and drops obviously mm. in the jewelers that i worked at they started at 60 pounds yeah. and they were small pearls, not drop pearls. Because people won't believe they're real otherwise. Yeah. And if you look at it as like a trade deal, which is why jewellers and jewellery shops buy from us, it is a, to me, and this is just my opinion, yeah. it's a trade 
deal. It's what you get when you're going to like stick four times hundred percent margin on or whatever. Yeah, because absolutely. Because that still is not a bad price in no, the market. No, no, Do you no, agree? not at all. And we have that perceived value with pearls. We know that they are, you know, a precious commodity. We know that they are rare and beautiful yeah. and valued, um, especially when you have this amazing champagne luster. They are gorgeous. We had two hundred and fifty, and they are going crazy. Still loads of you with it in your baskets. Um, so again, make sure you're checking out. I think our call screen's frozen, actually. It has frozen, uh, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it has. So um, I'll, I'll verbalise how we're doing. Um, after the, We'll do the demonstration. I'll okay. verbalise how we're doing on stock quantities. But as long as you're checking out your end, that's all that matters. Um, any questions, as always, do text in. We are live here in the studio. Um, <laughs> I love working with that. He really keeps me on my toes. And things he does he rather. My he does. Um, can I just show everybody your instructions as yes, well? Certainly so your can. your instructions are for those beautiful ruby earrings. Ah, oh. so you get this with your with your. Um, I agree. The instructions alone would cost money elsewhere, wouldn't they? I think to have be able to access them, even as we've said before, if you just you can look at those experienced jewel makers or look at those and they'll know how to make them. But just for that, um, you might buy the kit, you might buy quite a few kits a week, and it, then you might get it out in a couple of weeks time. I think I can't remember what I bought those to make. I mean, not at this price, you, you do even need to think that. But you might think, oh, I was gonna make what Deb made and I can't remember. Then you've got that reminder. Sometimes it's like, it's like you know, if you if you were looking through a clothes catalog and you want inspiration of yeah, I often outfits do that. to put together yeah. or something like that, you can flick through and go, oh yeah, I'm gonna make those. That'll look lovely with for this occasion or that occasion. But so equally, print them off, they are free. If you're new, mm -hmm. um, I started with earrings as my first project. You don't even have to turn any loops, actually, I, to, if you're going to just make the plain ones because you just glue the bail in. Mm. Um, yep. What I loved about this, and am I in, in a frame, Ad? Oh, Perfect. Um, if you have a look at, oh, wow. I couldn't do that again if I tried. <laughs> you could I think not that had be nothing more to central. do with me. <laughs> if you have a look at these, these are the sorts of sizes that you're looking at. So you get, I was looking around for two that I could use for earrings. So those are perfect. And then there was one in the same color tone um, that I could use as a pendant. And then you've got like a full suite of jewelry. So even if you put um, the pegs into these, and as we just shown you, and then put that on one of our chains, Look at that for sweet, you know, bridal. Yeah. Do you do you sell for bridal? Um, it would be absolutely perfect. So the first thing that you need to do is just pop your little bail into your pearl. Now, sometimes with these sorts of things, you always want to have a trial run before you start because sometimes I'll pop my little peg bail in and it will be sort of a little bit too long so it kind of looks like that and then I'll need to trim some off but these were just perfect every single one they just fit in so what the way that I would usually do it is don't use any um, super glue or anything like that because that can um, change the color of your pearl so what I like to use for pearls is the hyper cement uh, that really holds it beautifully and it just protects those lovely little pearls and your silver so what I and you've got a lovely precision tip now I am not safe to be on television with glue <laughs> because I can, I can make something out of a sheet of metal but give me a tube of glue and I'll, I'll glue my fingers to the desk so it's just a bit I'm a bit inept when it comes to glue so all you do is having said that I did all this and I'm, I'm still alive so it's all good so you need to just pop a little bit of glue actually inside that cup but also get some glue onto the stalk of the bale as well now you want to I always have a little cotton bud nearby just in case any spills over I can just remove that so then what I just do is pop on my pearl and then I would usually hold that for a few seconds um, and just depending on which glue you're using for the manufacturer's guidelines and then I'd put usually if I'm using the hyper cement I would pop that aside and mm. wait overnight yeah just until I'm completely dry but before that if you do notice that you've got any little spodges that have, have got, come around the outside just get your cotton bud and get rid of those before the glue dries and then that's good to go that's all you have to do with that and then if you were making a plain earring you just pop that on an ear wire so you're not even wrapping any loops or doing anything you're just opening an ear wire now what I was going to show you which I just thought was so pretty I had gone in my stash for all my rubies for when I was sand casting because you can sand cast with rubies and I'd actually sand casted with some of these little tiny rubies in a ring you might remember it on the sand casting show so they were actually on my bead mat you've got these rubies 
Oh, these rubies. The, the colour of these rubies is absolutely yeah, stunning. Amazing. So literally, I've got one, two, three, there's five rubies in this earring, and I think I did seven in the other ones. But if you're somebody who doesn't like a long drop in an earring, you could just put one at the top, and they're so vibrant. Yeah. I mean, even if you've got something like um, Blue Appetite or... You know, any of those, go you know, a J, one large jade um, bead at the top would be so pretty. So what I did um, for this particular one, I've, I've obviously added in the rubies. I've added in some uh, sterling silver wire and you get your uh, fish hooks actually in the kit, which is incredible. And you do get your little um, caps. So what you do is you glue on and I've already done it so that I can I can show you. So you glue in and then you're ready, ready to go. So what I want to do is just going to do a wrap loop at one end of my wire. Now you're dealing, in my opinion, with really beautiful components. So if you want to keep your earring all sterling silver, use a sterling silver length of wire rather than silver plated. That's just my opinion. If you don't mind, you can still use silver plated. So I want to have quite a little loop because I don't want it to be overpowering, really look at my eye to be drawn to it. So I'm gonna use the smallest part of my pliers. And I know a lot of you will be going, I know how to do this, but there will be some people who don't and they might be starting their jewelry making journey. And I'm just bringing my wire over the top there and then I tend to sort of move my plies around and then hug the bottom. Now then I turn it around and have a look at it and I think you know is that the size I want and actually that's a pretty good size that little loop but if it was bigger and you wanted to make it smaller you can pull these two tails and that will make your little loop uh, go a little bit smaller and then I'm going to attach it to my bail on the top here. Pop it in and then I'm going to wrap loop this close. Now, if you don't know how to wrap loop, you can do a, a plain loop, that's absolutely fine. It's just that the security of a wrap loop is great, especially with things like earrings that are gonna move around because there's nothing for that to slip out of. So what you do is you take the tail and you're going to wrap it around the longer tail that's there. Now you can use your hands, or I tend to find that I get a bit of a neater wrap if I use my pliers so I'm just taking my pliers and you know ask yourself how much you want it to show is it just a functional loop holding it in place in which case you could just wrap it once or are you wanting to show a little bit of that precious metal in that case you could wrap it twice but however many times you wrap it make sure you do it the same on both earrings so I'm not mm. really wanting to make a feature of that so what I'm going to do is just wrap it once and then you want to get your cutters and just cut off if you're using sterling, don't throw that away, pop that to the side because you can always either pop that in your scrap pot um, and cash it in later or use it for another project. So I'm just going to straighten that out. And then I just I was just so mesmerized by these little rubies that I'd got out, forgot that I had them. So any little three millimeter faceted gemstone will get the same effect. You might, black spinel would be beautiful. So I'm just going to pop these on and they're so saturated in colour, they're really, really beautiful. And let me show you what one looks like, because I know some people don't like really dangly earrings, but look at that, if you just had one wow. on there. Wow, yeah, I mean, gorgeous. I think that would work as well, wouldn't it? So y I think people know what kind of earrings, like some people say, oh, I never wear dangly earrings, some people wear dangly earrings and, and they'll wear studs as well. Um, but that's the beauty, that's why I got into making jewellery, I could make whatever earrings I wanted. So I've got three on there, I've got five on the other side, so that's four. Come here, little. Come here. Here I am talking to my beads in public again. No, I don't think you're alone in that. <laughs> uh, come here, little bead. That's four. And then I just need one more. I like this one. Five. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. And this is what I have. Wow. I've got my little, and that could be a pendant, couldn't it, if you wanted it to be? We actually have those rubies as well, Debs. Oh, we'll actually be bringing those my, at some point okay. throughout the course of the morning. Because um, these are gorgeous, if you would sand casting, but also I just, I just think that our small faceted rubies, are, the colour is yeah, just amazing. beautiful. Um, would you like to bring the four mils? To, we've got we? four mils and two mils. Okay, so I think these are three mil. I think they might be four. I've not measured them with my calipers, but you will get. Uh, what do you think? I think two. You think these are two? Yeah. Either way, you'll be right because uh, you look at them more than I do. Either as far way, as sizes go. We're going to start with the four mil. We'll bring okay. them to air. 
Sorry, not to just just no go because it's only a, I'll, I can finish. Here off. you go. Oh, I love the different colours in this. Strip. Amazing. It so will go beautifully. So this would give you like a one maybe above your really, yeah. your um, pearl. They're gorgeous. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, love that. So that's fifty carats. Natural rubies as so you well. You don't often get that, do you? Mm -mm. Not very often at all. I have only got 20 of these though, so you will need to be uh, quick checking out your basket again. Genuine ruby, not synthetic ruby. Please be mindful when you're shopping elsewhere. I'm not, I'm not tarnishing everybody with the same brush, obviously, but you know, be mindful. You know, I, I've got a ruby ring I wear all the time. It is ruby, but it's diffused. So is mine. But mine's again, that's not discussed, is it? Yours is natural ruby. Beautiful. Look at the different colours on that strand. That is a stunning strand. 50 carats for £69.99. pence. Beautiful. Unbelievable. I agree. Just one. I think on top of the ruby, that's all you, uh, on top of the pearl, sorry, and that's all you need. We've got, how did you say, 20? 20 available opportunities, the perfect addition to your uh, to your pearl um, project. We've also got the most amazing sapphire as well, which I think would be oh. unbelievable too. These are coming up. 20 pounds for 50 carats of ruby 20 pounds i know the sapphires are insane but you think you put those sapphires with the pearls you're going to be oh my gosh i need that strand of yeah, sapphires i've I know. never seen anything like that i know and the fact you can go oh yes those are ruby and pearls. sorry yeah i just completely lost my train yeah. um, no ruby and pearls ruby sapphire, and pearls, and pearls. sapphire and pearls you're going to be taken seriously um ah oh, yeah respectability yeah. absolutely but lots of people are asking for the two mil rubies Debs to recreate You're right, they your are amazing two, earrings they are two mil the one I'm using I thought they were three but yeah. they're the same size oh. yes oh. so pretty we have got what sorry I love it the actual necklace that's on pre-order we've got that project coming yeah. up as well which comes in a little pochette and has that kind of, sort of coffee bean feature just there that's coming up as well let's bring you the two millimeter natural ruby not diffused oh, not dyed not even heat treated totally natural <gasps> look at that color oh wow I don't blame you for asking on this one so you can literally recreate Deb's beautiful neck, uh, earrings and, and the necklace. And the necklace. So I only used 10 for the um, earrings and then I used the rest for the necklace, but I had used some, so it wasn't yeah. even a whole strand. I think there's an extended chain on the back of that necklace, but um, look at that. I, mean, I oh, just gorgeous. think sapphires and rubies just lend themselves yes, to pearls like this. Yes, please. Oh. Should we go crazy, says Ross? We've just seen a crazy yes, price please. on your pearls. Um, we're going to do another crazy price on a, on a member of the big five. Look, you can see the quality. <laughs> I've got 60 available. That's your oh. first price crash. First price crash. First. first. Point. That's so good. Look, it's like the most beautiful blossom tree you've ever seen in your life, that strand. Look at it. Look at it. It's one of those deals where you've got to pull this expression, Debs. I know, I do that. And then someone screenshots it and sends it to me. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You could make, hey, Cartier, you work with beaded oh. rubies. Oh, they're beautiful. So do we. They are gorgeous. They're also the price of a very nice house. 249,000. Goodness Did me. Did they say plus something? Um, plus. 1,855 for whatever reason. Is that a phone number? Right, okay, I can't see eyesight. Okay, so there we are, just your casual quarter of a million. Quarter of a million <laughs> for those ruby earrings. Be and take inspiration, create a better version. That's what I say, jewellery makers. We're at fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I'm not stopping there. That's you know that would be beautiful as a bracelet with one of those pearls hanging off of it, wouldn't oh, it? Like at in these a little prices, stack. You could definitely do that, couldn't you? Oh yes, please. And you're only using well, I think I used seven on the longer earrings, and I've used five on these. So you're using ten for a pair of earrings. Wow. Wow, wow, That's wow. That's such a good price. Such an amazing price tag. Jewelry makers, make sure you are oh. checking out your basket because there was how many of these available, Ross? 60 available. That's Back so you, good. Deb. So good. So you've got your rubies now and you've popped them on. That's so good. I can't go over it. I know, eleven ninety nine. I know. I can't wait for sapphires. I just absolutely beautiful so i've stuck on um stuck on stuck on i've shoved them on <laughs> i've shoved on um five and then all i'm going to do is wrap loop them uh -huh. to my shepherd's hook ear wire so i need to go right um quite close to the bees make sure they're they're down quite a bit just so that um i don't really want much of of the 
uh, wire showing. And the same again, pop over. I'm gonna move my pliers away a little bit so I can get the wire right, right round. Um, and again, that's a little bit too big for me, that, that loop. I don't really want it that big. So I'm just gonna give a little tug on the tail to make that a little bit smaller as well. And then before I loop it, I'm going to pop it into my shepherd hook ear wires. And then another way that I found is easier for me to hold it, especially since I broke my finger. My, it just seems to have changed how I hold my hand. Um, when did you break your finger? I, I, oh, crumbs. We were at Ivy House. Oh, I, yeah, we were at Ivy House and I had the big thing on my finger. Do you oh, remember? vaguely remember, yeah. yeah. Did you fall? No, I was, I had Nushi on the lead. I'm sat on the beach. I'm just wrap looping this. And I was holding her lead gently in my hand and a dog came from nowhere and startled us and knew she went to run. And I don't know why I went for the lead because she never goes far from me, but I went for the lead and it broke my finger. Oh gosh. Yeah, and I, I was like, oh, I was away, I, I'm fine. I went to casualty a couple of days later and she went, you've broken your finger. And I burst into tears and went, I can't, I've got the shows to do. And I think she thought, okay. <laughs> But she brought the specialist down to have a look. She knew it was my job and that she was really lovely. And um, yeah, but just, you can see, cause I've got like a little bump there, but it, it's just, I hold my hand a little bit differently. So I think yeah. if you use your pliers to do some of the, you know, the, the um, maneuvering, sometimes that kind of saves your fingers. Mm. And you know, literally I, I took- those. Look at those babies. They're so beautiful. I just, I love these pearls. I can't wait for you to see them when you get them home. They're so lovely. Amazing, Debs. And you've so literally simple. just whipped up some pearl and ruby earrings in a matter of minutes. It, that would take, you know, you've got to put an approximation on the on the instructions and I've put 30 minutes but you know I know most of you will just do that in 10 minutes five yeah minutes, absolutely but, you know. wow um have we got an update on the quantity of those pearls um we can have a little look because we had 250 available you get 10 amazing quality half drilled pearls um you get all the sterling silver so from the pegs to the shepherd hooks, to your butterflies, to your jump rings. I've oh. got just 39 of these left now within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. There's loads of you with it still in your basket. From 250, it's an unbelievable price it's project. Good, I would it? pay 19.99 for those pegs, for the peg bales themselves. Well, if you sold these earrings for 99.99, say you didn't have like what what's classed as an expensive gemstone on like a ruby say you had i don't know little cute agates or little mm. whatever and you sold those for 20 pounds mm -hmm. people wouldn't believe that the pearls were real they think they were faux and that's why you can actually stab yourself in the foot by undercharging too Absolutely. much i'm not saying that you should you know be ridiculous and just you know fleece people but you know these are quality what we charge is not an indication of what they're worth in my opinion no and you've got to remember we are very different <laughs> to you know not just your jewelry shops but also the artisanal jewelers we are your supplier in effect yeah um, but it's one of those that you know we had 250 you're not going to have 250 no, are we no, so no. um uh, yeah basically at least consider replacement value we're going to hold this on air for one more minute because i've got just 31 of these left um, and we have got also additional projects to bring you as well with deb's we've got the most beautiful um nugget pearls coming up with that lovely coffee bean shape um in 49 seconds we're going to move on so um if you've got it lingering in your basket just to give you a heads up there's only 26 left so we're down to the final 10 percent of quantity and you can see the call screens has gone crazy so many of you have just bought i decided well at that price i might as well get multiples we've seen twos threes what's that and if you want those 15 you're 100 percent gonna have to check those out because look at the look at the quantity on your screens we have got people getting double figure quantities as well i've seen that um on the call screens as uh, as De uh, deb's been actually demoing catherine good luck and good luck and in west midlands and in pembrokeshire good luck catherine another catherine sorry uh catherine in lanarkshire catherine in bristol elizabeth betty gloria j marie uh irena uh, angela june new customers you disappear off the bottom of the screens um, um, good luck everyone now uh, the wire gauge that I used was a 0 0.6 I believe let me have a look in the yeah I've put in the instructions at 0 0.4 or 0 0.6 so okay. either will either will do 
Um, I think we've got viewers there who are multi-buying, who, who make to sell on a regular basis, who just know that, that will, they will be in and gone. Absolutely. That is just a money Quick maker. Makes. Money maker yeah. right there. But definitely one that people would want. Now, okay, are we ready for this? Tell me, please, Ross. Tell me that there's quantity. Let me, look, I'm gonna put this all over the back. These are stunning. Now I have Sapphire. Sapphire is not just blue. You can sand cast with all of these. These are natural Burmese sapphires. I've never seen anything like this. Look at them. This is the only Burmese sapphire that we had out, have out of this selection. But wait a minute. Oh, with the pearls, look at that. Look at the luster. These are all totally and utterly natural. I've never seen sapphire like this. It's got to be some of the best sapphire we've we done. We don't often have sapphire, do we? No. I'm going to bring you the Burmese sapphire first. Bur Burmese sapphire is like your cashmere and your salon. Oh. It's the big three. I have 40 available opportunities. I'm going to start with this strand, but just giving you a heads up. We don't often have sapphire, you're right. Now I've got four zero, 40 available. These are totally natural Burmese sapphires, genuine sapphires. Um, again, you might go, do you see, like, people, not everybody knows that sapphire comes in other colors than blue. No, that's very true. I not, love all the colors of sapphire so pretty isn't it i mean like you've got sapphire. from your cashmere blues you know that sort of stereotypical regal blue you've yeah. got the more cornflower colors you've got your pink sapphires here right the way down to sort of these wonderful moody steely grays you've got some lovely canary tones um you can also get colorless sapphire again as Debs was just saying you can sand cast with these uh, sapphire is a fantastically durable gemstone um nine on the most scale so you can absolutely wear this on a daily basis and sapphire and pearls can we go wrong with that no, you know yes. i'm going to just show you a little bit of a heads up the pearl strand that's coming up with deb's project after <gasps> this look how amazing you know elizabeth taylor eat your heart out yeah. now the graphics are live i've only got 40 available these pearls are coming your way totally natural there is no enhancement whatsoever 10 gone literally in a heartbeat i'm not surprised 11 12 15 yeah they are absolutely going to fly out we don't you're right debs we don't see sapphire that often i can't remember the last time i saw sapphire i mean this is fit for royalty isn't it I yeah mean, it, you know you you wouldn't be surprised to see an a-lister on the red carpet with the, look at this no beautiful strand I mean, I'd, look. I'd use them as tassels as well. A four mil, I think, is a fantastic tassel size. I don't care what I use them for. <laughs> I just need everything. It. I Absolutely need everything. You know when you just love something? Yeah. You don't see it very often. You know that you need it. That's how I feel about this strand. But yeah, tassels will be gorgeous. Now, again, much like your ruby, you expect it to be treated in some way, shape, or form. These aren't. These are totally natural. We're at ninety nine, ninety nine, but it is not your price, jewelry makers. These are about to sell out. Just giving you a heads up. A full 38 centimeter strand. I remember when we used, when we first brought Sapphire here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and yeah, that kind of price tag. What? Are you serious? I did not expect that at all. Nor me. I was just about to say, I remember when we first introduced Sapphires and then we, when it started being introduced in your Gems of Distinction collection, you'd have like a 20 That's centimetre right. strand. Yep, yep. And it definitely, 100% would never be 29.99. No way on earth. We had 60, but they're at 40. I beg your pardon, even more limited. You've got every palette color of your Sapphires and they're all natural. They're not diffused. They're not heat treated. Again, I'm, I'm not tarnishing everybody with the same brush, brush but if you do, uh, um, uh, if you do look at gemstones elsewhere, make sure you look at the treatment, make sure you check that they are 100% authentic um, uh, because you can get s synthetic gemstones at, sim at more than what's on your screens oh, right now. I, I thought they were going to be like jewelry maker price at $79.99. Yeah, and that would have been awesome. Because yeah, yeah. let's not forget that's 45 carats of sapphire there. We have. Half the stock has, uh, has just confirmed. Okay. But we're going again. Oh, I so want to get my phone right now. 
Me too. I don't know where it is. It's in the pits of my bag. Look at that. Oh, that's just amazing, isn't it? Whoa. And when people ask you, which they will, when they say, oh, I love your necklace. What, what, you know, what are the gemstones? And you can say, well, the actual necklace is, is natural Burmese sapphire. And I made it. And, and then I made it myself. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, you know, you, Debs, you've got the chain as sections between the pearls. Imagine sapphire as a section in between the pearls. Yes, please. That sounds a bit special, doesn't Lovely, it? please. Um, we're going again, jewellery makers. We had 40. Look at the quantity. £29.99 pence only. Unbelievable. But going even lower. You will be ever so pleased that you took the initiative to dial ahead. Um, I mean, how often do we see sapphire? I'm not saying it's a gemstone we never have, but we do. But not very often. No, not very often. It isn't often. We, you know, we used to see it far more than we do these days. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. But th th then again, saying that, we used to bring you strands this length, didn't we? I've still got, I think, a little diddy. What I call a little diddy strand with maybe I don't know ten gemstones on it with of sapphire. Look at, yeah. Because that's how they used to come, didn't they? Look at that blue there. Let's put it down to the paint. Sorry, Adam. Look at those blues. The quality of the sapphire is absolutely unbelievable. Mm. I paid twenty four ninety nine for that little guy. Yeah, me too. I 100% I would. <laughs> unbelievable. £24.99. pence. I mean, they will be an on-screen sellout. The phone lines have gone crazy. They would be perfect as well alongside Deb's Pearl. Um, a second project that's coming your way. So these unbelievable pearl nuggets, which also come with that coffee bean, it is coming up this hour. We are aware we're a little bit behind, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. We'll get everything in. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I lost on that one. Oh. Sorry. Put my hand into shot, but... No, I, you're all good. I had to feel it. <laughs> Let's do the three millimetre sapphire. Oh, I want this. I need it. I need this too. I need it. That's my need it voice. Need it voice. Do you know what? Thank goodness, Debs, we actually have quantity. Yeah, I know, because then you immediately have to go to a break so I can buy it, please. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, I've honestly, in all my years, I've never seen anything like these. Oh, no, I can't. These sapphires are... makes me are... really strange. Uh, than normal oh look at those together oh look, my look, goodness look, me look, look. i'm with you deb's i want these as well it's look my... at that together though Elle. does that just make you go a bit crazy you know like a bit weird yeah just, do you know what i mean do you know what i mean when it's kind of like <sighs> makes you go as a jewelry maker like a bit it, i don't know it makes you swoon yeah and you, you just you're Tentally. just like oh i need that look at the quality of them they're that wonderful enigmatic oh. deep midnight blue it's again natural no enhancement whatsoever no they're not your first price crash we've got quantity right yeah seriously we do need our phones we actually do need our phones i need we? to do that thing that susie did when she really made me laugh out loud when i was watching her once and she went like that and then she went under the desk to get something <laughs> And that really made me laugh out loud. So I need to do that next time. I need to get my face. You could do a Ruth Lynette and pretend to fall off your chair. True. You yeah. could do an Alison Tarry and develop like the most horrendous cramp that you've got to walk it off. Or I could just say I'm going for my phone. See you in a minute. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's just what I do as well. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh, these this. sapphires are stunning. Oh, Look so at the beautiful. quality of them. Uh, this I'm genuinely flabbergasted that we can do a price for something like this because to me this is the sort of gemstone that royalty maybe because I don't see it very much here no, well this is the thing and this is what goes back to what you were just saying Debs we don't do ourselves any favours because a lot of time <laughs> people will tune in and go well that can't be genuine sapphire yeah, I agree. oh it is and it's totally natural. The difference is how we source it. We do go d direct to mine. We have gem hunters that explore the entire world. We've also got fantastic, absolutely fantastic uh, associates. Are they, yeah, it's crazy. Look, you try and buy a crystal, uh, uh, you know, a Swarovski crystal strand used to cost more than that, didn't it? This is the kind of thing that you can just put the price on. I mean, you can just be quiet and go and get a piece of cake and they can just buy it because- Shall we? Yeah, because I, I could just I eat bought cake. cake. You did buy cake. I bought cake, so we can have cake. But 
this, yeah, I've got cake. This is just completely and utterly beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful and beautiful. Can you tell I like it? I love it too. Those earrings, I know they're Cartier ruby earrings. Oh, you Think of it. these in tassels. <gasps> a sapphire tassel. I want a sapphire tassel now. I want a sapphire tassel for £15. Look, you could get two. You could get two. How many carrots? Sorry, sorry, Adam. So 20. Sorry, Adam, I'm getting so excited about the sapphire. I wasn't even listening to you then. Sorry. But look. Oh, I l oh. Yeah. 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 Imagine sapphire tassel earrings, everybody. They are. Oh, do you know what's so beautiful is how they've been faceted. Yeah, perfect. Look how they're throwing the light around. It's just stunning. It makes you want to walk around going like this. Unbelievable. Need, 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 need. Should we do the two mils? These are my favourites, these two mils. I just, I'm in love with them. I can't choose. That's a toughie, that yeah, is. Yeah, but you don't have to at these prices. No, that's true. That is true, well, Deb. Will there be some for us, Ross, after, do you think? No. He said maybe. Maybe. That's not what we want to hear, is it? You sure you don't want me to do a challenge with these, Ross? <laughs> yeah, we could. We could do a challenge. You Look at those work. together. Unbelievable. Absolutely. So these would be the ones that I would recreate your earrings with, Deb. Yes, exactly those. So you could do a ruby version and you could do a sapphire version. <laughs> How amazing. You mentioned it earlier on. This is raising your profile, isn't it, as a designer? Oh, yeah. So we go, so they're, they're lovely. What's the gemstone? You go, well, that's rubies. Oh, they're lovely. So what's that gemstone? That's sapphire. Are the pearls real? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Would you like to know where they were from? Do you want like yeah. to know what colour they are? Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Have you heard what's going on in the pearl industry right now? These are a guaranteed sellout. 60 second clock on your screen. Natural sapphire. We know that 95% of the world's sapphire is treated in some way, shape or form. Either heat, yes. diffused, whichever it might be. These are totally and utterly natural. And the fact that they still bring you that amazing quality of colour is absolutely unbelievable. How many did you say we had? 80 available opportunities. That's not enough, is it? We'll do it in one price crash. These pearls are coming up, jewellery makers with Deb's project. Again, can I can I just try something? Sorry, mm -hmm. Adam. I'm just thinking about. You know what I'm going to do, oh, don't you? I know you? what you're going to do. <laughs> look at that. I mean, yes, please. Imagine. You could continue. Oh. Imagine. These yeah. dotted in between. Beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. You do it far better than I have done, but you get the idea, don't you? Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the quality of the sapphires, each and every single one. <gasps> no, they're not a tenor, Ross. That's just wrong on every single level. She's not angry, but she is disappointed. Genuine sapphire. Ross, I don't know if I can part with a piece of cake for you now. <laughs> oh. No, that's incredible. I mean, yeah. how do you get... Just that... I don't know how you do it. I, do you? I'm completely gobsmacked. And frankly, I don't think it should be done. But I'm happy that it's done it. Yeah, well, this is it. <laughs> this is the thing that means everybody can get hot. How many people, prior to Jewelry Maker, and I know we've got a, a very <laughs> a, a wonderful, loyal audience that have shot with us for many of years. Um, um, and that's unique, isn't it? That's so unique. I think it was Dave that actually said, you know, if you go into a jeweler's and buy one piece of jewellery, chances are that's probably most likely going to be the only piece of jewellery you buy in that jeweller's. Yeah. You know, it, it, we are unique. Not always, of course, but, you know, we have a very unique customer base. But the reality is, if you were to speak to someone outside of our jewellery maker bubble and say, oh, um, how much sapphire do you own? <laughs> <laughs> Not many people would say, oh, I've got eight carrots in this one strand. I've got eight carrots in that. I've got... Do you know what I mean? No, they wouldn't. It's, we're in our little bubble here, aren't Such we? Such a crazy bubble, but wonderful at the same time. And if you put loads of these into your sand casting, like say, I think I put um, a sapphire. You know, I did a little moon face. She had a sapphire, I think, in her third <sighs> eye. Um, and it just looks so beautiful. That's such a weird cut of sentence that you just said there. My little moon face. My little moon face that had a third eye. <laughs> That's got a third eye 
um, as a sapphire. Oh, there you go. That, okay. And I sandcasted her. Sorry, yeah. did I not use that word? I, yeah. I thought you knew what I was on about, but you know. <laughs> Hello, June. I wouldn't buy gems from anywhere else. Fab price with jewelry maker, certificate to prove. Um, what more can you ask for? Lovely sapphires. Absolutely. Because it's confidence as well, isn't it, June? Yeah. It's confidence to go, yeah, that's nine ninety nine, But I know it's real because jewelry maker will buy quantity. We'll go to the location of source. We won't put the 400% mark upon. Now, let's do these pearls. They come with a pochette. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't think we've got many pearl nugget strands. And all the colours come in off of, can you see all the colours yeah, coming off of those? Look, now we've got a hundred available Debs, but look, seriously, look at this luster. Oh, it's looking oh. Our pearls are insane, uh, we, aren't they? We rock pearls. We are just the pearl masters, I think. I, I totally agree. Look at the luster. I was so blown away by the luster in these two two projects. Oh, I just look at this one here. Everyone. Every look at them unbelievable but and and you're looking through a tv monitor you're not seeing the same display of colors that we are here in the studio no. genuine cultured pearls in your nuggets now never mind what is going on in the industry never mind the fact that you know you've got influencers influencers um taking the price to pearls to astronomical amounts basically we've got buyers buying future decades of pearl supplies and, and and you know it's it obviously affects us massively if it affects you know the likes of charlie Barron, who is a sixth generational pearl yeah. supplier yeah you know he's had to diversify into other gemstones like diamonds emeralds and rubies if it affects him you can absolutely bet your bottom dollar it's going to affect us oh, too. definitely now we have genuine freshwater pearls you've had our own resident pearl buyer on screens recently talking about the fact i can't get fresh water i can't do it we used to do it all the time here at jewelry maker for like i don't know four years ago five yeah. years ago yeah. all the time you don't just get those pearls you also get the most amazing coffee bean clasp which i agree with what deb said first thing this morning it's too beautiful to have hidden at the back and it's really, it's got like a little squishy, you squish one side to, together, like a little clamp. And like then, a whale mouth. Like a whale mouth. And then the little um, peg comes out. It's really easy to do up and undo, which do I really Do you want me to like. show it? Yeah, go on. I can show it. So it's like the whale goes, basically. So obviously squishing. it will be far easier for you. Let me find which way, which end it is. Um, far easier for you to do when you've got it on a piece of jewellery. But if you look here, it's very discreet. It's kind of like a hidden bale. You have the peg and you have the whale. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've not seen a clasp like that before. It's so good, it's, isn't yeah. it? Put the peg in and then om. Om. And it has that satisfying little snap that Beautiful you Beautiful know. click. Yeah. Yeah. Now, hang on a second, Ross. I don't know what you're taking these to, but I'm thinking this clasp alone should be best part of 20 pounds. Ah. Uh, the very 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 least um okay so we're at <coughs> excuse me 49 pounds and 99 pence but we're going again we've got quantity did you say a hundred available opportunities you get the class the coffee bean class you get the natural pearls you get the pochette as well um you get the inspiration from our lovely debs and if you haven't look at the quantities going already loads of multi buyers nuggets is almost it is it is a word that sadly is used to describe pearls but i i, I go with baroques they're much more i think yeah, baroques it, it accurately describes this strand i love an organic pearl absolutely Me too. love it. it used to be my favorites for absolutely ages and i still can't decide which pearls that i like the best i don't have to decide not at these prices no, debs no. not at these prices now we're at 49.99 but just to give you a heads up hang on janice has bought five Sandra's got hers, Vela Glamorgan's got, bought three, Mantis has bought three, and Swansea's bought two. Someone's bought five. Yeah. So you've got to remember, we've got a hundred, what, five, eight, 11, 13. So look, look, already way over, probably 20% of the stock has gone. 20%. Again, I don't know what these are going to do. 
I like finding out when everyone else finds out. Yeah. I'm like, Woof. We can't buy them for that. The clasp alone, I think, is £20. And on that basis, you're getting those pearls for a tenner. It's a heavy clasp, that. Yeah. Phone lines have lit up. I'm not surprised. Manchester says I'll have six. I don't blame you. Janice in Lincolnshire's got five. Glamorgan's got three. Uh, Swansea multi has got three. Yorkshire's just bought two. Angela, Lincolnshire's multi-bought as well. Yeah, I'm not surprised. On that basis, would we all agree, if I was sat here bringing you like an essentials or a luxury essentials hour, yeah. and this class was it actually included, 1999, there's a big amount of precious metal in there. Yeah, when you feel it, it and, and the mechanics of it, how yeah. cleverly, I couldn't make that. Should we do it again? It's very satisfying. It's, I was trying to work out how I undid it, it was so much simpler than I thought, and, and you get this little mouth open. Yeah, if you look at this side, I don't know if Dan can pick it up, can you see how there's like this, can you see that there, that gentle slope upwards? Yeah. So that's the part that you press, and then obviously you have your jump ring here, which your piece of jewelry will be attached to, Ah, oh, there you go. That simple. Yeah. Oop, some places you'd pay that for the class, wouldn't you? Yes. Because that is a substantial amount there. It Look is. There's a big amount of precious metal invested into the class and it's strong and it's secure. Look how beautiful that is. And Debs, you've used, what, a couple of your pearls really there, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, just as a station. I, just, I was kind of trying to go for more understated, very sellable, very wearable jewellery today with these kits because I think they're so pretty and beautiful and yeah. I think you could do so much with them. Yeah, I totally agree. Can I just say as well, these are really easy to use. Yeah, they are, yeah. If, you know, if you struggle with certain clasps, then these will be much, much, much easier. Uh, much easier because it is literally a case of you take your kind of, how do we describe that? Like a, like a peg, peg, isn't it, I yeah, suppose? Peg. So you take the peg, you can literally insert it in and then he bites down, just like so. Look at how secure that is. Isn't that cleverly designed? Isn't so it? clever. So, so clever. Now, we also do have as well jewellery makers to go alongside Deb's kits. We've got the most amazing spool. Your deal of the day is coming your way just after the break. I'm going to leave those with you. Um, I've only got 40 and it's rare that we get the gold plated silver spools. Very, very rare very rare in actual fact most like normally it's the silver you get five meters this is the actual chain that i used in the jewelry it's so delicate and beautiful and it's very sophisticated it sits beautifully yeah it's like um, silk don't often get the gold no i can't remember the last time i had a spool of gold -plated i don't think i've silver. ever had a spool of gold plated not i don't think i ever have all five meters for that matter yeah, or the five meters wow 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 make sure you're checking out your baskets everybody we've only got 40 available opportunities five meters of and straight away people are going stop it right i need that i need that <laughs> thank you for trusting the process you know that jewelry maker will bring you the best most amazing deal 39.99 wait a minute that's less than 10 pound but it's eight pound a meter yeah it is yeah eight six yeah you, you pay a premium for the gold plating um, yeah. elsewhere, even if it's on, we were talking earlier about brass or um, anything like that, you pay a premium for it being gold plating. So to have a whole spool of it, to be able to you know, incorporate in your designs, that's pretty special, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally. At eight pounds a meter. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know those just, earrings, look, you could charge 39.99 for those 100%. earrings. 100%, I'm in, I'm in. And the Vincent. rest, yeah. Yeah, I love that, Ross is like, I know, yeah, we're mad. <laughs> As a box of frogs. <laughs> As a box I of frogs. I agree with you, yes. <laughs> we are completely bonkers, um, but in a good way, aren't we? How often do you see gold-plated sterling silver on a spool, first question. True. How often do you see gold-plated sterling silver in a five meter length spool, second question. How often do you see gold-plated sterling silver at eight pounds a meter? Then I like... No, well, I never have. No, I don't, think I, I don't think I have either. No. We only had 40 of these, so again, make sure you are checking out your baskets. Your oh, deal yeah. of the day is coming up just after the break, jewelry makers. We have your beautiful gold silk jade. First time ever bringing it to you in this cut. 
and also the double drilled first time bringing you Burmese jade as well in this in this cut and also double drilled don't forget we've got the 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 the, miss, the most prestigious location of source of your peridot as well Jilin peridot and some beautiful projects plus we've also got Deb's amazing Morse code, Morse code. Um, I'm so excited about that me too Story amazing story. morse code jewelry coming up at 12 o'clock um and if you're thinking i don't know what morse code is deb's got you got your back she's you've sorted it I've you've got, got a diagram, diagram. diagram and everything um amazing keep those messages coming through make sure you're checking out your baskets everybody we had 40 and we're down to okay they're on the verge of selling out don't go anywhere though jewelry makers because your dealer day is coming up after this Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Monday the 11th of March. We've got such amazing projects. So I've got some beautiful pearls and you know how much I love pearls. But what I'm really excited about are the Morse code projects that we've got in the 12 o'clock hour. I've never done Morse code jewelry before, so I've been looking into it and I love the story behind it. So do you think you're gonna watch the show? Yes? Or no? <laughs> These are my yes or no earrings. And I've also made a bracelet here that just reminds me to breathe. So I'm going to be doing lots more pieces between now and Monday. I hope you can join me, gorgeous Earl, lovely Ross and the team, on Monday the 11th of March at JM. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back. What a lovely start to our week. Inspiration, talent from the fabulous Debs, beautiful gemstones and affordable prices. Um, but also, can I just say cake? <laughs> Delicious cake as well. Didn't touch the sides there. Now, what I love about jewelry makers, even 14 years on, we're still bringing you new gemstones. And we're still bringing you some of the world's rarest gemstones at the most affordable price tags. We're still bringing you shapes, cuts, and opportunities, which is effectively what a drill hole is, isn't it? It's an, an opportunity for us to create differently, new designs, you know? Because I think we, we're all, we can all agree that every so often you're like, oh, I don't know how to work, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I haven't got, I've lost my mojo. That's a term that we use quite a lot. And that's where jewellery makers, designers, of course, but also um, even down to the lapidaris or the carvers can actually influence. I've been here for almost 12 years now. I can't believe it's almost 12 years. But anyway, I've, and I'm fairly sure we've not done this shape or cut in any other variety of jade until today. The only other gem that I can think of that we've done this shape or cut with has been amber. Do you agree? Now we have amber today, but I've never seen it in gold silk, jade. I definitely have never seen it in Burmese. Now, let me just explain the difference between, you can get jade from a few locations around the world, it's not just Burmese, it's not just Khotan. So, although they're probably the most well-known and recognised. That being said, Burmese mine is now closed, did so in 2020. Khotan mine is imminently going to close. But there are other locations. You can go to Guatemala, you can go to British Columbia. Uh, um, Pakistan also has some jade deposits, but a new variety of jade is referred to as gold silk. And this is Bernard. Bernard is one of our jade suppliers and uh, um, Bernard is describing um, this amazing opportunity for you all. And he says, this new jade has flown under the radar for the past decade, but with the new mines in Burma now depleted in the situation in Khotan uh, uncertain, we have witnessed the highest price increase for the gold and silk jade in the market. For top stones with crystal, sorry, good crystal, that's the translucency, um, it has risen more than a thousand percent. We can provide this collection, but if we have to source more, it will be very expensive. And that's the thing. When you buy something, it's not a guarantee that the next day or the next week or the next month, it's going to be exactly the same price. And that's Bernard, our supplier, being extremely honest, saying, look, well, we can provide it for you, but I can't guarantee um, it's going to be as affordable. The area that, ha that uh, this is mined now feels like catching state. Um, there are thousands of miners searching for the top stones. So what is the top stone? Well, if we read on, I can show you that. Um, take a little look at this picture there. Now that's just literally using a phone torch. Um, and you do that with all different varieties of jade, by the way, that's when you're checking the translucency. The price for the top gem is now equal to that of fine jade outside of Imperial. I am lucky I collected this year, material years ago. So again, Bernard, Bernard he, we would class him as a friend, obviously, as, a, as well as a business associate, but um, he is the individual who actually purchased alongside Steve in the jadeite that, 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 uh, when they bought the boulders. Um, and again, I, we trust that absolutely, uh, um, if he's bought wisely, he's, worked, he's dealt with Jada for, 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 for many, many years. Um, so he kind of saw that window of opportunity years ago and that's how we got the price. And you're getting the price ultimately today. But look at that translucency. And just to reference, it is absolutely carved in the same manner that you would expect your jadeites to. Um, the carvings are actually more expensive than jadeite because of the color and the flexibility of the new jade. This is a gem for you to collect yourself, Dave. Um, this has happened once before with Jade. So he's actually saying, Jade, Dave, stop buying it, basically. Look, you've got Burmese Jade in the background, but look at that one there with the golden silk. 
Um, it was Haitian jade for thousands of years, and then they discovered jade out in Burma. This is the same story, basically. So it's just a new location, even down to the New York Times um, talking about life beyond green jade. So, um, and what they're holding there is basically your gold silk jade as well. Good translucency is key, uh, but even moments of color raises uh, the price dramatically. Solid color is very hard. So, so just, just digest that for a second. Good translucency. Solid color is very hard to get, is what they're saying. Solid color. Now, they go on to say, today, to get one continuous color is extremely difficult because the boulders are not large and the golden color is like an imperial grade. Okay. The golden color is like an imperial. The golden color is like an imperial jade. These are brand new jewelry makers, never been on air before. It is crazy that I have this lineup for you in your gold silk jade. Now, we're going to start with the orange that I have been wearing all morning. It's a finished bracelet. If you want to deconstruct it, you can. It is wonderful that thanks to Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia as a partnership and the relationships, this is the thing. And this is, I'll be really frank and honest. Um, Tiffany's and Co won't have the same relationships that we would do with the likes of your Bernard. With the, and, and if they did, they wouldn't be accessible to everybody because of the price tag. Mm. But thanks to Bernard, and years, we've dealt with him for years, pretty much since day one, actually. I can remember Bernard from when I was working in the office years and years and years ago, almost 12 years ago. So that's a friendship, a yeah. trust, yeah. a loyalty. We supported him massively during COVID, his words. He actually said that, you know, when he couldn't go to the Hong Kong trade fair, that's the thing and that's uh, that's unforgettable as well. You know, when he couldn't do the 90% of business that he would do at the Hong Kong gem fair, that time when they didn't cancel the pa uh, um, the show because of the pandemic, they postponed it and they postponed it and they postponed it and postponed it until it came to a point that all the suppliers were like, look, no more. I can't afford to keep paying the daily rates for the Hong Kong Harbor. So we bought it all. So these kind of things are invaluable and this is why you're getting access like this. Now, of the orange, gold and silk jade, remember one solid color is key. I have less than 40 of this one. So less than 40 of the yellow as well, if that is your preference. They are the only two gold silks that I have. They're both brand new. And then we have, the, uh, have other jade varieties to bring you as well, and other gemstones. Look at that. Again, absolutely unbelievable to be able to bring these to you, jewelry makers. I mean, look at them as individual cabochons. There's one photograph that I've shown you in the past of gold silk jade, and it is literally cabochons. You are basically getting a full 360 of cabochons, plus also the extra strand of your rounds, at £299. Again, to get that translucency, but also to get that solid colour is rare because the crystals, or um, they actually form in much smaller sizes, these boulders. It is totally natural, so again, definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. When you consider the price tag of what red jade eye is, you know, this is a variety of jade. It's classed as a variety of jade. Um, so this is a fantastic alternative. £299, some 14 years almost into broadcasting, and we are still bringing you Jewelry Maker, uh, not new gemstones, because this has been mined for, for hundreds of years, but, you know, new opportunities to bring you, to reach gemstones at an affordable price tag, plus bring it to you in new cuts and shapes. What? The next price is under 100 pounds. But we are not stopping there, says Ross. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna put the two golden silk jadeites on together, cause seriously, look at those. Ooh. So beautiful. If your budget allows, can you imagine having the two? Can you imagine? For spring and summer, absolutely. But also, can I just say, this is so Sotheby's or Christie's. Can imagine them, can't you, at an auction house? 
totally natural today jewelry makers i've got 10 of them left they've absolutely flown out in the orange wow wow okay i was expecting this to be maybe at a push 149 i know you crashed it to 99 but 149 i had in my head you have what is basically a full strand of rounds yes and then you have 24 rounds and 12 cushions but they're not small cushions i was just going to say the size of those considerable and double drilled do you know it's so challenging to actually to approach any type of jade supplier and say can we have a double drill because it's basically it's basically taking carrot weight away which is ultimately how they exchange and sell their gemstones but they are coming around to our way of thinking it's so popular here at jewelry maker though because it gives you those opportunities doesn't it they can become connectors at that price oh yeah how many cushions did you say ross so that's 12 connectors if you wanted to look at them that, that, that way 24 of your uh, of your what do you say four millimeter rounds yeah unbelievable plus you've got your split payment susan devon moy nicolette valerie cheryl virginia mary yeah, just under 40. i've got one of them left once it's gone it's gone jewelry makers susan maker jane devon virginia moy essex i can't keep up with you i'll leave that with you now for oh, i don't know which one i'm loving the yellow orange is sold out we're not going to dilly dally on this one straight in with the graphics do you know also how many of you have struggled to get a bangle yes how many people can't wear a bangle because maybe you've got sensitive joints yes. or um might suffer with arthritis or maybe they're too small or too big as well too big that might be might be the opposite end of the spectrum you know no you find them a little bit too heavy possibly then this is a fantastic alternative can i because I, I can tell you i've had this one all morning and I, I don't know i'm wearing it i generally don't know i'm wearing it. it's on an elastic so again so again extreme comfort so this is bringing you the jade bangle look without the actual complexities that a jade bangle sometimes brings you this is totally natural like a butterscotch yellow with the double drill first time bringing you this cut in your gold silk jade again totally natural let's look let's read on with that new york article new york times article we'll bring the price on and then i'll get to it actually sorry how many have we got of these roscoe less than 20 now we started with just under 40. just crazy that's mad so unusual as well i mean it's a piece of jewelry it's so unusual yeah and, and, and very wearable i mean you'll get so many comments on that i'm sure people will be like oh what's that what's it made of what? it is unusual because it's yeah. not something that we see very frequently here in the west is it no, however it, no. uh, uh, much like most of the varieties of jade which this is actually mined in china it's unlikely they're going to want to export it it's all down to the fact that burner did stop pilot earlier on before oh. it's had that 1000 percent price increase but let's go on with the article because the new york times uh, say there is no difference between the color of the jade it's all down to personal preference basically but the higher the purity and uniformity of the color the better the quality of the jade so again let's just say that again the higher the purity aka translucency and uniformity of color the better the quality of the jade among them high quality red yellow colorless gold silks are high uh, uh, has a high price sorry but the price of course uh, and of course crystal obvious structure and low transparency is low these are none of those things you can actually see the translucency there absolutely beautiful with that wonderful yellow and they mentioned that in that article if you i mean seriously i can get both of those for where are for 140 pounds that's less than i was expecting one of them to be but they are limited out of the entire quantity that we had we're now down to the final five it's an opportunity for those of you that maybe have struggled with bangles in the past maybe you find them uncomfortable to wear or maybe just a little bit too heavy um this is a great alternative because it's on a classic stretchy but once it's on it's got that lovely rigidity so same again you've got 24 rounds 
and 12 cushions. Um, beautiful. You might deconstruct this. You might be looking at them. Well, hang on a minute, Al. It's a double drill opportunity. That's going to be connectors for me. Yes. I'm going to separate them out and I'm going to use the golden silk jade maybe. Um, you might do like a double long line necklace yes. or something like that. There's loads of opportunities being jewelry makers, but it's sourcing the gems. You know, uh, the final two, final one. Alison and Kent, you can get it on the phone if you press the option one key. You can do it. I'll leave it with you. Well done. Oh. Now, first time ever bringing you. Look at that. That's Sotheby's, that right there, isn't it? Yeah. You can imagine that. Yeah, you can. In a Sotheby's photograph. Beautiful. Wait a minute, though. Never been done before in this gemstone. It is still the case that Burmese jadeite is not being mined. That's 800 years of history done. Done, done, done. But remember, how are we making, almost four years on since the mine's closure, how are we making, bringing you new cuts? New cuts to us, we've never done this before because they're quite wasteful cuts. And it is because if you remember, how also we've accessed a lot of your Cotan Jade. Bernard, who you saw just a few months ago, and our founder, Steve Bennett, went to a jade market, bought the boulders. You do it blind, in effect. You can't actually see what's inside. Bernard would know what he was looking at. He'd know what sounds to listen to when they tap the, uh, at the exterior in a hope that that will be a lucrative purchase. Now, what Bernard's words were, we'll never lose money, Steve. Um, but it's not a short profit. It will take, look, we're, we're what, four years on. So this would have taken four years. Oof. Basically, since if the mine closed in 2020, yeah, Steve and Bernard bought before the mine closed. So mm -hmm. that would have been 2020. Almost, we are four years on from that and we're bringing you from that parcel. So these are totally natural. Type A grade for the first time ever bringing it to you in a double drill. How amazing are these? Oh my goodness me. I would like to say, you know, no, okay, well you're buying two strands, but you're not, are you? Because we've never done this shape before. Not with a double drill, not that I remember anyway. I've never L seen. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Valerie in Somerset just says, yep, thank you very much. I need those. Look at the translucency. Look at the translucency. Certified Type A natural Burmese jadeite. Never brought it to you in the in this cut um, before. Never brought it to you that I recall anyway in a double drill. Um, we are opening up this auction. My goodness, Roscoe. Tell me this quantity. Fifty. There is fifty five zero available, and we're not stopping there. You're doing what? But again, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. All sense has gone out the window. Wait a minute. No disrespect to the gold silk. We know it's skyrocketed in price, but it's still being mined. It is still being mined. Burmese jadeite no longer being mined. But on the next price crash, we're going to match the price of the gold silk jade. What? Roscoe, you left your logic at the front door, didn't you? This is mined out. And really, when we think of jade, most of us will think of two locations. We'll think of Koh Town and we'll think of Burmese, won't we? Yes. They are still the most historically recognised varieties of jade in the world. And here we are saying £69.99, pence, but going even lower. If this doesn't sell out, I will be absolutely stunned. Completely stunned. You don't have to use those drill holes. They could be cabochons if you wanted to. That's You're getting a lot of gemstone there, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, they could be individual solitaires. Yeah. You could use them with gallery wire or your bezel strips or your seed, bezel, uh, seed bezeling. Look at the translucency. Opportunities like this, jewelry makers, will go. That parcel, while again, whilst amazing, we've bought a parcel alongside Bernard, 
split it 50 50 bernard was saying look i can sell it back into the chinese market i'll make a great profit and he said steve i recommend you do the same he's like no 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 this is for this is for the gemporia audience that includes you guys i can't believe we're doing this <laughs> but if it wasn't for that then they wouldn't be doing it quite frankly if we were to listen to what goes on in the trade there's no way on earth that we would be bringing you Burmese Jade at 49.99. Tucson just gone at the beginning of the year was the first time that Jen Poyer actually had a booth. Um, and they would have listened to the market value. They would have been bringing Jade carvings at, you know, the market value price tag, not what you see on your screens, jewelry makers. So do make hay while the sun shines, as they say. Uh, totally natural, amazing translucency, not dyed, not polymer impregnated, natural type A Jade eye. First time ever bringing it to you in your double drill hull, uh, double drill cut rather. Um, and then you also get the rounds there as well. Loads of multi buyers. Valerie's got two. Suja's multi-bought, Lorna's multi-bought, Diana, Helena, uh, Lou, Barbara, Cumbria, Maker in Lancaster, Sandria, hello to you, uh, Swansea, new customer, um, hello to you, Sue, you're right, Al. that price makes no sense. <laughs> no, I agree. It makes no sense. It does. Because, and again, this is why I always say, look, they're not wrong, it's us. It's totally us that's wrong, but in the best possible way. You know, we could go... Okay, the Burmese mine's closed, yeah, it closed in 2020. Okay, so what in China, the price of a jade out, which has always been extortionately high, has skyrocketed again. We're talking hundreds, if not thousands, of pent price increase. We could follow that trend, couldn't we? But we don't. We go, well, we get a great price. Our audience will get a great price. You know, and you benefit from that. Unbelievable. Um, but as long as we know, that's no reflection of the true value or worth. £49.99. We had how many, did you say, Roscoe? 50. Do you want to know how many we've got left? 14. Oh. They'll sell out today. Sandria's just got two. Virginia's got two. Valerie's got two. Suja's got two. Lorna's got two. Jenny, Candy, Andrea, uh, Diana, Helena, Lou, Barbara, Cumbria, Lancaster, London, Swansea, amazing, Manchester, Nicolette, Surrey, Jackie, Amy, Susan, congratulations. I'm down to your single figures, everybody. Maker in Surrey, if you want those two, I would be checking out your baskets to guarantee your success. Again, you have totally natural type A grade. You can see that amazing translucency. And what we believe is the first time ever bring we can't find anything on the system anyway first time ever bringing it to you in a double drill um opportunity again this showcase is unbelievable because we've started off with your gold silk then we're bringing you your type a burmese jadeite now i'm about to bring you natural strawberry quartz and lastly Oh, hang on, not lastly. We have nephrite jade, and we might be able to bring you a couple of other gemstones too. Quartz, as a gemstone family, does not naturally form in red. Let me rephrase that, because that's misleading. Quartz, as a gemstone family, was not recognized to naturally form in red. In fact, I'm fairly sure, like we used to say, no, you don't get blue garnets. Then what do we discover? Blue garnets. <laughs> we used to say you don't get red in a quartz. And now we have learnt, that was our ignorance, that technically that's not true. Because if you look at Moroccan amethyst, because of the he uh, hematite inclusions, you get reds. Because of a variety of quartz that's referred to as sargonetic, the little tiny little pips inside are almost like a strawberry jam and they're totally natural but it's rare it's very 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 rare I've shown you examples that have sold at auction little specimens you know a few centimeters high and not even carved or faceted in any way shape or, f or form it's literally a specimen that have sold at Bonhams I'm sure it's Bonhams three thousand pounds something like that seems to ring bells these are natural not enhanced strawberry quartz opportunities look at how pretty that is 
That is just, I was, I was admiring it on your wrist. It's um, a talking piece. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So I love the colours because it's almost like, it's not an obvious red, it's a gentle red because yeah. you've got translucency and then the little pips inside. You know, like, like golden quartz, Oh, gold, golden rutile is a sargonetic quartz. Um, black rutile is a, a, a quartz is a sargonetic quartz. It's the little inclusions. Strawberry quartz has got these tiny little pip-like inclusions within the gemstone. We're at one hundred and ninety-nine pounds. We were just talking about the fact we've got little specimens of strawberry quartz that sold naturally, beautiful, um, that sold for three thousand pounds at auction. You'll get. I can show it to you. Look, there, oh, sorry, sorry, not three thousand pounds. It was two thousand four hundred. Beg your pardon. Amazing, absolutely beautiful. And you get almost little glimmers of adventure essence. So this original site uh, for this material was discovered in the nineteen sixties in Mexico. This strawberry quartz specimen lives up to its name. It's beautiful color, reminiscent of fresh strawberries, uh, strawberry jam. There you go. And you can see the measurements there at the bottom. Is that? Is it three and a half inches? I think that's what it says. Two thousand. Two thousand four hundred pounds sold at auction. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Get it whilst you can, jewelry makers. I know without even asking that this will be limited, such as the nature of strawberry quartz. Again, it is totally and utterly natural. Swansea, you've done it. Linda, Sandria, Amy, Manchester, absolutely amazing. Loving this new cut. Loving the fact you've got that double drill hole opportunity, which allows you to, yes, keep it like so, or um, turn them into connectors. Guess what? We're not done. How many have you got, Russ? I knew there wouldn't be loads, there's 35. I knew it, that's like me assuming that, you know, um, natural pink diamonds, we've got loads of those. It's like me assuming that you're gonna have massive quantities of some of the world's rarest gemstones. It's just not gonna happen. We have 35 available and we're going lower. Virginia, Amy Swansea, well done. Sandria, well done. Sarah, Janice, Eileen, new customer, Linda. West Midlands, Manchester, just a few of the names that are joining us on the call screens. It's totally natural. Again, those little sargonetic inclusions give almost like a raspberry coolie. You know, sometimes yeah. if you were to blend raspberries, you get that, that little pips, just delicious tart pips. Ooh. It's almost that within, um, within the actual stretchy. An opportunity, if you've seen the strawberry quartz, which we brought in the uh, past as a bangle, um, but maybe you have issues maybe with sore joints or um, you, you find them harder to actually get on or you find them just a little bit uncomfortable. A stretchy bracelet you can't go wrong with, can you? And it's natural. £34.99 pence only. Surely one of those cabochons should be around that. Surely. When you, when you, well, okay, so you another rare quartz with hematite. So that's what, remember what we were saying, like, well, like your uh, Moroccan amethyst. Um, rare quartz with hematite inclusions, strawberry quartz, sold for what? 2,000 and three pounds. Yeah, and I think yours has actually got more inclusions within. Christie's, look, it's carved. Strawberry quartz is often carved in the same way that jadeite is. And we're bringing it to you for 30. I don't know what that is. It's nice. It's pretty. Oh, the one on the left looks like a bird. I can see a bird there. Are they both birds? Okay. I bet you they're not 34 pounds and 99 pence. <laughs> I bet you they're not. My goodness me. Um, make sure you check it out. Carol in Berkshire. Carol, uh, two Carols actually. Uh, Maker, Sarah, Janice, Eileen. Um, we've got the Nephrite variety to bring you in a few moments' time and maybe a few little uh, sneaky surprise extras. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Rebels, aren't we? Um, absolute rebels. Loving these. Right. So when we talk about jade, I know there's your golden silk jade. We've brought you different varieties of jade uh, from your Guatemalan to your British Columbian. 
But if you were to say jade, most people would immediately think about Burmese jade and your nephrite jade. Uh, or sorry, jadeite jade or nephrite jade. So again, I'm still asked, and I know lots of you know the answer to this question, but do bear with me because we have lots of people that join us throughout the course of the day um, that maybe don't know about jade. So jade is still the most valuable, one of the most valuable gemstones in the world, but there's two different varieties. So if you can imagine jade as a surname on a family tree, and then you have the two siblings that sort of stretch down. Nephrite is the older sibling, uh, jadeite is the younger sibling um, so this is the original jade but chemically they are very very different well both classed as jades though I ha that's how I have always described it and hopefully simplifies it now nephrite jade like I said is the variety um, with the longest history you know cotan is a nephrite jade mm. um, this is a nephrite jade now it's all down to personal preference this is the most limited though um, I love the markings it's almost floating flower within a nephrite there are only 20 available opportunities during makers you can see that beautiful spinach green color it's a long strap I'm loving this Ross I think it's amazing isn't that gorgeous that is a stunning one right there I mean I love Burmese but I love nephrite as well do you know what I mean? Yeah, there is there's something there is something about this. It's just a magical. I, I don't know whether it's the different the contrast of different greens in there. It's a deeper colour. Yeah, deeper green colour. Yeah. And and look, here is a gem that is mined in a few different locations. You can source nephrite from British Columbia. You can source nephrite from China. Mm. You know, they, there's no Burmese, there's no uh, jadeite in China. However, you can source varieties of your nephrite, obviously. However, with the imminent depletion of your Cotan jade, it is gonna make other locations a source, like, uh, um, like this location you can see just here. But look at the challenge. 90% of it goes direct to China. The remaining 10% will go to either Van Cleef and Arpels, Cartier or Tiffany's. We have to find, navigate into that 10%. So it's difficult. That explains why we only have 20. There is something about this strand, Debs, I totally agree. It's a deep spinach green. Spinach green to nephrite is what imperial is to jadeite. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving the shape. I'm loving the patterns that you're seeing in here as well. Yeah. I'm a really basic jewelry maker. I don't mind sort of confessing that. I don't have the time to spend hours on projects or pieces of jewelry. However, I still like to do it. This is the kind of piece that I would literally, Debs, just add it to elastic. Oh yeah, I mean, it, I'm just, I'm looking at that now as a piece of jewellery rather than as a designer because yeah. that's what I would do with it because I just think that that's something so comfortable to wear and so different mm. that, um, yeah, I'd be proud to have that in my bracelet stack. Absolutely. There's 20. Should we do this in one price crash? Because mm. we know that people will go crazy for this. The reality is, whatever the location of nephrite or jadeite, it's all incredibly valuable. Oh my goodness, and whatever the location, they're not 39.99 ordinarily. Again, make sure you're checking out. You need to be quick on this though, because there's only 20 opportunities. I've kind of like, de I I've sort of sidelined and gone off the beaten track when uh, originally I was talking about the new cut the drill hole opportunity mm. and I've gone back into sort of the rarity of the gemstones but you can see my challenge I'm looking at what is a large carat weight 100 carats of certified natural nephrite jade and it's on it at 40 pounds you know that's not usual it's not normal um, but fantastic for our collectors at the mo uh, uh, at home well done for those of you that said look okay there's only 20 available there's also 20 in the world 20 people in the world that will be able to own this opportunity. You can deconstruct it, obviously. You can wear them as connectors. You could use them um, as individual cabochons. You could, uh, um, maybe you might think I'd use the rounds for one things and the, and the cushions for another. I've got five of these left jewelry makers. Well done, I'll leave it with you. Fantastic. Now I did say a couple of gemstones that uh, weren't on the, weren't on the desk but um might surprise you with something but just before i do lovely lauren is passing something in 
It's not what I think it is, is it? If I said turkey, if I said the lucky stone, now this might, this has got to be one of the world's rarest varieties of jade. Look at the color of it. It's amazing, it's natural. I don't, it has to be one of the rarest varieties of jade in the world because it's already gone. It was like discovered and gone. You know, we talk about cashmere sapphire, it's such a fleeting mining mm. window. This is even shorter than that, even shorter. It was found by fluke, by a local. Unbelievable, it's a variety of jade. In fact, Ross, have you got that information? How many have you got of these? Uh, 10. We'll do it in one price crush. I'm talking about Bursa Jade. Bursa Jade has not been on air since September uh, last year. I don't know how Wayne has worked his magic on this because it's mined out. Oh, it was that is stunning. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Unbelievable. At 39.99. Look at those colours. They've sold out. Not surprised. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's an amazing, yeah, the colour is perfect. It's creamy, isn't it, mm. Bursa Jade? Now, okay, a few, I did mention a few extra gemstones that we've commissioned in this cut as well. One's a given. I'm going to say it. I think you have seen before. However, you know, when something works so perfectly, you've got to keep doing it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? And also would work amazing with all of the gems that we've brought you so far. It's Baltic Amber. With your cognac and your lemon. Oh, I love it. I think it, this is where it all began, isn't it? This is where it all started. And it's a full 360, by the way, so you could easily turn it into a bracelet. This is where this cut, I think, actually began. I think we've got Marius to thank for this. Thanks, Marius. We love the double drill. So much so, we're actually approaching um, other uh, gem traders to see if they can actually bring it in that same opportunity. Beautifully lightweight, again, warm to the touch. The joy of amber is that it's a gemstone that will physically get better with age. Look at those internal inclusions again. That's what you want. Remember, these are wonderful, magical little time capsules that preserve life from millions of years ago. Such a fascinating gemstone. It's an organic gemstone. What that basically means, it's uh, basically a type of resin that formed through a process called polymerization. Very, very rare. Um, uh, because actually the trees that produced it in the Baltic region no longer exist. So incredibly rare. Um, it's mined, literally can float in salt water. To be bringing you any of these ambers, 99 pounds and 99 pence. And it's also, you've got to think, some trees might still, because I, I, I had a discussion, let's put it that way, with somebody once upon a time. And it was a case of, you can't describe amber as a gemstone. Uh, it is a gemstone, it doesn't have to have a crystal. It's not a mineral, I agree there. It is a gemstone, it's an organic gemstone in the same way pearls are. Um, however, in order to be described as a gemstone, it needs to be rare, beautiful and durable. And it is all of those things. We, if any of the ancient trees or varieties of conifer trees are actually, do produce amber now, we're not gonna see them, are we? Because no. it's gonna take millions <laughs> of years. Millions of years. Um, it is incredibly rare. And also one of the most significant gems in terms of gemolo gemology, geology, history, biology, and paleo paleontology. It's identified over 1,500 different species. Anyway, we're at 39 pounds and 99 pence only. All the ologies, ology, ology, ology. It, and it's cool. It's one of those gems that absolutely sparks enthusiasm, I think, in whatever age, whatever walk of life. It's so cool. It's seen. It's defied Mother Nature's natural process, hasn't it? You know, yeah, I always think that's amazing. You know, 
when we pass, we will return to the earth, won't we? Mm. We will return to the earth and um, it will be that wonderful evolving circle of life. However, Amber has been on this planet for, for, for possibly even over hundreds of millions of years. It's defied ice ages, movements of tectonic plates. It's not naturally decayed. It's existed under the earth and hasn't rotted down. It's an amazing gemstone. Sorry. Can you tell I was talking about Amber over the weekend, last week? It's when miraculous. I, but it's, it's so interesting what you're saying there because I haven't thought of that before. It's miraculous how it's mm, survived. It's a natural yeah. material. It's not a rock. No. It's not a mineral. It's a natural material and it's, it's defied magic. that. It is magic. Yeah, I was talking to the kids at the, at the make along actually ah. about Amber because they were like, I want not argued with them. No, 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 no. There was this one little lad who was like, is this? And he knew it was so cute because he was saying, um, is this the one from Jurassic Park? <laughs> I like, yes, it is. Gross. Did he make his face? Gave him a little fist yeah. pump for being so uh, switched on. Amazing. Um, now I've got two more. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Look at these. Ooh. Ooh. Never done these before. Could this be, just throwing this one out there, jewelry makers, could this be our next favourite cut? What do you reckon? The four leaf clover. It's a hot, one of the hottest cuts at the moment, isn't it? Could this be the next trend? Could now be. we're going to bring you the Amazon, and then this little bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> you could put pearls in between that oh. black one, and then couldn't you? Well, or have every other one pearls. Oh, I could do so much with those. They're gorgeous. They are gorgeous, mm -hmm. aren't they? Black spinel. Coming up, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Oh, I love it in Amazon Night. Again, have we ever done it in Amazon Night before? I don't I've remember. Never, I've not seen it. I don't remember. It's, I love these wonderful patterns that you see. You've got the translucency, you've got that pa <gasps> you've got that beautiful pastel colour, that pastel shade, double drilled. Ooh, look at that. They're stunning, aren't they? I love Amazon I really do. Me too. Gorgeous. Well, Mark's favourite gemstone, it's up there with your favourites as yeah, well, isn't definitely. it? Definitely. Mine too. Who doesn't love Amazonite? Some days it is my favourite. Yeah, I agree. And again, if you want to see, read uh, um, some lovely words about this beautiful gemstone, go onto the Monica Veneda uh, website and they've got a lovely write-up on Amazonite. They talk about how it's this really lovely, positive gemstone that's the bridge between the cold of winters um, and the warmth of springtime laden with life. It's a really positive, oh. uplifting, hopeful gem. We've gone straight down to that price tag, jewellery makers. We're at... Oh, oh, no, Ross says. No, I haven't, he says. That's just the first price crash, $49.99. Again, the tropical colours that you see. If you get, if you get comfort and you, you uh, are excited by the beauty of, say, your Larimar. I'm not saying it's the same gemstone. In fact, in fact they're very, very different. But they've got those tropical vibes about them. Yeah, and also the, the patterns that you see. Are you ready for your price tag? Give that to Debs, she's happy. Thank you. You'd be over the moon with that, Debs, you, wouldn't you? You don't have to pay me, just give me that. For free. Just give me those. Mm. 20 what? 29.99. And how many have we got? 50. Brand new. Who fancies a special launch price? Yes, please. I've got 50. I don't think they'll see another show, to be honest, Roscoe. There's 104 carats. I think this is going to be an on-screen sellout if you're saying, suggesting that they're going to go even lower. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight of your cushions. Then you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen. Debs has got the phone out. Four. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. We all do it, Debs. Yeah, but I never used to do it, but I need this. <laughs> Adam's like, oh, one of us do it. You mean you do well? I, I do, yeah. <laughs> I do. I, I'm not even going to deny it. It's like you've, you've got it recorded on YouTube. <laughs> 
29 pounds and 99 pence only but going even lower it's a brand new launch our number one most pop i think it was voted there wasn't it the number one most popular favorite gemstone i understand why are you ready oh what was it oh that Nothing to see here. I've got one. I got one. It's I don't fire. blame you though, Debs. I I just oh I just want that just as it is. A bracelet, um, and I think it will go really lovely with my peacock angelite bracelet. Oh, beautiful. And maybe a pearl bracelet to have nice. a real. Oh, I'm so excited. Nice. But what a, an amazing bracelet that would be, Debs. I just you know just comfortable to wear. Comfortable. My favorite gemstone. Unusual. Oh, I'll be stalking the postman. Yeah, love it. I love it. I love it. Again, there's lots of meanings associated to Amazonite as well. It's not just a visually beautiful gemstone. Uh, metaphysically, this is a gemstone of hope yes. and positivity. Yep. Um, uh, historically believed to help with endurance as well. Um, I think a gem that stone. price is it. Sorry, uh, that price is incredible. It is amazing. You know, yeah. Uh, this is a, even if they were just your plain rounds at nineteen ninety nine. I think that's amazing. Well, there's a lot of gemstone there. I mean, yeah, it's a big, a, a big um, weight of gemstone. It's uh, completely, completely ooh. stacked. We had fifty available opportunities. Um, I'll leave those with you. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Well done. Okay. Always, always a popular gemstone. Again, I have to say, I have never seen this cut in this gemstone. Spinel, black spinel, natural black spinel. But I agree, it's it slightly graduates as well. If I hold it out like this, can you see? Yeah, I it thought tapers. It did. Thought it did. That's that's amazing. I'm de getting definite 1920s vibes, Debs, with this. It's very vintage. Yeah. Almost vintage Chanel-esque. Yes, yeah. definitely. I'm with you. Look, I want this strand. That is, I love that it's graduated. Oh. It makes it look completely different yeah. to the other ones, doesn't it? This would be great for things like wire work as well. You could almost taper a cuff, couldn't yeah. you? With that one. Oh, I love it. <coughs> totally <laughs> natural black spinel. Have we got 50, Roscoe? Exactly 50, brand new premiere opportunity. You know what you could do? Keep it as is, but with the rounds, just put some little bead caps. Oh, yes. Either side of the round. Nothing too overstated, but like maybe little filigree bead caps on each of the rounds. Can yeah. you imagine how that, oh, amazing. Would, how that would change how it looked? Just, just that addition of some bead caps on the rounds. Oh, yeah. You're going to need to be quick if you want to get this, because we've never done this before. I'm right in saying that, aren't I? I don't remember ever. Brand new. It's a brand new opportunity. So I, I, and none of us are actually remembering um, seeing anything like this on air. We're going to do the lowest possible price tag. Again, black spinel, the beautiful, natural. The, it's the ultimate black gemstone. I mean, I, I love onyx. I love your um, agates, of course, or your obsidians. I love your jadeites as well. But... Black Spinel is that ultimate high shine, high glamour. £29.99 pence only. Um, my call screens has gone a little bit funny at the moment, Jury Maker, so I, I'm, st I'm still on the previous auction right now. Um, but if it's in your baskets, make sure you're checking it out. Uh, make sure uh, we only have 50, and we can bet you bottom dollar there's more than 50 people um, watching us right now. Stunning. Black Spinel normally is in a showcase, and when it's in a showcase, um, previously I've never seen anything quite like this before amazing absolutely amazing tends to be more of your smaller cuts doesn't it Black yeah Spinel? and it's like this has got like a mirror like shine on it and I think it's very elegant yeah me I mean even if you turned that if you think of you turning that the other way the big central one and adding <gasps> tassels to the to the two drill holes I think that would be stunning like maybe some seed pearls and some other uh, black gemstones, maybe faceted. Oh, beautiful. There's lots you could do with this, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, you could have it, not as it portrait or landscape, couldn't yeah. you? Beautiful. 
I love it and treat them as cabochons if you wanted yeah. to. Imagine that in a ring, that big one. You know, in the past when we've shown you that PowerPoint um, of different celebrities wearing black spinel, and yes. I always say Maisie Williams is photographed on the red carpet for some big film premiere. Uh, Maisie Williams is an actress from Game of Thrones. Um, and she was wearing a Gemporia black spinel ring. I'm fairly Ooh. sure it was rectangular shaped. Um, but amazing, you can make that multiple times over. Well done, everybody. Do stay where you are. I've still got lots to bring you. Um, between now and the top of the show, we've got the most amazing masterclass with Debs coming your way, all about Morse code jewelry. And we've got it in different gemstones. Um, we've also got your Gilin Peridot to bring you. It's the, it, it's, the finest location of source it's also the um it's not a secondary which what is what chang bai and hunan were um we are going to repeat the deal that liam brought to air and it is ridiculous by the way um we also have a sterling silver magnetic clasp which we're going to take to an absolutely unbelievable price tag um so we've got that coming your way we've got those pearls to bring you as well there's loads loads and loads and loads between uh, now and the top of the show so do not go anywhere jewelry makers well done on your brand new cuts loving those aren't aren't you make sure you're checking out your baskets join us after this <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook which is filled with 35 different techniques as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. 
Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Where's time gone this morning? It's gone so fast. I thought that when I just looked at the clock. How's it half past 11 already? I know. It's been a um, lovely shopping show. <laughs> Uh, we have coming up Gilles Peridot. We have uh, some beautiful pearls. We've got the most amazing Morse code jewellery. We have a sterling silver magnetic clasp. I don't have it here. Have you got it there? The magnetic clasp? Okay. Coming up. Bear with. We'll bring it. To, ah, there it is. It's your stardust magnetic clasp. Um, oh, and you've got your gem encrusted Gilin Peridot pearl pendant. That's beautiful, Debs. I love that. We've done gem encrusted pearls before. It's always sell out. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember launching them here at Jewelry Maker a few years back and showed examples where they were diamond encrusted or they were somewhere you get your mixed gemstone mm -hmm. or even crystal encrusted. Yeah, I don't know if you've got that still, Roscoe. But this piece is Gilin Peridot encrusted. Let me just explain what Gilin means to the Peridot world. Now, Peridot is a gemstone that we always thought we knew here across the partnership. We did. We were, okay, yeah, yeah, Chiang Mai, uh, um, Heaven's Lake, we know that, Hunan, Peridot. And we've got Peridot in our vault. We have. We always have done. It's locations we've travelled to. However, what we discovered upon invitation, Dave and some of the team were invited to go to the global launch of Fuli, Fuli Peridot. And, and I'm just repeating the conversation that went on between Dave and the uh, uh, and whoever it was that called him. And they said, would you like to come over? We're launching to first variety of Peridot. Dave, by his own admission, actually said, I'm not really a Peridot person, thanks. <laughs> it was like, no, 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 you think you know Peridot, but you haven't seen Peridot until you see this. Each of the other Peridots, whilst beautiful, Chiang Mai Peridot, beautiful, Hunan, beautiful. Um, they're secondary deposits. So Fuli's Peridot or Jiling Peridot, that's the primary deposit. So uh -huh. you get a far, far, far deeper green. So much so, uh, and, and the quality, the saturation is so electric that they've actually invented a cup to go alongside it. So that we were there, I say we, Royal We, Dave and team were there upon the original launch. You can see here, Fuli Gemstone unveils a new Peridot cut. That's the radiant cut. And you can see that primary, almost Zabarite green. But let's read it. Hong Kong, China-based Peridot miner Fuli Gemstones is unveiling a new cut this month um, at the Jewelry Gem World Hong Kong show. Based on an antique cushion, a new Fuli cut has 65 facets instead of using uh, the usual 58. It's a cut on the cross, which the miner said reveals the stone's distinctive vivid green colour and incre incredible liveliness. Um, what is it about, about this gemstone? Even Caterina Perez is talking about it. The vibrant treasure, Fuli gemstones, peridots are mouth-watering, so I'll say that again, mouth-wateringly precious. And look again on the actual, uh, um, on the dobber stick there, that's the electric green that is, has flipped the Peridot world um, on its head, quite literally. But that's because we've never seen, up until Fuli uh, gemstones, and we've never actually seen the primary deposit of it. Now, I always, in the past, when I was discussing Peridot, again, it's a gem I love to talk about because it's cool. It forms in the Earth's mantle, um, not the crust. It's traveled 55 miles to the Earth's surface alongside diamonds. I just always imagine them kind of skipping up to the <laughs> Earth's surface um, through the hot bit, the mantle, all those intense pressures. Um, but when I've spoken about this before in the past, it's always been okay. Um, on the color wheel, if you can imagine a color wheel of green, so from yellow to the darkest of greens, your, your peridot should be about 50%. So 50% yellow, 50% gr uh, green. However, actually, that's really the quality that we saw at Chiang Mai or at Hunan. 
Fully brings you the deepest electrics, more but more like eight o'clock, I suppose. The like fresh grass green, and it's totally natural. It's also one of the few gemstones that only forms in green. Only forms. Now, anyway, I've digressed, haven't I? This is exclusively Gilin Peridot, set in the most beautiful, amazing pearl. And also, look at that bale. It pivots Ooh. too. Can you see that? pivots i mean just feed that on your chain and away you go That's yeah this cool. is what i was going to show you I've, I've i've brought you gem encrusted pieces before they tend to be diamonds a gem encrusted pearl ring 2900 pounds it's a lot isn't it or i can show you some pendants how about these earrings oh they're lovely they're beautiful aren't they three thousand two hundred dollars please debs if you want those oh no <laughs> what about these where they're just stuck on the surface are they stuck on really? They're, they're stuck on the surface, That's yeah. Naughty. And they're crystals. Um, I, I do like these though. I think they're amazing. Don't know the price, but they look expensive, don't they? Um, white diamonds embedded in South Sea Baroque pearls. Mm, lovely. How about those at Wolf and Badger? 1,606 pounds. Amazing, but again, you can see the diamonds set within. So in terms of the actual idea, three and a half grand for those. We're gonna do this in one price crash. Now, we have 11 triple A graded natural Gilling Peridot, 925 sterling silver, set in a beautiful Baroque pearl. We'll do it in one price crash because there's simply not enough of these to go around. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're amazing. Just the, the, the whole process. You've got to set the Gilling Peridot, then you've got to drill the pearls, you've yeah. got to set them in the pearls. You know, it's not an impossible task, but it's a lengthy time process. And yet still we bring it to you at 39.99. The pearl on its own shouldn't be that. Straight away, immediately, we've got collectors multi-buying on it. We only have um, a limited quantity. Hang on, is it one of those? Is it like a carabiner design? The actual bale itself? I think it is. Um, so you've got like a carabiner clip-on pendant bale. I'm just looking at the graphics. Unbelievable, you could just literally feed it through a chain because it's that it's sort of open. Amazing, the final few of these, might have to get one of these. In fact, I might get two because they'd be lovely earrings. Oh, they'd be amazing earrings. I just looped those onto a shepherd hook. I like the fact that that bale, excuse me for a second, I like the fact that bale would be part of the design of the earrings, wouldn't it? The bale is really substantial. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of silver in that, isn't there? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. What about this then, Debs? Yes, please. It's a bit of you, that, isn't it? Very, very. I thought oh. that would be so expensive to buy. So expensive to buy. And again, we just showed you crystals that are glued to the surface. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you hear everybody here in the studio go, Ugh, when I show that, I show those. And I agree. They're just stuck to the surface. It's disrespectful Still to the pearl. Still 178 pounds or dollars or whatever it is. We're talking 39.99. Yeah. These are genuine natural Gilin Peridot, which by the way, we are priced out of. Um, we can't buy any more of it because again, lots of the big designers are working with it. Um, okay, okay. Let me show you as well your magnetic class that's coming up as well a little bit later on because that has arrived on my desk. Here you go. It's beautiful. Think stardust, think amazing textures. Um, we've got a hundred of these available. We've got a hundred available. It's a big gram weight. Um, and we're going to take it to a super affordable price tag. It'll be fabulous with your, uh, with all of your projects. Now, sticking with the Gillian Peridot, I do have four amazing strands of G Are these all Gillian? Wow. From that primary location of source. Oh, <gasps> that one. Oh my goodness me, we've got bicones. When did we... When did we introduce bicones in Geeling Peridot? First time today? Oh my goodness, tell me this quantity, tell me this quantity, tell me this quantity. Oh! Cubes! Cubes, bicones, coins and faceted rounds. Take a moment, Debs. I want to see the cubes. The cubes are amazing. Oh, I want these. Oh my goodness, these are stunning. 
These are new, right? Oh. I've never seen them before. They're amazing. The color of that. Natural. We were only able to purchase 35, or cut 35, I should say. Oh my goodness me. Hello, Chantal. Uh, I got the parcel collection of Gillian Perido for my mum for Mother's Day. If I hadn't told her, I might have kept it for myself. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But Liam did take it to the most ridiculous price, didn't he? Amazing, and we're gonna do it again, Chantal. Um, ah, lucky, lucky mum. These are beautiful. Look how linear they are. I don't know how close you can get to these, but the colour is sensational. Oh, they're not like any green I've ever seen before. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's well, I think there was a uh, there was a recording where Dave's at the launch, mm. so um, with Fooly Gems, and they're speaking to one of the executives yeah yeah um and she's basically saying you know what makes fully uh sorry Pe gilin perido different to any other location is the fact that it literally looks like a demantoid yes. or it looks like a zavarite that it's a green unlike any other perido yeah. that we've seen in the world and uh, immediately upon its discovery when I mean, you had the likes of caterina perez writing about it this is the best perido in the world you know and when you're looking at this on your screens, I don't think any of us are, disagree uh, are disagreeing. Okay, jewelry makers, we have 35 available. Uh, hello to Tracy saying, morning ladies and crew, love Julian Perido. The green is electric. Managed to purchase a few pieces from yourselves. Well done, Tracy. It is electric. And this is the thing, it's like Hunan Perido, Changbai Perido, amazing. More yellow presence though. It's still green, don't get me wrong, but there's more of a yellow yeah. presence to it. This, genuinely for me to say this is like, like a demantoid or a zavarite, we've never, we've never described Peridot in that way. This is that primary location of source, not the secondary, not the deposits that we've had before. And there's nothing wrong with those deposits. They're amazing. And we can't repeat this opportunity. We are priced out of Gillian Perido. It's so expensive. It's fact, so sparkly. Yeah, it's gorgeous. As well, isn't it? Well, they invented a cut for it. Oh, well, there you go then. Yeah, invented a cut solely for your Gillian Perido. I have 35 available. That's amazing, isn't it? We're not paying 99.99. Helen, Lorna, Northamptonshire, Susan, there's people on the phone lines, 35 in existence. Wow. Imagine a faceted cube, Gillian Perido tassel. Oh. Or those earrings that you made. Just yeah, one. Yeah, because you, they catch the light as yeah. you moved, wouldn't they? Like a centimetre of Gillian oh. Perido. And you could make those earrings multiple times over with a full 38 centimetre strand. You certainly could. Wow, wow, wow. It's brand new. It's never been on your screens previously before. If we flip forward, Roscoe, on this presentation, in fact, no, sorry, sorry. I'll go back to those, um, to those words if I could, because it talks about the quality that you're actually getting here. The birthstone of August, there is no gem more perfectly suited to the summer months in Peridot. With its zingy lime tinge to use, its refreshing colour makes um, a thoroughly modern statement as a centerpiece of a jewel. Yet until now, the Peridot uh, has received far less attention than other green gemstones, such as emeralds and tourmalines. All that is set to change, however, thanks to the work of new mining company, Fooley Gemstones, owner of the world's largest known Peridot deposit. And it's this, this zesty, beautiful, zingy, lime green state, uh, color um, that you find in this location. With designers like Anushka working with it. There's that cut, there's that radiant cut which has been actually invented 19 grand for that ring do you want some matching earrings then i think that's, that's sold by the way um matching earrings earrings in the radiance cut again Nineteen thousand nine hundred. wow 20 grand it's a nice car that is isn't it <laughs> um amazing right let's now bring you deposit on a house absolutely have we had it in the faceted coins before? Oh my goodness. 
In your faceted coins, I love it. Gilin Peridot jewelry makers. The best Peridot location in the world because it has, by definition, that perfect zesty lime green that is totally natural. Now, these are flying out the door already, so okay, straight away. Let's, are you going straight there, Ross? Okay, under 100 first. There's 50, 5 zero available. It's a good quantity actually for Gilles Imperido. You've got that uh, triple grade. You can see the quality. It blows my mind to think that this is a gem that formed in the mantle of the earth. I know. So cool, isn't it? It is. 29 pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of your natural Gilles Imperido. Again, something I would definitely suggest getting a certificate of authenticity alongside um, because you know, like, in the same way that you would say, okay, this is a South Sea Pearl, or this is, uh, um, I don't know, where you would mention a Colombian Emerald, you would mention that this is a Gilin Peridot, because, I mean, it's fairly a Burmese Ruby, absolutely. You would mention a location, um, because it, it highlights, just in words, really, without even looking at it, the quality of the gem. Um, Gilin Peridot is the best in the world. Um, and it's been written about, and we had, uh, it's been written about not just by Caterina Perez, it's been in New York Times, I think was another one that quite often talked about your gemstones and spoke about this location. 29 pounds and 99 pence only. We had 50 available opportunities. Stay where you are. Can we do the bicones? I love the bicones. In fact, Dan, can you pass me one of our black busts? I want this. Oh, that's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? I don't think we've ever done this cut before in Gilles and Peridot. Thank you, lovely. I love Peridot. I'm a, I'm a real Peridot lover. There's something magical about the green. It reminds me of the most beautiful parts of nature. Uh, just this, these bicones, you could do so much with. Yeah, I mean, you if really you could. Think, what, um, are they four mil? Yeah. Imagine a Capriccio. <gasps> the most bougie Capriccio in the whole world. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be absolutely amazing. So let me just straighten the strand out. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't it be gorgeous? But Debs, I don't remember, actually, of any location, never mind Jiling, I don't remember bringing bicones. In Perido. No. Perido. Does it? Have we ever had it in, in bicones before? I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, certainly not in this colour. Oh my me. gosh, it works, doesn't it? It really does. At the beginning of this uh, um, showcase, effectively, we spoke about Gilin Peridot having a cut designed for them. Mm. And the reason for that is because there's more facets to produce more brilliance because you get those, I can't remember where it said, it was at the very, very beginning when we introduced it. And they said that it had 78 facets. Well, I guess the reason why so many of us are loving this so much is a bicone has multiple facets. Yes. In effect, when you look at a round brilliant cut, the bulk of the facets are on the pavilion, aren't they? Yeah. On the underside. Whereas you get a double pavilion with a bicone. Here mm -hmm. we go. The foodie cut is based uh, on an antique cushion cut. I'm not saying they're the same, but the, what, the reason what I'm talking about is the foodie cut has 65 facets instead of the usual 58. So there's more brilliance with the foodie cut. So if you think about this focus of 58 facets is what you get in a round brilliant cut. Most of the facets of a round brilliant cut are on the underside of the gemstone. A bicone gives you double that. Yeah. So this is ultimate sparkle. I don't ever remember seeing Peridot full stop in a bicone. I might be wrong. I definitely don't own it. Please say this quantity, Ross. 50. And he says you're also not paying 49.99. Wow, <laughs> that's Capriccio really cool. bracelet. Capriccio, definitely, and that's a that's a good size strand. That's a full size, isn't it? Is it yeah. thirty-eight centimeters? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, or even envis um, envisaging a tassel, like a Capriccio oh. tassel with these bicones, just leading your eye down. I just stunning. Beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful i agree it is the ultimate summertime gemstone but it's also a, a gem that no matter what lighting condition no matter what month of the year it just it, it's so strikingly beautiful mm -hmm. you know even under soft candlelight you will see this in, uh, incredible green look at that look at that 29.99 if these don't sell out i'd be utterly amazed it comes alive on your skin doesn't it yeah it loves being worn again can i just do this because i think yeah just okay. absolutely stunning perfect mm. absolutely perfect natural certified premium grade gilin peridot we can't afford to bring you in more you know what we have is what we have basically jewelry makers because we were there i say we royal we dave was there jake was there the team were there uh, during uh, um the global unveiling of this amazing gemstone well done the last of your gilin peridot strands and this is the faceted four millimeter round again capriccio definitely <sighs> tough choice if you've got to choose between the two i can't I don't know. It's amazing though. Let's do one price crash. I've got 30, so this is more limited. Again, it's all about brilliance and sparkle. You know, when you look at Anushka, when you look at what are the other designers that are working with Gillian Peridot, uh, Catherine Perez writing about it, you've got oh, uh, Liv Luttrell using a really simple, they call it the spear tip ring all about the gem but it's all about the facets as well because it brings you the most amazing sparkle and brilliance and that's really what every single one of the cuts that i've brought you on this strand is also about color natural untamable color with the most unbelievable brilliance in 23 seconds we're taking uh, bring your price to air jewelry makers it's limited though valerie suzanne swansea uh sean Den uh, denise sorry london getting involved as well well done to our collectors um not leaving anything to chance and again you know per if you love peridot i can guarantee this if you love peridot and this is your first introduction to Gilling Peridot, you are going to be bowled over by it because Gilling Peridot is insanely vibrant. It's the biggest carat weight of all your strands. They are full 38 centimeter strands as well. 29.99. It's amazing. So it's not completely out of uh, the question then to do a more gem heavy design. If you wanted to buy a couple of strands, mm -hmm. you could even um, combine the rounds and the bicones together. Oh. You know, if you were doing a netting or, you know, something where you were going to um, maybe sew them together like you would with seed beads, make something intricate, you could even do a right angle weave, just right angle weave them. Kiss cross? Yes. You could do that. Yeah. Well, the, the pair of earrings that you created earlier on, if you wanted to do uh, a, a Gillian Peridot version, oh, you could. Yes, please. How am I, just one? You could just put one on top of those pearls? I think I would. One or actually one or if you want a, a bigger drop, maybe three. Yeah. So pretty. Amazing. Well done. Well done well done okay jewelry makers make sure you check it out your baskets there's lots of you there stay on those phone lines our call center will get to you i promise you okay now there is a bit of a story to be told um those of you that know liam now liam he used to be my producer a few years back uh and then he went to work on um hobby maker and he's our product concept manager i don't know Anyway, I don't, sorry Liam, I don't know your official title. Anyway, um, so he's out of the fold. Let's word it, word it that way. He's not up to speed on the certain gemstones and Gilin Peridot was most definitely something he had never seen previously before. So to him, in his defense, this would have been like, ah, oh, it's a nice strand of Peridot. It's not just any Peridot, the Liam. This is like taking the best grade diamonds or the best or you like your decolorless diamonds or your um, finest quality Colombian emeralds or your finest quality rubies and add it to um, add it to a hobby maker embargo so that it can't it couldn't be found by the likes of our management but also Dave Dave launched Gil in Perido um, yeah it gets on a plane to Hong Kong and then in that time Liam comes on and goes <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an, a, a manager special deal where they're all out doing each other. <laughs> it was so funny. I don't think he realised, and you could see the guilt kind of wash across his face. Um, 
when I was saying, hang on, no, you know we can't buy any more of this, Liam. <laughs> it's actually too expensive to buy now. Look, Liv Latrell, look, Anushka, 19,000. He was like, ah, oh, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> But that's funny because they were all as bad as each other, so I don't think any of them can say anything. Scott was as bad. Uh, Chloe was as bad. Georgia was a, as bad. Wayne was definitely as bad. They were all as bad as each other, weren't they? Anyway. Do you know what? It would be bad. What, what would be dreadful is if we repeated it. Oh, really? Okay. Wayne has just said it's done now. The damage is done. Just He's like, damage is done. Just get it gone now. How many do we have left? Okay. These will sell out today. This is the most ridiculous parcel. We've got 53, did you say? 53 left out of 300 that Liam completely sabotaged <laughs> in terms of its price. This is how we buy our gemstones, jewelry makers. You know, it's our sister channel buys our gemstones. So, you know, when we, uh, and I remember seeing this when I was over in uh, um, India. You know, we'll buy all your gems, like your tourmalines, your tanzanites, your zircons, your, rubies and everything we'll buy them in parcels like this where there's different mixtures of cuts they sort them basically and then you can equate what how many of one design you can actually have this is a parcel look at the size of that one there <sighs> that is not his price though can you believe that oh look at the square down here the princess oh cut my. oh my goodness me what are you doing ross oh look at that emerald cut just there Oh, I'd pay $34.99 for that one emerald cut. That's not what Liam did. No, I know. I'm fully aware. But the damage is done. Under £30? He is out the loop, to be fair. Just don't repeat this to, my, uh, to Dave. Well, he could easily have commissioned like a collection out of this, couldn't he? That's the thing. Yeah. He's not, not, not because I don't think Dave would deliver the best deals. Of course he would. But this could have been a collection on our sister channel. Yeah. You know, quite extensively mm. a collection on our sister channel. £29.99. pence. you think in Liv Luttrell that uh, spear tip ring, that's talking about the prongs effectively, there's one peridot. You have an entire parcel and you've got an entire parcel of different cuts. Um, £29.99 and pence, and we will match Liam's ridiculous it was if you remember <clears throat> it was a mass managers deal oh yeah <clears throat> he comes on with a penguin <laughs> with a penguin outfit I'm a sex penguin <laughs> and just completely sabotages Gilles Perido prices unbelievable the damage is done Let's take it to your manager special deal. But again, it's a last chance opportunity, everyone. Again, this is how we absolutely source this beautiful, uh, your, your gemstones, um, is via mixed parcels. And then they're actually all sorted out. £29.99 pence would be great if that's where we were stopping. That'd be awesome if that's where we were stopping. But we're not. I'm, I'm drawn to this one. It's choosing me, that one. Isn't it lovely? I like the big one. You like the big one, the, the trillion cut? Yeah. Amazing. You've got princess cut there, you've got rounds. All incredible. Are you ready? Because today... <laughs> that is naughty. <laughs> naughty Liam. He is naughty. Mm. I did, I think I almost made him feel guilty. <laughs> almost. Hang on, let me see if I can open these without, oh, it doesn't matter even if they do, here you go. Adam's like, what are you doing? I'm just opening this up. Look at those. Because you can really see the quality when you open oh, it up. It looks like treasure when you open it up. They're unbelievable, aren't they? Absolutely unbelievable. And it's all, oops, totally natural. Look at that parcel. Oh my goodness me, I, have to, I found him. He's, look, he, he'd, if I had to pick, this would be the one that he, he keeps find, making his way to making me.
Look at that. Oh. They're so beautiful, aren't they? £19.99 pence only, jewellery makers. This is the emerald cut. Um, um, oh, ah, don't worry, it's all right. It's okay. It's, it's, it formed in the Earth's mantle, don't you know? It can handle a bit of tweezer action. Make sure you're checking them out. Um, all your different cuts and shapes. I've got, but I've got marquees. I've got, there's the princess cut, Adam. There it is. There's the princess cut. Ooh. There's the emerald cut. There's the trillion cut. I've got another emerald cut there. Oh my goodness me, this entire parcel. So basically you're like, okay, that could be a ring. That could be a ring. Oh, there's another princess cut here. That could be something else. Oh, I've got a pear cut here. So they basically sort through and then they'll size all the different calibrations. I've got marquees cut. Unbelievable. You are getting all of these. Um, I, you know the pearls that I've been reaching for throughout the course of the um, day? Those pearls come with Gilling Peridot, by the way. So um, they would be perfect for that. Should we do it now? Let's do it now. There isn't many of them available. So starting by, starting with, this is a clasp. Bear with. Oh no, it's a connector. Yeah. Here you go. So it comes with the Ogilian Peridot connector in this beautiful halo design. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's that worth, is stunning. It was worth the wait, wasn't it? Goodness me. But also Debs. <gasps> oh, you and if you've got those strands, you could put... Oh. Oh, put one of those little four mil maybe bi cones in between those pearls and use that connector and oh yeah do you want me to do that please i can do that <laughs> debs for you anything here you go here's your bi cones <gasps> so do you see what i mean like pop them in between the pearls and yep. then put that connector on and you have got a really beautiful piece of how jewelry. amazing is oh. that this is what jewelry makers is about premium grade gemstones affordable price tag you know being in the right place and those connections yeah. you know don't get me wrong we wouldn't have known about Gileng Peridot had we had Dave not have had the phone call you know True. do you want to come and he was like eh, I'm not being asked. he was like oh no you, you think you know Peridot wait until you see Gileng Peridot it's not the same thing so jewelry makers you're getting three strands of your Peridot and this amazing connector which is that the same cut that you saw actually in in the live retrell that beautiful oval cut. You can add your strands if you want to. Today, you can get all of this, sterling silver as well within your connector. It's a double row connector. 79 pounds and 99 pence. Do you know, we could have put that connector into a ring and that would have been more than what's on your screens. Yeah, I was thinking ring. You could definitely turn that into a ring, couldn't you? I love it with the oh <coughs> I love it with the pearls though I really yeah. do. <coughs> Turn that into a multi row pearl necklace. Oh my goodness me. Add some of the strands if you wish. How many have we got then, Roscoe? Thirty three zero available. Again the cut the oval cut um of Eugilian Peridot. Remember you've got the magnetic class coming up as well. I've got the most amazing <coughs> kids. Um, and also your wonderful wall of fame too. So um, if you have, or you love the idea of creating like secret messages um, in your designs, personalization is absolutely huge, then Morse code is definitely, definitely one for you. Um, so our Debs is gonna talk us through that, which is just really ironic that I was talking about it only a couple of weeks previously. Um, we've got that magnetic class coming your way, and like I said, your designs too. So do not go anywhere, jewelry makers. Join us for the Wall of Fame after this. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewelry maker project with confidence and clarity. 
Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Um, Roscoe, I've just seen something here and I, I, I know we've just cut from the break. Are these 925 sterling silver? Yeah, they are. <gasps> it makes the jewellery look so different that the necklace that I made with them, Dan took and put with the 9am pearls because he thought it looked so different. So the gold necklace, I've done it slightly different. I've done the Morse code as a charm carrier they are 925 they're those morse code beads so that's a different look completely isn't it to the gemstone <laughs> oh my goodness me are you gonna put them on pre-order ross please can you bring my bag please 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 while you demo i'm 100 yeah, yeah. percent gonna be getting some of these can i buy them now so that's these we're talking oh my goodness we've never done them in got in silver they're lovely and a stretchy thanks roscoe thank you there he is there he is, our lovely Ross. 
Thank you. Yeah, you could literally just redo those in a stretchy. I need I've some I've done of these. a stretchy um, underneath the tassel, Dan. Oh! It's a bit more understated, I think, and also very good for a stack. I know I keep going on about stacks, but... What, what does that thing? say? That says mum, and the tiger's eye says dad. Ah, oh, Debs, these are beautiful. They're available on pre-order right now. Right, hang on, before, right. That's dad. Start, which one is? The tiger's eye that they just showed was is dad. Oh, you can't see it, it's, under, it's by your tea bar Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Now, in the kit, they come with the base metal, but if you want to do the silver version, yeah. Then we have it in the yellow gold and we also have it in the silver. Sorry, Dan. They're available on pre-order right now. Yeah, you have. And got we've got rose. Yes. Oh! They're on pre-order too. They're absolutely flying. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com, click watch live. How lovely if you've got beautiful pearls or beautiful um, jade strands or, you know, anything and you put these <gasps> precious metal findings in and you put an initial or a name or, a, you know, anything. Oh my goodness, they're on, they're on the web now. So click coming up soon. We also have it in, thank you, Lauren. We also have it in the jadeite too, which is absolutely beautiful. Can we just look at, check out that tea bar right there? Um, oh. <laughs> it's alive, it's escaping. Amazing. Look how beautiful they are. Definitely will be joining on this one. Right, before we get sidetracked, because I'm gonna I'm up so excited about this next hour, Debs. <laughs> it's it's a, so up my it's street. It's a bit of us, isn't it? This? So yeah, absolutely. Mm. I love mm. it. I love personalization. I just think it's So do I. It's a way of like for example, you know, um one of our viewers, I won't say whose name it was, but one of our viewers and it stuck with me, it has the message that you text in and, and, and I, I it's very relatable I think, but I've got caught caught up with it, haven't I already? I said I wasn't going to, but I go I'll finish my sentence. But a viewer texted in and said, with Morse code jewellery, uh, she wears a name on her wrist from her late son. Oh, I know, and she. But if you think about it, you know, if I was to, if you were to wear the name you'd of, to, you'd have to talk. Somebody might ask you about it, and then that's a conversation that you might want not want to have that's at that really given moment in time. But you're yeah. still keeping them close, close. to you. I this, I mean, that's just one direction. But I love Morse. Well, I made my husband. Um, I love you for in a in a Morse code oh. bracelet. He hasn't taken it off since. And also, like, he might be embarrassed walking around with an I love you on, or maybe not, but would. some men might, or women, whoever. Um, but if you can't read it, that only you know. It's almost like a secret between the two of you, yeah, isn't it? absolutely. 100%, uh, yeah, I agree. I don't think he would wear something if it said I love you on. He might, mm. he mm. might. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the Wall of Fame. We'll get back to that, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you want to go first? Oh, yeah, thank you. Ooh, look at that's pretty and this is 957 Susan Good hi everyone I hope you're well here is my entry to the wall of fame it's a double row necklace made from Amazonite and silver ready for the summer I hope you all had a lovely Mother's Day uh, take care everyone Susan that is just simple classic beauty Gorgeous. I love it so good luck to you 957 amazing for you. loving that Susan oh these are incredible, or oh, this is incredible, from Diana West. Hello to you, Diana. And Diana says, uh, hello, jewelry maker. Please find attached my three row pearl knotted necklace. My husband bought them for me for our pearl anniversary. Oh. Oh. Uh, the pearls are lovely. And I used uh, the two strand knotting method as this is foolproof. Everything is from jewelry maker. The pearls were bought a while ago. I've enjoyed watching the demos, especially on pearl day. Oh. Day. Have we had a pearl day? I Have we? I want to see a pearl day. Me too. Have I missed that? Have I totally missed that? Um, anyway, good luck fellow waffers, says Diana. That's absolutely beautiful. And congratulations on your oh, anniversary yeah, congratulations. as well. You're 958, Diana. Ooh, I, now I like this. It's very nice. 
Um, 959, this is Jill, and she says, Good morning. For this week's Wall of Fame, I've made a Celtic weave chainmail pendant using hammered and plain silver plated jump rings from JM and a bale and chain from my stash. It is a simple weave, but I think the floral effect is very pretty. Fingers crossed for a win and good luck to everyone entering. I think that that is super pretty, and I don't think there's anything easy about chainmail. <laughs> no, I can't do it. It's, no um, matter how many times I try, I cannot do it. I haven't tried too much, but um, I just I look at it and think oh, I, can't, I don't think I can do that. But so I need to really have a go. But do I, you follow patterns? No, I'm not great at patterns. No, not me. Um, I'm a visual learner, so if you showed me how to do it, I'd be able to do it. Um, so a video, like if I see a video tutorial, someone actually physically shows me, I can work out a pattern if I absolutely have to, but I'd rather someone showed me, that's how I yeah, learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love this, and I also love the texture that you've got on those jump rings. Um, that really makes it, that's absolutely beautiful. Loving that. Only three entries today. Oh. So make sure you get your entries in, everybody. Good luck to you all um, for the draw on Wednesday. So there is still time. Right then, okay, Debs. I know I'm going to be literally hanging on every single word that you say in this next because um, the, the, the projects are available. They come with a written instruction, of course, from Debs, which I'll show you in a second. But talk us through what this is all about. Okay, so I need to open this because I made so many, I need to know what I wrote on each one. But I've, can we start with the big necklace, please? And that is the... I, I immediately wanted to do wow. this because it's a family mala. I love that. So this has got um, the fluorite and the labradorite um, projects together. Um, and I had some beads left over. And it's literally got, it's got Tyler, because he's my oldest. Then it's got Dylan, because he's in the middle. Then it's got Daisy. And then they're my three children. And then it's got Clemmie, who's my granddaughter. Mm. And then it's got Polina, who's my granddaughter's mum. Then it's got my husband. Then it's got me. And then it still wasn't long enough for my particular I like a long necklace I put blessed oh well, you all are blessed now if I had time I would have put my animals from the tassel oh. with, with the sterling silver ones but I, you know I've been here a lot lately covering things so I just didn't have time so I put a normal tassel on that I'd made for something else um, but what I my ideal Marlon which I'll probably do after the show is I'll get the the um, sterling silver ones amongst some other uh, spaces and I'm going to put because I've got four dogs and two cats so that's six so that's tassel and then I'll have everybody that I love the most in the whole world I'm, I'm getting goosebumps around <laughs> around my neck and that's what jewelry to me is about <laughs> no but I love that I that's made me go because that's why I got into jewelry is so you can um personalised so you can feel comfort. Well, and you'd that, never be able to buy that, would you? How could I ever buy that? How could I ever afford to buy that? So once my animals are on there, that's a really special piece of jewellery. Oh, Debs. <laughs> I've got one in my eyes totally, now. I'm such a sap. <laughs> totally new. <laughs> oh, it, uh, this is the thing, and I agree with you, jewellery is hugely sentimental, but, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You I, know, it's, it's one of those pieces that it's not just... I know we talk a lot about the rarity of gemstones and the monetary value of pieces of jewellery. Yeah. However, it's not really, it's not just about that, is it? You know, if, 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 you know, when, <laughs> at least I hope, you know, when my children inherit my jewellery, I hope they're not going to go, oh yeah, I know what that's worth. It's more going to be about the fact <laughs> mum loved this or mum loved that. And you remember them wearing it yeah. and, and, and everything. And I just think that was the first thing that came into my head, have I got enough beads to do? And then I thought, oh, I'm never going to get everybody on because it's going to be too big. And it wasn't at all. I still had room for a tassel. But obviously you can go on a much smaller scale oh if you move me. over to the next necklace, oh. which is the lapis. Yeah. Something else I hadn't seen anyone do, it, that actually says breathe, and this was a suggestion. I asked our lovely viewers for suggestions the other day. You did. Um, and this, instead of putting a bead in between every single letter, I've rosary linked it. So every single rosary link is a letter. Mm. So you don't need to actually put that kind of full stop after the letter. And that one says breathe. And I have to say that in times of extreme stress, the thing that has got me through, and I was thinking about it, I was making the jewellery. Um, the first DVD I ever did was a company called Do Crafts. And I remember being in the hotel room the night before and literally having a panic and thinking, I, I can't do this. I was so panicked, I was on my own. And I used to teach meditation, so I know that breathing, and I just did the whole breathe thing. 
and it you know it got me through it calmed me down spoke to plasma on the phone it was all good the dvd went really well but if i'd have had something that could remind me to do that you yeah. know when you're a job interview when you're going you're going to go and see your kids teeter a bit nervous any anything if you've got a piece of drawing that's that's got a sentiment on it it can just help you to remember certain yeah, things yeah i think i think every walk of life you know there are occasions where we get or certainly I do anyway, unnecessarily stressed Yeah. as well. It's like, why are you stressing about it? You know, but you do, we're human and that's we what we human, do. We are human, yeah. Um, I, I generally think this is some of the most emotional jewellery, Debs, that, um, and I love the idea. I love the fact that it can be private. I love the fact that it's you can put someone's name in it not be obvious. I love the idea of creating sort of your family all together. But it can um, be funny it can yeah. be a rude word it can be a, a silly, uh -huh. it can be, be a silly little like we were saying I nearly didn't have the time but we were like joking the other day when I was asking for um, suggestions and then we said get a grip didn't we get a grip you know, you can, if you think get, pull yourself together you, know, you could put get a grip on your bracelet and you you wouldn't necessarily walk around with that for everyone to see but you know what it says yeah but I've made a yes and no earrings and you know, if you go and have a look for inspiration, you see a lot of things like this, which are the stretchies. Yeah. And that says dad, so it's tiger's eye. And then the one that we showed earlier said mum. And then I tried to think of another different way to do it that I wasn't seeing anywhere. And that was the charm carrier necklace. So that's the necklace behind the tiger's eye bracelet. And that is actually, instead of stringing your beads that way, you string them as charms. So that says Nana. Oh, oh lovely. That's so, what about those earrings too? They're yes and no. <laughs> That's your yes and no earrings. Daisy said to me last night, are they the same length? And I went, remarkably, yes, they are. And you know, you, can, you might have your best friend's name, you might have BFF, you might have yeah, any old thing. It can be funny as well. It doesn't have to be always really emotional. I, do, I just love it. I absolutely love it. My best friend started her own business um, yeah. and you can, and she started, if you can imagine how everything is at the moment, everything's really expensive, it's tough, it's tough and it's yeah. challenging and I'm like, I was, I was speaking to her a couple of days ago, I'm just kind of give her just a little, little bit of a pep talk because she was really stressed out and she was like, and she said, Elle, you know, this is all new territory to mm -hmm. me and I was like, you can do this, you know, you can, I'm just trying to give her this little pep talk, I want to make her, you can do it. Yeah, or well, stay positive. You, you can you, know. you can do it. There's whole businesses on Etsy that um, I've lost my talk back, by the way. So you could be oh. saying you could be saying to me, "Hurry up!" Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> so there's whole businesses on that on over. Etsy yeah. that actually you say what you want written and they'll write it for you. So there's a real market for making to sell. Hundred kind of percent, definitely. Now um, we've got two projects. They're coming up. So you've got this one here, which is what they're all individual. Okay, one's with the fluorite, one's with the labradorite, one's... Right, okay. But they come with the silver, that's what Lauren was talking about, and these come yeah. with the gold, right, okay. But first, jewellery makers, sorry, let's bring you... Oh, I can hear again. The sterling silver Morse code opportunities. I love this. And then we're going to bring you the jadeite. Uh, now, here they all are. They're all separate. I want to join... I'm trying to reach for my phone, Ross, at the same time. Am I, am I allowed to do this? I did, you can. Well, I was talking. I couldn't do it on pre-order. I've been here on pre-order. <laughs> At what point? Do I, I'm going to do it now, though. I'm going to do it now. Seriously, these are amazing, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. I think lovely. And, you know, things like when you think of... Oh, well, you know, what would granddad have done or what would, who's your role model? What would that teacher at school would have done? You can have their name on a bracelet and you might not want to walk around with granddad on your wrist or, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, or even if you're secretly really inspired by somebody famous and they inspire you. Yeah. You, you're not going to walk around with a, necessarily with a bracelet with their name on it, but that no one knows. A particular animal or An something animal, like that. You, you know, anything. I mean... It's honestly limitless what, what you can do with these as far as telling a story. Totally, totally agree, Deb. Sorry, if I am distracted, there is a reason. We're doing, I'm trying to get these with you as well. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I think, and I think they'll all sell out. You can have your um, children's names. Like someone, uh, who said this to me? Was it Al, my husband? I th you could have your children's names as stacker bracelets. So you could mix the metals, or you could have one in gemstone and two in precious metal, or you know, however you want to do it. 
Um, what a lovely stack. You could have a family stack. Like if you're not into a long mala, then have an arm party. An arm party or a family snack. Yeah. I'm loving the sound of these things. <laughs> Amazing. But again, it's all <laughs> it's all personal as well, isn't it? Sorry, is me wave. I'm not being discreet about this at all. With the Stardust finished jewellery makers, I'm loving this idea. I have just got two. I've got I'm I'm going for the silver and the gold. Because oh, yeah. I know my husband will wear the silver and I'll wear the yeah, gold. Yeah. Um No, I've got one silver and I've got one gold. Yeah, if I check out. Um, amazing, because Tom will wear the silver and I'll wear the gold. Can I just say that, um, Eleanor from Worcestershire, can you check out your basket, please? <laughs> I am trying to check out my basket. It should have done now. I'm joking. <laughs> Eleanor from Worcestershire. Eleanor from saying, Worcestershire, what are, what are you, you playing doing? At? <laughs> um, I've got the buffer, the wheel of doom. You've done it. Have I done it? Not quite. Have How many have we got, it? Roscoe? 50 available. There you go. You've done it. Job done. How about, for all that sterling silver, bringing you the yellow gold. How many grams? Three grams, says Ross. Yeah, they're really um, substantial. They're lovely to look at, aren't they? Like, even if they weren't Morse code, they'd be lovely spaces. Beautiful. 29. Yeah, absolutely. You don't have to do the Morse code. Um, and you've written down the letters of the alphabet, haven't you, as well, so that we can I reference have. that. And I can... will. Let me get it. So, because it's really a technique that that I'd be showing you, um, I've just done, for the sake of it, the breathe bracelet. Yeah. Um, and which is a really easy rosary linking. But I thought what, what might be really, really useful for you is if I put the Morse code, alphabet and numbers on the back so that you can um, refer to that when you're making. Yes, Debs. Because depending on whether you're going to string it along or down as charms, if you do charms, you need to do it a different way. Um, this is great to refer to. So I thought that might be useful for you. Gorgeous. So you can literally, and it's just literally that sequence, isn't it? Yeah. The sequence of dots and dashes. And it's whether you want to put um, a space of bead after each letter or you want to rosary link it or, you know, we'll talk about that in demo. Yeah. Like, look at that with your bracelet. It I looks so lovely, doesn't it? Now, the best thing is, is that's not your price. I've got 50 available. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Over half the stock has gone. Even if you think, no, I'm not about Morse code. I like that patterning. That's all good. That's all good too. Look how beautiful that is. You might mix some of the gemstones in. Uh, yeah, I think you could do both, couldn't you? I, I, I didn't know much about Morse code jewellery at all, apart from the fact that I got a Nana one, I think, two yeah. years ago. Mm. Uh, no, it would have been a year ago, in seed bees, which was really pretty. And I said, what does it say? And they said, Nana. Um, but I didn't know much about it. So it was nice doing something different for me. I know we've done strands before, but to have this um, choice of gemstones mm. and this choice of precious metals. Absolutely. You know, I think you go to certain jewellers, you can get the mum or dad, yeah. can't you? You can get those kind of rings. Mm. But this is a less obvious version of I it like too. I like that. I Me like too. the less obvious. Um, again, flying out. We're not even stopping there. Sean getting two. Suzanne. Cumbria getting two. Candy getting two. Josie in Worcestershire. Eleanor in Worcestershire. Uh, Sterlingshire. Nicolette. <laughs> Susan. Buckinghamshire. Valerie. I can't keep up now. 1999. Yeah, that's amazing. Like that bracelet, imagine that you uh, you used all of those. Or li oh, little seed pearls in between the letters. Oh. Or little micro-faceted um, sapphires. Oh my goodness, the sapphires from earlier on I today. I bought two of those uh, strands of sapphires in the break. So Did you? I think I might make one with sapphires actually. Yeah. But they are just stunning. Imagine that how much that bracelet would be if you saw that in a jeweler's window next to all the other precious metal jewelry. I just love this. I love the Morse code opportunity. I love the fact that we can, like, you know, we gift often to make people feel better or to yeah. give them encouragement or to show them that we love them or whatever the reason yeah. you know, 
you know whether it's an occasion it doesn't have to be just an occasion does it you know I quite often gift jewelry and items to people when they just need a cuddle you yes, know what so I mean I. Yeah. in that kind of way um, and I think the Morse code is so appropriate so appropriate and also when they're wearing that piece of jewelry moving forward they're always going to think of you. I love it. I think the emotions alongside it are absolutely beautiful. It was it was a bit of me this when I got this kit because you know I, I love the story behind you. I love sharing my love of gemstones and when people come and talk to me when I was making to sell. I love that. I, I love talking to people and that kind of sharing my knowledge yeah. and to think Sold that out. Uh, I'm not surprised. Not surprised. I'm not surprised. I, you know, and just I've not seen anything like these before. I think you know we do concepts and things really well here don't we I mean, yeah. it's just clever buying because being able to work with these just absolutely lovely i think this bracelet says mum yeah it does Aww. Debs, that's so pretty so that seed that's not seed pearls it's seed beads in a pearl color because i didn't have any seed pearls left but you think of that in any faceted gemstone or any maybe their birthstone or mm. the birthstone of the person whose name's on there or you know, you've, I'm sure you've got absolutely, your head be busting with ideas when you get these home. No, oh, 100%, you're gonna be wanting, the thing is, I think you're actually gonna run out of the Morse code beads before you are the oh. ideas to go alongside yeah. it, aren't you? Because I could have just kept going and kept going. I mean, certain sayings and almost yep. mantras that you might yep. have for yourself as well. Um, 1999, I, there's lots of sayings that I, you know, I can think of, I'm like, you know, what was one I, I, I super haven't said it out loud in a while. So, you know, when you become a little bit rusty with it, I say, mm. life is not about how many breaths you take, but how many moments take your breath away. Oh. It's like little things like that. I mean, that might be a bit long to put in a stretchy bracelet, but you could do it in a necklace. Oh, you, you could definitely do it in a necklace. Yeah. You know, and you could say, I've got my motivation necklace on, or I've got my family with me today. Yeah. Yes. You know, that's... Um, love it. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now for the silver. We've got 150. You know that this is going to be the fastest selling, don't you? I so we've got pre-orders. Ah. Mm. So you can make things that look more maybe understated with the precious metal ones, or you can add the precious metal ones in amongst your gemstones. You can mix them together. Um, it gives a different look. <sighs> I don't think I'd seen when I was looking at inspiration because I always like to see what's out there and then to try and think of something different. And you can't always do that because sometimes everything's been done. But all I could really find were stretchy bracelets or seed beads or seed beads Same. and um, you know with macrame knots. Yeah. That's all I could really find. And I thought, oh come on, there's so many more things we can do than that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I did a presentation on it. Weirdly, oh did you? Yeah, isn't it weird? Wait, did you find the same that you could only find? I like, swear seed we're kind of in tune, you know. <laughs> Because I didn't know anything about you, the Morse no. code projects. No. It was just something that I saw on the back of these strands. Amazing. Yeah, it was mostly in sea beads. So mm. to be able to get it in silver That's for me. or gemstones. Yep. Unbelievable. First price crash. First, we've got a bigger quantity. Oh, okay. I'm kicking myself. Why did I just get one of the silver? Because I can think of somebody else I need to make with one of these for. Mm -hmm. Oh, the girls. Willow would love that. Yes, you would. Tiggy wouldn't appreciate it, yeah. She's only three. Yeah, but she will. She will in time. Willow would love it. I think it's very good for Father's I don't even know when Father's Day is, is it? In June? 15th of June? So I want to say 15th of June. Great for Father's Day, because it's not obvious. You know, you're not really necessarily... 16th. Oh, 16th. You're not necessarily going to go into business meeting or into work or whatever you do with, like, all your kids' names on or daddy on a bracelet. But some people would. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But people who might not would with this, because it just looks like kind of a um, really nice bijou piece well, of jewellery. It's a bit... You know, like the dog tags? Yeah, it's a bit cool. It's a bit cool. Yeah, it's, it's a, a bit, bit cool. edgy. Yeah. I can imagine Beckham wearing something like this. Yeah, agree. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Um, the clock's ticking. We're going even lower. We had 150 opportunities. I'm kicking myself, myself for just getting one now. Mm. It's very good, isn't it? It is very good, considering how much precious metal you get. And then that, that lovely finish, what would that be classed as? Like a star Like a satin, yeah. almost stardust, but mm. I think this is more like a satin finish. Do you see where I'm coming from? Mm. Um, amazing, yeah. Would you agree they're more satin finished? Loving those. They look 
really high end. Right, I tell you what, we're going to get into the demonstration. Your gemstone uh, projects are coming your way as well. Debs, take it away, because honestly, I think, you know, these are all just... I think we're all sort of captivated by how, how lovely the idea is behind. Um, yeah, and, oh, look at this. But Daisy did this for me I, when I went out yesterday for a drive in the rain. And I said, Stacey, will you print off the Morse code for me so that I can show everyone? And I came home, it was on my bed, bless her. So you have Morse code letters, and unbeknownst to me, but I suppose it makes sense, uh -huh. you have Morse code numbers as well, so that you can and do... And symbols, do punctuations, you? yeah. Oh yeah, you have punctuate. where's the punctuations? There's, oh, they're not on here, they are on my, on mine. Yeah, I've got a full stop, a hmm. um, question mark, and a comma on the one that yeah. I put. I put on your instructions so obviously the way you do this and is you're going to put a dot so that would be a dot there and a dash so that would be your a yeah okay stay there and then if you were doing a B uh, just I'll just do a couple of these for example you would do a dash and three dots and so on and so forth. And obviously those sit sideways. And the same with the precious metal ones. Now, when you're doing something like um, rosary linking or a stretchy, when you are just threading these onto something, there's a certain different ways that you can kind of punctuate the end of each letter. So I did a different bead for the end of each letter on my mala, and I did a different bead for the end of a word so on my mala I did a little pearl for the end of a letter and a round I think it was quartz bead for the end of a word just so that when I'm looking at it I can make sense of it but you can have them all running into each other if you want to but it's sort of like you're punctuating that um, those names so when you're doing let's start by doing say let's do breathe which is what you've got in your instructions so to avoid having to put um, a bead at the end of your letter, you can do rosary linking, so that each link is the end of a letter, and you're adding your letters to each rosary linked piece. So I've got some wire here, and they're really good sized drill holes, so you could use any wire you want. I think this is 0 0.6, so I always tend to go for a 0 0.6. So our first letter would be B, and a B is three dots, a dash and three dots okay so what I would do is make a wrapped loop at one end so I'm going to do this quickly because I demoed it earlier so we'll just wrap loop here I like to hold on to my loop with my pliers and then I'm going to wrap this around don't really want a lot of wraps because I don't really want a lot of metal showing so I'm going to do maybe two and then I'm going to snip off any excess and now I need to do my B so my B is a dash and three dots so dot dot and dot so that is my first letter and then instead of punctuating the end of that letter with a bead I'm going to wrap loop the other end so that each of your rosary links are a letter and then just wrap loop this end closed I'm just going to do it really quickly and then we go to the next letter in breathe which is an R and then you want to I tell you what I found sort of easier is to actually write it down mm. um, before I started so actually I've, I'll just quickly show you this so if you have a look these are the ones that I worked with and I, these are my children's names and what I did was I wrote them down and then I, I just in a different color pen I wrote down all of the different marks and then I wrote how many beads I needed just to check that that was going I had enough on my strands mm. and that I could um, that would work in the piece that I had in mind that it wasn't too many or too little and I found that information quite in quite useful so if you do that first and believe me like this looks a lot doesn't it but I got all of these names here 
and on the other page and and blessed so i literally got all of all of that you can see on these two pages on my family mala <laughs> so you know it doesn't take up as much space as you as you necessarily think it will do so a little bit of planning beforehand will make it a little bit simpler mm. to just go ahead and string. So that's um, B. So let's do an R. So our R is uh, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash, dot. And then I would just rosary link that same one. Do you want to bring a kit while oh, I do the next one? Oh, we can do. We can do for sure. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's bring you the jade first. All the kits are on pre-order, so you can shop ahead on those okay. if you want the lapis, tiger's eye, fluorite, rhodozoacite, uh, rose quartz. Uh, yeah, they're all on pre-order right now, and they all come with findings too. So yes. But first, let's bring you the white jadeite. Now, there's. I just want to make sure I've got the right strand. Okay, okay, cool. So this, but also the, the dashes are so beautiful. Oh, that's a lovely size as well. Yeah, the... perfect. It's not too large, is it? No. So if you're liking the idea of the Morse code, but you necess don't necessarily want the big carrot weight. Now, um, when we launched this, honestly, I was abs I've seen it once and it, I was flabbergasted by the price on this, Debs. Is this jade, this one? Yes, yeah, type A translucent pure. It's imperial white jade. Oh, my goodness. And can I just say, Ross, remind me what we take it to. Yeah. Can we just consider for a second we've just bought you a strand of silver? Yes. Yes. At a great price, don't get me wrong. This is a rare pressure, one of the world's rarest gemstones. You're getting a longer strand. It's translucent as well. Remember, melting ice cube, all of that. We got this for the most unbelievable price point, Jewelry Makers. If, if you weren't here when we launched this, or when we, we haven't launched it, or have we? Okay, you're gonna be shocked. Because it is not 199 pounds. Oh, okay. I absolutely love this strand. If you're thinking as an alternative to your silver then go for the jade out we're going to go straight to that price tag how many have we got roscoe 50 five zero available i'm not surprised you're flying in for this one apparently yeah it's the most ridiculous deal can you believe that debs <laughs> The last time I looked up, it was ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, which would make sense. It's type A jade. I think it's beautifully translucent type A jade. I think that's beautiful, and um, I would wear that with my jadeite bangle. Yes, because you know, and then maybe an inspiration or message or quote or you know whatever means something to you would be lovely to stack with that bangle, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness me, amazing! And then you've got the meanings behind the gemstone as yes. well, haven't you? You know, like. It's protective, isn't it? So yeah, you exactly. Could, you could, I don't know, I'm just thinking about my, my little girl sometimes needs a little bit of a reminder that, you know, don't worry, I've got you. You know, like a little bit of comfort, yeah. protection. Yeah. Little things, I used to call it her, her, her brave and strong bracelets. Oh. You know, you could put like, you could put that, I've got you, or, oh, oh you my know, goodness. I'm safe. Yeah, you are safe. You know, I am brave, I am safe, I am, you know, protected. If you suffer with anxiety when you go outside or, you know, lots of people suffer with anxiety, mm. don't they? Um, you know, and that's just a reminder that you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Yeah, just the take a breath. Has got you. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Um, so anything like that. <gasps> I'm, I just I'm think, loving these. Yeah, 39.99 for the for the jade, absolutely beautiful. It's unbelievable. We had 50 available opportunities. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I might have to add this to my order actually now. So I'm thinking Willow would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. We're making Elle spend money. You are, I've spent you are. money today as well. Yeah, but look, I mean, obviously, look how beautiful the lineup's been today. Pauline in Cambridgeshire, Pauline in Leeds, Fife, Ali, Suzanne's Multiport, Sean, Kent, Hello Two, Cumbria, Tracy, Essex, new customers get involved. Amazing. I'll leave that with you and back to our Debs. Should we quickly get the green one in? Sorry, Debs. That's okay. Okay. It's not, I, all I need to really say now is how you would make charms. You just string them slightly different, so I only need okay. a couple of minutes. 
Right, let's bring you the green version. Slightly different shape, but still dashes. Same sentiment. This is the one I made with Tom's. I like that one. Mm. 39.99. Very good. Amazing, amazing. And again, this is the green color. So I, yeah, in fact, you could have one which is maybe a little bit slighter. Um, if you're thinking about sort of the scale of the piece of jewelry, couldn't you? you could go with this one. You can mix them. Yeah, that's true. You know, you could have. And the one thing, I, the another thing I thought in the family Marla was I'd have one gemstone for the girls and one gemstone for the boys. Yeah. Um, or you can mix the gemstones. But I used the fluorite and the labradorite in my family Marla and added pearls and some faceted quartz because I wanted pearls. Yeah, <laughs> of course. In there. Um, but I think these kits work quite well together. I think, again, rose quartz is a stone of love. Yeah. Not just romantic love, self love, family love. So rose quartz would be great in that that respect as have you said like adding the gemstones yeah all the if you want to do something like a charm carrier you need to think about how you're going to strand them because like with the breathe necklace it's easy because you just strand it along you just keep <coughs> stranding <Excuse me. coughs> but with the charm carrier so that's breathe there and you can see like the dash dot dots very easily seen but if you like with the gold one that i showed you at the beginning where you've got the charm carrier and then the charms at the bottom you have to think about how you're stranding them because you'll read it one way but if you think if that was an a i could actually have that upside down say it was yeah, an a bead yeah. so you need to think about how it's going to look when you're actually you've actually got it vertically rather than horizontally so i think that one says mum so with these i need to have um writing it down is really helpful so I've, I've written out you've, it's very easy mum it's dash dash for the m and then dot dot dash but if you think with the dot dot dash the way you would would put it on if you actually threaded that on in the way that it's written dot dot dash it would essentially be upside down does that make sense as yes. you're looking at it ah oh, yes so when you're doing it this way you start from the end and work backwards back to the beginning yep. so that if so if that was a U, That's an actual a really U, good point. it would be upside down. I mean, this doesn't matter because who do you know who knows Morse code and look and go, "That's wrong." <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I just thought it worth mentioning that you can add them as charms like that. But you need to think about uh, when it's an M, which is dash dash. That just it's not a problem but with this one if you did it it was as it was written it would be upside down so yeah, that's just yeah, something that to sense. bear in mind but i think if you write it down and work from your written down you can get the morse code from the instructions and then you can go from there so that's all i really need to say about about um and about also, this uh, with your necklace as well would you make sure obviously that it reads yes so that way downwards so so clemmy Daisy. Yes. If yeah. you think, um, if they think in your head as if they were letter beads, you know the ones we get with the Heshies. So T Y L E R for Tyler coming down. So yeah. the T just coming down and then not going up. No, and then up, up the other way. Yeah. So then Clemmy at the bottom. Clemmy goes up the yeah. other way and then blessed. But you know, I looking at that now, I don't know which is which unless I got my, um, you know, my little list out. So, but I know it's there and I know what it says. I love it. I absolutely love it, Deb. So it's so gorgeous. I that's the kind of jewellery that 100% I would go, I, you know, I would want to buy. Yeah, I just... 100%. Personalised, isn't it? Oh, amazing. Right, let's bring you the projects. These all come with the written instructions as well. Yeah. So just go to order, order history, and then you can download it. Um, now, every strand... So basically, each gemstone comes with the findings. Yes. So the, you've, you've all shopped ahead. Um, we'll let you know which colorway it comes with. They are essentially all exactly the same. Let's start with the most popular on pre-order. Rose quartz. that might be the case. I didn't yeah. make with that one because I didn't get that one. But I Did you not? Because no. I couldn't have had all of them. That would be greedy. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's it so looks like pretty. kunzite. It does. I actually thought it was kunzite. It looks like kunzite to me, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Colour. So rose quartz, this one comes with your... So again, you get your head pins, you get your length of chain. Yep. And you're getting two of your lobster claws. What, what kind of findings does the rose quartz come with? Silver plated. So 50 of your featherweight head pins, you get a 50 centimetre chain and two lobsters. 
Uh, lobster claw, claw, not actual lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> Under <laughs> the sea. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, lobster claws. Yeah, lobster claws. Oh my goodness, I'm not surprised that this one's absolutely flying on pre order. I love it too. 19.99. That's amazing, oh, isn't yeah. it? Is it not? I love the colour of this rose quartz. I, I just It's a Kunzite rose quartz, isn't it? It looks very much, yeah, I like it. I don't, and of course, you've got all of that. So you've got unconditional meaning, love. Yeah, heart chakra. Heart chakra yeah. tied in with the names, maybe, or... Yeah, just or just love, just white love on a bracelet. Oh, my goodness, you could do pet names. I love that idea. Pet names, yeah. too. You could do... Self love, it's a gemstone of self love as well. You can do dates, you can do like some couples. Of my, I was saying to there's a friend of mine and they're a married couple, and they've got the, like this number that they always put to each other. And she did tell me what it was, I've forgotten. Um, and it's, they always say this number to each other, and um, so you could do that, yes, and you don't have to explain it. Do you know that's it's so <clears> bizarre <throat> you say that because Tom's got a sequence of numbers mm. and he was like, I bet you don't know what that means. And I was thinking, I, I was like, oh, oh. you know, and you're. I feel like I should know. <laughs> and it was, he, it was like the date we, we met. That's what I mean. The date yep. we moved in together. That's what they've got. The date, that, and he knows that sequence. And they always say those numbers to each other. It's on social media or whatever. No one else really knows what it means. He needs a bracelet with those numbers on it. Or you'll get so many brownie points, it'll be ridiculous. I'm going to have to do that. Oh, yeah, to I'm going to have to do that. Twelve ninety nine. Really? That's so good, including all the findings, and you get enough to make. You know, I mean, if you, the family Marla took two. Um, okay, two strands. Two strands with ad, added um, pearls and punctuation in between the letters. Oh my goodness! Right, I'm going to have to make that now. <laughs> and it is going to be numbers. Are, are the are the Morse code for numbers? Yeah. Oh my goodness me! <laughs> Right, let's do the tiger's eye which comes with the gold. Oh, one would be big, wouldn't it? That's all good, you've got enough gemstones. Right, uh, tiger's eye comes with the gold. Amazing, I have to do that. 12 99 Very um, unisex, this one. Yeah, I think good that. for Father's Day. Great for Father's Day. You know, like my husband's very in love with his motorbike. You know, you could put the name of his motorbike on his bracelet or his car. You know, not everyone's got kids, have they? No, that's true. Um, you know, and whatever whatever absolutely love it this is no end of opportunities for this is there it's such fun to to kind of rack your brains and think oh what can i come up with you know yeah all the words that all the inspiring quotes names occasions wh whatever it might be tiger's eye is amazing quality absolutely amazing quality again make sure you're checking out your basket you've got fluorite labradorite rhodonite lapis and then you've got two other varieties of Jasper. Have you? Mukai, yeah, yeah. Mukai. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Make sure you're checking them out, everybody. Let's do the Mukai next, shall we? Oh, it comes with the gold too. Right, once they're done, I'm going to do it in that direction. <laughs> so then I know where I am. Right, Mukai. I love the Mukai. Yeah, it's stunning. Comes with the gold. So 50 of your gold featherweight headpins, 50 centimetre chain. And then two of your lobster claw clasps. I thought I was going to sneeze then. I love the earthy tones. It'd be great in a mala. It's what you think of kind of traditional malas in the yeah. wood. This is kind of a bit. Yes, it is a bit similar. Wood. A bit woody. Should we go crazy, Debs? Yeah. How many have we got, Ross? 50. Okay. Shop ahead on all the others. That's good because if you get a couple of strands that go together, I think this goes really nicely with the tiger's eye. Mm. Um, you know, you can just. But well, you can cherry pick them, couldn't you? Yeah. Might, but you might also take it another level and go, okay. Well, I know fluorite's that person's favourite gemstone, yes. or, or or that fa uh, that per favourite. You yeah, know, like definitely. you said, you said Alan loves tiger sign, or yeah. it's a bit more masculine. Love it, absolutely love it. Stay with where you are. Let's bring you a gem that we rarely ever see, Rhodonite. This is what I made the Nana necklace out the charm Aww. carrier. Coordinates says Adam. Yeah, coordinates nice really idea. good idea. Yeah, you go on somewhere like not on the high street, which is where I got the first gift, actually. It was that I gave my husband, as a, and it was Valentine's Day. I think it was a Valentine's Day or something like that. Anyway, it was the coordinates that we 
where, of where we met. Yeah, lots of people do coordinates. Of, and, you know, um, I think that's really good. There's loads of numbers that you can use, can't they? Like it yeah. can be your birthday together. But I like the, you know, the, our anniversary or the day we first met or anything. I mean, yeah. you can do so much. This jewellery can tell a story of anything, yeah. can't it? You could put your star signs on there. Yeah, yeah. I saw that online. People work, did do their star signs. Mm. Um, and then words, you know, inspirational things. And then there were rude things and bad words. I quite funny. like the idea of a sneaky little rude word one. I reckon Adam would go with that. Would you, Adam? Yeah, let's do the fancy Jasper. <laughs> None of mine have got rude words on, no, just cause you No, because you're... But you could if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> or you can say, like, show me the hand. Show me the hand, you know, when your kids are nagging. Yeah. Show me the bracelet. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> or you could do the kind of thing that Adam's thinking of. What do you say? I can't repeat it. Oh. Um, <laughs> Tell me again. <laughs> this comes with the gold. <laughs> This comes with the gold, so you get your 50 of your featherweight head pins, you get 50 centimetres of your chain, <laughs> and then you get the two of your uh, lobster claws. I love that, Adam. Yeah, I do. They're like, oh, is that Morse code? Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's love. <laughs> it's personal. Keep on dialing through, everybody, right now for your lapis. Lovely lapis. This comes with the gold as well. Well done to those who are shopping ahead on these. Of course, they're all available. And um, we've got 50 of each. And they're all flying out, absolutely flying out. Lapis lazuli makes sense to go with the gold, doesn't it? This is, um, well, I used uh, this for the breathe necklace because I love lapis with pearls. Yeah. Um, I just think, and also for the yes, no earrings, because this colour, and it, you know, it's so identifiable lapis, isn't it? And people go, oh, is that lapis? And I just think. I need some I yes, no it. earrings. Yes, no earrings. And it, when you're like, mummy, 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 can I have a, can I have a snack? I used to say, I'm changing my this? name. Mum, yeah. mum, can mommy. I do this? Can I do that? No, 99 for your lapis lash, you Very good. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, yeah. Well, I read, read something on that, actually. Apparently, if you try not to say no and say, instead, can I have a snack? Instead of saying no, you say, yes, but let's eat dinner first. You say it that oh, way. Oh, I like it. As I'm trying this method. That's very good. Um, let's do, what did you say, labyrinth? Yes. <laughs> let's eat dinner first. The lab for a Yes, oh, yes, you can. Yes. In two years' time. <laughs> <laughs> um, labyrinth goes really nicely with the fluorite. That's what I used in the family marla. Oh. These are amazing, aren't they, these kids? So beautiful. Keep on dialing through every, there's tons of you there. There's so Let's many do options. the fluorite, I love it. This is my favorite. I do love the fluorite Also as well. very good for learning, people who are learning, who are at university, or at college, or whatever. Um, so, oh, is that right? Yeah, you could have one of these with an inspirational, um, you've got this, you know, anything um, inspirational for somebody who's learning, who's studying. Yeah. To motivate them motivation yeah love that 9.99 beautifully translucent and a real selection of colors all of the proje projects are priced accordingly on the website so you can shop ahead uh, literally alongside one another um we've got base metal what oh we did the silver and we did the base metal ones no we didn't Ah, oh, that's good. So it's up to you. It gives you the option. Now we've got a hundred of the yellow gold. We'll do it in one price crash because of time. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you can get the precious metal if you want. Or if you prefer the base metal. Here it is. Seven ninety nine. That's very good, and you know this is good because then you, if you're making to sell, you can charge less. Yeah. For these ones, and then people can have the option, can't they? How many have we got of these? Okay, well, these are going to sell out, aren't they? They're going to sell out. I mean, you can, I, I can't tell the difference. No. You know, I mean, obviously, we know there is a difference. This is, this is, this is base metal. They're plated, aren't they? Yeah, and like, for example, I've just bought the precious metal, haven't I? Because, I mean, I would want to make some, one for my best friend, one for um, my husband and one for me. So personally, I would prefer it you to want be precious to last, metal. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But a more affordable option. The rose gold are going to be loaded to the web. 
at 7.99 um so you can still get hold of those but for your silver plated base metal and, and earlier on today we were talking about how uh, we have not got a problem with your uh costume jewelry with base metals as long as they say that you know this is absolutely, the thing absolutely absolutely what i do what i um, what i do begrudge um is actually when they say right gold plated yeah but gold plated what yeah um now we're bringing you the silver which is this one here we've got 120 it's our finale auction of the day loving these i would have both i would have the base metal and i'd have the precious metal yeah, opportunities me because if i'm gifting i want it to be precious metal me too 6.99 <laughs> wow what a finale yeah amazing with your morse code and then you can put your lovely little messages there as well oh i love it absolutely love what it what a joyous show this has been has been you could use these for your family kind of mala so yeah. you could have like individual names in different colors yeah you could that would be lovely and it's affordable at that price too definitely um they're absolutely flying debs you've been amazing as always thank you Thanks are for you having, having a little rest at any point I am. i'm i'm going to be at the nec on the gempoia stand on the sunday but i'm back here on the 23rd oh that's with us is I'm, it with us i don't know i think i'm off as well I oh, know, no, no, it is with me. Is it? The 20th, it's a Saturday. Oh, it's not us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've oh, got well. to share you though, because I've had a lot of Debbie love. True, true. Haven't I? So I do need to share you. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, do you know what's coming up on the 23rd? Can you remember? I mean, pearls? Loads the of most pearls. beautiful pearls I've ever seen. Oh, awesome. I'm back with you tomorrow, and we've got the most amazing Tuesday show. Brand new Amazonite fr uh, from uh, Mozambique that we showed you earlier on. Premier selection coming up at 11 o'clock and so much more. Um, I'll see you in the morning. Have a lovely Take afternoon. Care.